Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on YouTube, join our comments. 300 episodes, ain't you ever? And everybody in between. Oh, I can't believe we made it this long, and Jack still hasn't been the Italian yet. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So, Marvel's all good, Thank you very much for enduring and hopefully enjoying all the episodes. These people go go back and do proper work, and we're going to talk bollocks hey, for a little bit of resting in between. Thank you, best great little hype people. Bye, <laughs> bye. That's it. Bye, bye. Thank, thank you, Brad. Bye. Shut up. Bye. Shut so, the door behind you. Who would have thought after? I'll give you a sandwich. I believe the the end of episode one was. Hello, I'm Matthew from Bishop Auckland. And who would have thought 299 episodes after that, we'd be still here now? I'm just happy we're talking to each other still. <laughs> <laughs> on Only camp, once a on, week. On yeah. Camp, yeah. Yeah. Once a week. <laughs> and cut it out. Since we leave you, you're dead to me. Oh like God. the Rolling Stones. Just like, just... <laughs> oh, which one's which? You're Jagger. Oh, thank you. I'd Sorry. say he's Richards. Oh. oh. You're a loose cannon, aren't you? Mm. Or maybe mm. that's Joel. Joel, nah, goes Joel. To, Joel goes to pool halls in Newcastle on a Saturday night until like 5 a.m., didn't he? Whoa. Oh, I've heard that. Oh, myth. just like Keith Richards. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry about them. That like one of them would just go, all right, yeah, cool. We'll get together soon. Yeah. And you just go upstairs for like six oh. hours while the other two hours waiting for him just to show, like, you need me. <laughs> That's Joel. I'm sure the member of the band that was. But anyway, I'm just never mind take the my hoodie off. Carry on. Sorry. Please take, please strip. That's great. <laughs> it sure reveals he's in the aces and eights. <laughs> anyway. Yes, you're listening to the Cult Like Wrestling oh. Podcast. This is Matthew, this is Jack, this is Ross, oh. as it has been for 300 episodes, more or less. Obviously, some on off agains, but yeah, oh, yeah, we made it. Oh, still going strong-ish. Ah. Oh, only if wrestling keeps on being dramatic and talk about and... Uh, let's look at this week. Yeah, we're all right this week, It's been we? a quiet week. No punk involvement. It's been great. Shit, ain't a minute. Oh, man. How are you, Matthew? I'm doing all right, pal. All right. I want to see my new favorite band, the Northern Boys, yeah, at yeah. Newcastle. Uh, boiler shop, which I explained to my mate, it's not a shop where they sell, sell boilers. I was about to do a lyric there, and I, I was scanning the lyrics I knew in my head, and I don't think I'm going to repeat any of them. None will be repeated. No, it no. was grand. The, they were sold out. The crowd was so what into was the it. the venue? The boiler shop in Newcastle. Oh. Just said that. So, uh, yeah. so lovely. <laughs> and yeah, it was sold out. The crowd were mint. Everyone was like, oh, we're on the same wavelengths. Mint. Uh, lads from Bish came. Lads from Newcastle came. It was like, oh, grand. And uh, they didn't lip sync, but we didn't care. They're all men. They are old, old we, we got what we expected. And they said, oh, we're going to Lady Grace for drinks. Do you want to come? And everyone just went, yeah. <laughs> all these confused, <coughs> crazy selection of people all going, where's the Lady Grace? Like, mm. from that around the area. It was wonderful. <laughs> just chatted to people all night, including some um, some people talking to us who watch, listen to the podcast, believe it or not. So Yay. whilst I yes. look for their names, because I've forgotten them, I'm very sorry. Uh, Ross, how are you? I'm fantastic. Could not be better. The hamster got out the cage last night. Oh. Spent two hours. Is that between... euphemism? No, it's not. It's oh. Kayla leaving the, the cage door open after a little bit of oh, bonding. No. Us going to bed, me getting up because I couldn't sleep. And I was like, I'll go and talk to the hamster. Sp you know, share my feelings with the little thing. And then got to the cage, wasn't there. Spent two hours until about half past three this morning oh trying to look for her. And she was in the last place we checked, which was just in a little crack in between a kitchen cupboard and the washing machine. Oh. And as soon as I went, bandit, she just came walking out, oh. strolling out, after we turned the entirety of the other bits of the flat upside down. So it's a great time to be alive. Yeah. The little... Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't blame the hamster. I was talking about Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> was that the zoo that flooded a while ago? Like the... Oh, what animal was it? Maybe like the the big ones. Maybe the animals. So walruses just went swimming around, looked at some of the other animals, and went, all right, and went back to their cage. Oh, <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> Fair. Sounds made up, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Spencer and Alex, thank you very much for saying hello and talking to us. Thanks for watching uh, the podcast. Lady great. Thanks for listening to the podcast. That's oh. you I'm talking about. Yeah, not great. Oh. Uh, Jack, how are you doing? I am mildly hungover. Um, oh. I just, I just want to go to bed. Um, me and Sam went to the pub last night Ooh. for like three drinks. And then it got to like seven, half seven. And as we're about to leave, a lovely fan of the channel approaches. Oh. His name was Adam. Shout out to you, Adam. Not... Pachi. Um, and then <laughs> Adam Pachi can excuse he, me. He's just chatting away and stuff. Lovely lad. Can't can't say enough nice things about Adam if he's listening as well. But him and Sam like had so much in common that we didn't leave until closing time of the pub. So I'm now like him and Sam, like he was taught judo by Sam's auntie. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting yeah, that. <laughs> Sam's auntie. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. It's just Sam. Yeah. 
Sam's just, Andy. Yeah, and, just picture, you know, yeah, Sam. Just, nobody else here would have a, a karate Andy, would they? And what, Sam. One Someone on those old aprons again. There's <laughs> well, Sam's Andy. Like, Sam had told me about his judo Andy before, and I was always like, yeah, all right, mate. But no, legit. Wow. And, um, and at one point, this is when they were like peak drunk, both of them as well. At one point, I've got to quote this directly from Sam Driver. They're talking about how his auntie was a really good judo instructor, but quite strict. And Sam just goes, yeah, man, my auntie just wants you to be a great fighter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not doing well, man. I'm in a bad way. Um, also, the lad Adam said, oh, yeah, my mate's actually met you before. Well, he's not met you, but he's bumped into you in Sainsbury's. I was like, all right, Sam, did he say hello? He was like... No, and he showed me the message on his phone, and it was from, like, March this year, and it was, think I just annoyed Jack the Jobber in Sainsbury's? <laughs> Why? Pushed in front of him in the self-checkout, and he went, there's a queue. Oh. And one of them? And I remember, oh. are you pushing for me? <laughs> and I, mean, I, I think you're justified in this. And I, <laughs> I remember, I think he'd accidentally, I think he hadn't realized there was a queue and stuff, and I think I was having a bad day, and I just was like, mate, there's a queue. And he hadn't, and I remember, I remember it because the guy didn't turn around, didn't acknowledge me at all. Oh. So I thought, all right, what a, you know. But instead, he was just, nervous and I feel bad now so then me and Adam took a picture sticking the middle fingers up with F Sainsbury's cues or something like that <laughs> to send to him so hopefully there's no hard feelings to that lad and uh, it was nice to meet the boy Adam as well that's nice but you are blocked from the Sainsbury's Twitter account I am banned so. from that Sainsbury's on oh road. no <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think a po- what's that bar called that we used to go to a fair bit back I say a fair bit a couple of times back to the day, went up the stairs. Is it Avino's? Alvino's. Alvino's. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah. to apologise to a bar lady in there because I was in there oh. two Saturdays ago, and I was with two two of my pals, and then there was like two more people who were pals of a pal, so I didn't know who they were, and they'd done something, and the bar lady came up to me because one of the bar men upstairs was like, "Oh, I've got your podcast on while I'm working." Hey, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Yeah, you're a good lad, you." And then the la- last he was working with said. Your mates are sea bombs, and then <laughs> bolted off. And I don't know what they did. The I mates just, you were there with that night. No, the mates of the mates. Oh, so you mean, do we know us on the podcast? Yeah, not not you two. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> just two random people who I didn't have a clue who they were. So to protect my reputation in Alvino's, I had no idea who they were or what they did. So they may well oh. be they may well be sea bombs. Fair enough. But it was just the way she said it. I was just like, what? What have they done? Oh. And then I, yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, there we go. Dropping the C bombs. What, what are they, Tony Khan on Twitter? I know. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody hell! And I'm not friends with Vince McMahon either. For mm. them to say something like that. I know. Yeah. I feel like no one's friends <laughs> with anybody after this bloody week. <laughs> oh, and me and you ended up uh, Saturday at the Northumber Uni at the oh, gig to see bar. your mate. The Reds, home yes. Truths. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, the home yeah, troops, yeah. not the other bands. It was it my imagination? Or they say it was all Lurkle, spelled L-U-R-C-K-L. Lurkle bands, but then it was like the band. Was his name like Black Tide or something? Yeah. And well, they were like, we've traveled 12 hours to be here. Uh-huh. We're on about being local. No, I think it was there was more of a local emphasis this year. But, right. Um, I, I'll, I've, this is not, I'm not a good member of the local scene because I literally only went to see my mate's band and then I left. So I don't know. Oh, it was nice. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice seeing people yeah, there. Yeah, it was good. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Rise. <laughs> there we go. There's the plug. Uh, AEW Collision. Uh, last October, Drew, la- Drew last October, last week in October, I should say, draws the lowest attendance for TV taping this year uh, or ever. It looks like two thousand two hundred forty-five tickets were distributed for the show. Uh, took place in Utah. Uh, it was quite visible. No, it wasn't obvious at all. No, no, a raucous crowd as well. Yeah, <laughs> it was so quiet you could hear a pin fall. <laughs> hey. maybe, maybe they wanted their mate to be booked more heavily. Wheeler, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> 300 episodes. <laughs> uh, someone asked, well, why not run smaller venues if you're struggling to draw this many for this bigger arena? And it turns out that they've had so many booked up for the next few months that they would have to pay cancellation fees. So that's the reason why they're still doing arenas like this, which is not something we bring up. It's like, ah, oh, one time it happens, but then two times, three times, it's like, it is so noticeable. If only there was a major draw in, on Collision who could have packed those venues out. Yeah. Adam Copeland was there. Oh, yeah, well, actually, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big draw. It is odd how it's panned out, though, because obviously Dynamite attendances, there doesn't seem to be too much wrong with them. So you'd assume that, you know, collision becoming a thing, it would just continue on that same trajectory. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, it feels like they're going to smaller towns, potentially. Mm. Maybe that's it. I haven't I really looked know. at the geography of it, but yeah. I couldn't point Utah on the map. I just remember when, we do the, have a map. You know, when they released that graphic of, like, here are we, we're coming to these over the next 12 weeks or whatever. Yeah. And it's just that everyone was going like, oh, why are you going to the arse end of nowhere? Yeah. Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sound in Utah, man. We're sorry. 
and Missouri. Uh, NFL player fined for Stone Cold Steve Austin style beer celebration. Oh, oh no, this yes. is the American footballs. Uh, Stefan Diggs, who plays as a wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. I've heard of Diggs. You know Gilly, the bassist in Home Truth that we saw? Of course, yes. He's got Stefan Diggs tattooed on him. He's got what well, this guy we're talking about. He's got yeah, him tattooed. Yeah, yeah. What? Because he won his fantasy league and said, if I win, I'll get Stefan <laughs> Diggs tattooed on me. And he won it. So what's he got? Like a Diggs, picture of him? Diggs his name? going like that or something, like doing his like hand taunt. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. DDP. Uh, I was yeah. going to say, yeah. He yeah. loves the wrestling, this lad. <laughs> he was docked uh, 13,569 nice pounds dollars by the NFL after scoring a touchdown for his team in their game against the Miami Dolphins last Sunday. Uh, he was ruled to be unsportsmanlike. Uh, Diggs would joke after the Get beer. Get out. <laughs> after the game, he owed someone $18 for the beers. But that was far from the bottom line. $18. The uh, re-rejected the, uh, name GG Dolan pitched due to the bad links with serial killers, uh, uh, talking with drinks with Johnny. I don't know what that is. Uh, she appeared and says, I'm trying to remember what other names that I came up with before, G.G. Allen. Uh, G- yeah, whatever her mm. real name is. I know that I want the name G.G. Alien. I don't have the Alien after the, obviously have the TV, was it a TV? No, a proper movie, Monster. And stuff oh, right, made. Okay. Anyway, no, no, we're not doing that. That's a serial killer. You can't do that. She was quick to point out, there is Joe Gacy on the roster. Yeah, yeah. There is yeah, Joe yeah, Gacy. Yeah. Mm. yeah, Johnny Shipman. <laughs> Sorry. Former NXT tag team champion. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, it just says, they're really looking to send a message with tonight's NXT. Tony Khan fires back. Yes, this was the battle of the people who know billionaires. That happened on Tuesday. The expiring contest between WWE and AW continued uh, with Tony Khan. It's going a bit mental, really, on uh, the good old Twitter machine, or the X machine. Um the have since fired back with a company source telling House of Wrestling tonight there will be a very clear example of how and why the re is the re and why AEW has come along has got a long way to go. Uh, Tony Khan responded aggressively yeah. by quote tweeting to a whole bunch of stuff, uh, but responded one for an advert for Dynamite with a message for Triple H and Shawn Michaels that simply read "bald a hole." So <laughs> apparently that's, I think from, that's from uh, enthusiasm, yeah. but also. Tom Campbell realised he did a bit of journalistic research. It had been Tony Khan's birthday just before he tweeted that. He's right. been drinking this yeah, week, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. All. We've all been there. Yeah. He might have been one of his mate and he, who's done judo with his auntie and all this other <laughs> stuff. A, so. I was thinking about it. There's a fair few hard, bald wrestlers on the AW roster who might be like, all right, like Claudio Castagnoli and stuff. I'm like, you are, Tony. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I never really think about it. I was just, yeah. yeah, haha, you're bald. It's like, what? Yeah, they might be like, huh? Excuse me? Oh. What? Or maybe it's just a bald... A-hole. Maybe that was the pub he was drinking at. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Roode removed from the active W roster. Turns out yeah, his profile has been moved to the miscellaneous section. Uh, reserved for legends and currently inactive injured wrestlers. Uh, his last match was losing to Omos on the house show in June 02, uh, 02, uh, 2022. His last televised match was the April 2022 Andre the Giant Battle Royal. His last proper match was versus Bron Breaker during the Dolph Ziggler feud. Wow. March 2022. Goodness so, me. Uh, he had neck fusion surgery, which is no joke, so yeah, fair. who knows if that's the end. Yeah. But uh, hey, what legacy if it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's been legacy. It's our duty as wrestling fans to warn the normal people that may be affected by this. The Iron Claw trailer is out. This film is coming out soon. This is not a feel-good film. The trailer looks very good, actually. I was like, oh. They've nailed yeah. all the costumes, like, I think. Yeah. yeah. The wrestling looked authentic. Yeah. I actually thought it was Michael PSAs in that ring. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell the racism. And the Terry Cordy as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Zach Efron, obviously in previous roles, he's been shredded, really defined muscles. Yeah. He's massive in this. He's 80s massive. I've been saying, like, you must have worked really hard. Him and Carlito's no. got a common friend, I reckon. That's right. The, liver, the liver king. There. Those asses. <laughs> he got out, didn't he, for yeah, roided, yeah. roidy, roidy, yes. roidy, roidy, and he's had this weird thing of like, well, I'll go natural. Tried it for a bit and goes, nah, I hate losing all this muscle mass going natural. <laughs> I was confused when they cast Zach Efron. Because yeah. the Von Erics are tall and big, whereas Zac Efron's quite a dimin- really good shape, diminutive lad, but they make him look huge in that. Mm. So fair enough. Also, the bloke from The Bear is playing Kerry, isn't he? Or Kevin. One of them's Kevin, the one of them's Kerry. Oh, the the chef thing? The guy who looks like Willy Wonka, yeah. Yeah, the guy who looks like a Von Erich. Well, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, 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 yeah. And also MGF as the fake Von Erich. Right, okay. <laughs> Perfect. But it's not, it's not going to be a barrel of laughs. We're going to have fun. Yeah. It's going to be so miserable. It is. Oh. Yeah. If you want to peek into it, I did a rise and fall on the Von Eric family, which is on the channel now, I believe. Oh. Yeah. yeah it's more, a... more fall than rise. <laughs> the song they use 
Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper. I'm like, oh, guys. They yeah. didn't. No, it's a bit on the nose. Uh, speaking of on the nose, Kip Sabian denies he was banged up following Ring of Honor TV tapings. Uh, a report from PW Insider, that got like posted on the news bit, noted that Sabian had suffered a banged up jaw and he may be dealing with an injury following the Ring of Honor TV taping. Uh, he was quick to point out uh, he's denied he's dealing with the injury, instead claiming he banged his wife Penelope Ford from the TV taping on Ring of Honor. Uh, he replied to Colleague's article with this, so all I have to say is, get him, Jack. Sort him out. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not like the Ali one. I can't verify whether or not he banged Penelope before. Yes, we can, because we're the best. 300 episodes, Jack. We're going to do what we like. Oh, well, if Penelope is watching, could yeah. you either confirm or deny those reports? Were you banged by your husband? <laughs> Were you threatened to be banged? <laughs> it's really funny for some reason. It, it, well, it's always good, but it's really funny when wrestlers brag about sleeping with their partners. Like, it's just funny. I just find it really funny. Like, Rusev's the king of it. It's so funny. I don't know why. It's good. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the news. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah. And now, the prestigious Hall of Fame. In condescending order from last week, Hall of Fame Ping Ping Pie. That's on the same line, so right as if that was it. Ping Ping Pie, 9%. I forgot who that was, but it was someone mocking their grandma who couldn't say pumpkin pie. Oh, that's a video of that, man. It's I've Andrew, seen it. Yeah. It was Andrew. Oh, is, it, is she trying to say, like, pecan pie? Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Oh, right. Pum, 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 That's how it comes it, out. Yeah. She's got jowls. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the jowls. Stardew Valley, 24%. What, the game? You right, Joel? Yeah, sorry. He's making sure his mic was in. <laughs> no worries. Stardew Valley, uh, 24%. Yes, the game, because Pachiti talked to us in great detail about all the child sacrifice you, you can do in this farm game. Oh, that's very him. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea what you do in the game now, apart from kill kids. Because he used to have like a Habbo Hotel empire, Pachiti, so it makes sense. Of course sense. he does. Yeah, yeah. And he used to sacrifice children and as well. Of course. He, used, he used to. Mm. Just for the police watching, he used to. <laughs> uh, but the fat bear... Himself. Are you joking? Terry you nominated another chunk. You nominated another. It's Fat Bear animal. Week. It's always every week's Fat That's Bear Week. That's the spirit. It's Jack been Fat Bear eventually. Month on this podcast. Uh, like, y- 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 I'm sick John of these. John bizarre I'm AI. I'm sick of these bear nominations. I swear down. Who nominated You're, the Fat You may bear? be, but down. the prestigious uh, audience <laughs> is not. And let's have a look because voting for the real life Fat Bear Week has finished. But if we look oh. at CNN. We get further details. Breaking news from CNN. Oh, the winner it's just a of bear? Cat Mice Fat Bear Week contest in 2023 is. My phone is getting rid of all the adverts currently on my screen. 128 Grazer. 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 Grazer Waller. Grazer. Uh, Jack's nemesis became first. Uh, she blew a final com- competitor. This is the number she two. Bl- Chunk. Terry Chunk came second. Well, that's a thin Fan bear there. Bloody tastic. Look at the definition on that bear's chest. I know it's got a bit of a belly. No, it's like, yeah. who, I'm trying to think of a wrestler who had like a very defined chest, but also a bit of a belly on them. The uh, Road Warrior Animal. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah that is a Road Warrior Animal. Yeah, that it's is. It's got a like Kevin animal. Sullivan look going on. Yeah. Big Joe Laurinaitis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, you know if that bear could talk, it sounds just like Johnny Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of your towel. <laughs> yeah, so 108,321 votes to Chunk's 23,134 votes. Wow, it was really close. Sorry, <laughs> what? That's not true. Yeah, they came second, thanks to us. How many 100,000 votes? 108,000. 108. Oh, not for our Hall of Fame. All right, yes, yes, I should have clarified. Oh, like, we're so what? close this week. <laughs> <laughs> they broke the website. No wonder it went down some this week. Bloody hell. Oh, so, God. well done, Terry Chunk, for coming second. I like, think it's only fair to see how far we can push this to give this nomination uh, this week for the Hall of Fame nomination to the more winner of the Fat Bear, the official Fat Bear. One, two, eight, Grazer. Words about bears and like, well old. done, Grazer. It's all for the, the CEO. Yeah, yeah. CEO? SEO. <laughs> CEO of Fat Bears. <laughs> That's you now. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> is this magnificent specimen? One, two, eight, Grazer. Grazer. That is a much fatter bear, to be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But also quite aesthetically pleasing. Nice fur. Mm. Good bear. Well, I'd love a cuddle. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Aye. If it wasn't any risk of, you know, having your head chopped off. Yeah. Chopped off? Mauled. Mauled, yeah. I might off. do that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got to pick up an axe, aren't they? And wha. Yes. It's a good image, isn't it? Hmm. That'd be the next contest. Which fat bear would you like to kill you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so that is mine. Fat bear grazer. Grazer Ramon. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Chunko. That was it. Gonna... <laughs> hey, Choco Chip. Uh, so second place was Naira of yours, but Petiti was you okay. last week, Jack, so you can go next. Oh, lucky him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like death. Um, my nomination is in football, right? There was a goal once. I remember, you'll remember this because it was like Thierry Henry Arsenal era. Mm. And they scored a goal once against Chelsea where he took a free kick as the referee was lining up the defence. Yeah. And the referee let it stand. Yeah. And oh. if you're a Chelsea fan, you've got to be fuming with that. Because yeah. the ref should have gone, oh, I wasn't ready. But he just let it go ahead. Probably because Henri was so cool. <laughs> My pick this week is as cheap as that. It's a it's that cheaper pick. Like my my pick is the equivalent of such a cheap goal. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm gonna pick the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Joe the ref, do we allow it? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, he's the new guy. Him. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you how this pick came about. Not just because it's the 300th episode and everything. It's because you woke up today and went, oh, God, it's Thursday, isn't it? No, I, I walked into the room and Joel went, you got your Hall of Fame pick? And I went, oh, God. So this is my Hall of Fame pick. We always appreciate your honesty on the show, Jack. <laughs> Apart from when it comes to, you know, welching on bets. But yeah, yeah. thank you. Any specific, specific reason you think the Cult Hike Wrestling Podcast should be put in the Cult the Hike Wrestling Podcast Hall of Fame? No. Just can't be asked. Not even, <laughs> not even an attempt. Not a problem. Thank you very much, Jack, for coming. We appreciate it. Now go back to sleep. <laughs> Ross, what have you got for us? I reckon it might already be in, you know. The podcast. The podcast uh, might already be Maybe. In. Maybe. So I not only what, is it I've a lazy <laughs> pick, it's already been done. I've definitely nominated the previous week's Hall of Fame discussion before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to nominate Jack's lazy picks for Hall of Fame? No, I don't. I've come prepared this week. Oh, wow. Yeah. How about that? They're going to show a video, which I've been bullied into sharing on the podcast. Oh, hell yeah. Kayla, who is not my man, but my girlfriend, has started listening to the That's podcast again just to send it to sleep at night. So I <laughs> play it to her. And she said, if we don't nominate this one this week, we'll get we'll get smacked when I get... I won't get smacked when I get home. We don't fight. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And anyway, <laughs> I like that you merely bailed on that. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> this isn't 1970s England. We don't say that. So I, I don't have TikTok. She has TikTok. She saw this video. She thought it was nice. She said Ross put it in the Hall of Fame, and I didn't have anything better to nominate. So here we are. We can't play a sound because I think it's got a song on there, Joel. Mm. But basically, the story is two old people. If you want to hit play, Joel, go on. You can do it. He's done it. Grandparents love to watch wrestling on the telly, so these people surprise their grandparents with a shoot oh. visit to the wrestling oh. when all they do is watch on the... Look at the old oh. people! Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Out their living room oh. in the crowd watching oh. Ziggler and... Oh. Someone has a zigzag oh. there. But I she's on a way of a time. It, yeah. is when good. is this? Uh, Ireland. <laughs> Belfast. Oh, Boney M's favourite place. Hashtag granda, hashtag granny, hashtag memories. You're getting tired oh. now. Oh, yeah, he's at his pint. <laughs> oh, Matthew. He's at, how long is this? Yeah. Long time. I can't cope with the hand holding. The Where holding hands. Oh. oh. And his it's shoes a good night out if you shoot as a. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pointing and laughing. He went. Look at his <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, Nel he's like Nelson from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. not, it's not a night out. It's like a night out to sit down on my dress. <laughs> oh, your shoe broke. <laughs> oh, that was really nice. It was really nice. That right. should win the. So there we go. Yeah, but it'll come win. second to the, uh, the, po the podcast, I think. No, I think no. my, dad would, my dad would take me out of the will if I surprise <laughs> took him to a wrestling <laughs> show. But I love the thought that was that they took that, that and ran nice. with it. Aww. That is very nice. Wonderful, wonderful memories. Yes. Mm. That should win. I, I shouldn't be winning this week. I'll just like to say to everyone now. Oh, thanks for the heads up. That's yeah, all right. I'll be, well, they'll be sure to point it out when it comes to the voting for the prestigious Cultaholic <laughs> Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> <Sounds laughs> huh? It makes me get my thoughts. Uh, Fat Bear winner. Grazer. Grazer. Grazer Ramon, yeah. That's it. Grazer Ramon. Mm. Uh, the Cold Hollywood the wrestling, wrestling Podcast. And wait, old I people it. get shoot taken to the wrestling. Don't put shoot in that. Against their <laughs> will, but they enjoy it. That's all. <laughs> the happy hostages themselves <laughs> in Belfast. Uh, these picks are your picks and your picks alone. If you go to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. For the princely sum of $1 million. I don't want to do, man. Uh, I don't know. You don't necessarily have to be voting for this week's edition of the Colic Russian podcast oh, with the go in. I do whatever, man. <laughs> oh, my God, lads. I don't know what's happening. Try not be an uptain in viewership this week because it is the big 300th one. And Maybe. Might... And he's gentle decline. 
immediately afterwards. It's just a ski slope. It's not normally like this, is it? No, we usually awake and coherent. <laughs> That says, this week in the wrestling, it's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ha! Ah, this week in wrestling, Smackdown. I didn't, it's I the didn't big, do It's the big, big 300, so as a special edition, <laughs> there's no funny nicknames for the episodes. I'm really, I was struggling this morning. This is like our MTV Unplugged edition. Uh, you know the cool stuff you like, and, oh, that's it. I can try and come up with some on the fly if you want. Oh, please do, because it's going to be great. No, I, I, I really can't. <laughs> It's the it's time for the blood LA Knight, which coincidentally is what time Jack wishes it was now, so go to sleep. Yeah. Opens the show, but the bloodline interrupt and tell him that he won't even make it to Fastlane. Ooh. They advance on Knight like this, but Cena runs out to stand by his side and they back away like this. Knight <laughs> cuts a promo on the bloodline with everybody saying LA Knight. Yeah. Well done, Joe. Well done, Joe. Thank you. Did you do yes, it? Yes, I well? just like him. Well, then what's going on? I'm in the Twilight Zone here, man. Oh. Do you carry on? Well, it's Twilight Zone for you when you're sober. Oh, come on. The Judgment now. Day arrive at the venue. Uh, Priest. Uh, spurious accusation. Priest asks why JD McDonald Google Me is here, but Rhea Ripley says she wanted him there. Aha. Uh -huh. This is going to be a strategic misstep come fast lane. And it was. It was. It, yeah. yeah, well, it's not wrong. Ask and Charlotte Flair team up to beat Bailey oh, and your Sky and Tag Match. Oh, no yeah. analysis for you. We'll, have just, any. we'll just read out what I happened. That I waited. And not add any colour to it whatsoever. <laughs> so Matthew, just real do Smackdown. No. no, I've, I've sat through 27 pissing hours of wrestling for no bloody reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, this. I don't think this was a very dramatic episode of Smackdown, personally, but uh, any thoughts up till now, Ross? Paul Heyman said LA Knight is going to be the next big star, therefore it's going to happen. He's going to take the title off Roman Reigns. Yes. And then, obviously, LA Knight whaps out a classic with the receipt. Let me check my receipt. That was I didn't buy any of BS. Yeah. That was my move of the week. Yeah. And obviously, Jimmy still thinks he's the tribal chief at this point, which is interesting. But tribal chief's not here. With his lovely poses on them. The Paul called rules. Roman, didn't he? So he's back next week. We'll end this week as well. Paul called Roman about four times this week on all the brands. Yeah. yeah. Dear Roman. Yeah, Roman. Around week uh, five. He was even doing play by play fast lane, which I thought was strange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's Roman doing that he can't watch the TV, but he can he listen doesn't to Paul? Watch. <laughs> he doesn't have a network subscription. I, Paul Heyman can make a phone entertaining. Mm. Yeah. He stopped dyeing his hair. Yeah, it's very grey. It's a nice st stylistic choice for the story. Mm -hmm. The lack of Roman made him go grey. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I have no additional thoughts. <laughs> Just copy that sound sample, <laughs> paste it the rest of the podcast. <laughs> Uh, the Bloodline argue backstage about Roman Reigns oh, never but, being around. Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I missed out Charlotte Nasker and... No. <laughs> I didn't say I missed it. <laughs> it's not a shot for a moonsault after all. What have you got for us, Ross? I don't know, Matthew. Uh, no, I... let's read what actually happened in the match. I've gone, yeah. Jack's made notes, I've made notes. Let's go. Oh, he has. See what he says in the match, that's it. <laughs> he wasn't even reading it. Read what, the notes, he what, said. What was it, what was it? Ask her Charlotte Flair to want to be Bailey and Oscar Tangrens. Or to beat them. Or to beat them. Oh, okay, yeah. um, good match. Uh, I, I, the crowd obviously are not behind Charlotte as a babyface. No. Yeah. Uh, mm. but the interesting thing was Bailey Whizzle Wazzle Dio went to the title match at Fastlane against yeah. Taylor Will. She didn't want it because Bailey speaks a different kind of Japanese to mm. Io, obviously, when yeah. Asuka was speaking. That's right. But then in that's this Geordie match, Japanese. Here, that's Geordie mm. Japanese. <laughs> good luck. Kanichi uh, Wildlife. <laughs> But then Bailey took the bullet for Io in the corner in this match here. So what does she want? Mm, yeah. yeah. She's all kinds of Robbie Williams lesser known banger because she's sending mixed signals. You know that one? Mixed signals? Which album's that one? Uh, the one that came out in 2017. What's sort of time. Oh, 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 right. Oh, I forget no. what the, it's mm. the one with say like, Party Like a Rush in that album. Oh, goodness me. That's aged well. I um, know. Right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, is, this oh is NXT. That he was, Elliot Dragon. Is that because he opened the World Cup in Russia that year? Potentially, yeah. Mm. Oh, bloody Elliot did, didn't he? Yeah. Ah. I Love My Life, that's a more well-aged song on that album. I don't know that album at all. Yeah, That, that period's just a blur for me. Fantastic yeah. album. No, blur with, like, Ripper. Hey, he's still got it. <laughs> he's on the Iron Brute for those listening to the podcast feed. He's opening up his third tenants. I've already had it. No, I've already... I've, I've got all my electrolytes, and now I'm now I'm one of the hard stuff, Iron mm. Brute. Whoa. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'm glad that Charlotte Flair got a lot of offense in, offense in here because, you know, she's a young up-and-comer. We don't know what she's about. <laughs> Fresh coat of paint on her at the moment, obviously, to steal something from Brucey e. P. It's, uh, yep. it's interesting that you say that because I've not noticed that until you said it, but you're right. It's like they're presenting her as a new up-and-coming babyface on the scene. She's got things on her thighs now. Muscle. That's, that's the only difference. No, like a, a bit of... 
the oh, like material. The band, the band that yeah. makes your legs keep bulge. That's literally the only difference. Mm. Mm. Oh. But she's being, like, heavily... Yeah. Like, yeah, whatever. But she doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> She'll like fire up and stuff like a face should, yeah. but you can just see the contempt in her eyes for the fans. <laughs> she just hates them. Yeah, and, and they also, hate her. In Dory, especially at the minute, there's too many of these accidental moves that are clear accidents being treated as if they're shoots. Which what like what? There was the kick on Asuka from Charlotte, and then Io getting bumped off yeah. the apron by Bailey. Both mistakes. Uh, were both, both treated as rail. The only one that I can think of that was. So blatantly not an accident was when Drew threw a chair into the face of one of the new days and turned <laughs> he had to, to turn around and do it. Yeah. That was a mistake. Mm, okay. Yeah, because you're there like, why was I having to go at me for? <laughs> <laughs> he flew directly into me. <laughs> but like, it's all just set up to pay view, which is the day after this. So we move on to the next bit. The Bloodline argue backstage about Roman Reigns never being around. They find the Judgment Day hanging out in their locker room. Priest and Solo have a tense stare down, but Rhea and Heyman make every leave so they can have a so chat. Can get it on. Oh, absolutely, man. <laughs> so I was ready for this. Like Bang! Like, Penelope and what's his face? Kip Sabian. Kip Sabian's yeah. blatantly injured face. <laughs> but his very healthy dick. Yes. Yeah, so that, <laughs> oh, you thought I've got some run. bad news. <laughs> <laughs> he, by the way... <laughs> On the Fastlane pre-show, he was unbelievable. Get him on every pre-show, Barrett. I didn't see the pre-show. Oh, no. it, they had a, him and Booker had a competition where they both had to like hype up Trick Williams' entrance from the NXT show. Oh. And Booker's just doing his Booker thing. Wade's like, step aside, Booker, I've got this. And they showed Trick Williams' entrance, and the crowd were like, whoa, uh, Trick. And, Book, and Barrett's going, yeah, Trick Willie. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> really good. Booker can't... Wait, you, you, you tell me, uh, Wade beat Booker T in an enthusiasm contest. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm speechless. They, I'm so glad I'm sat down. He, him and Booker were just so happy to be there together next to each other oh, on the pre I think they've got really good chemistry. Rosenberg's on the end like, all right, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, I paid to be here. Yeah. Which he didn't, but... We I st- like that rumor. He took that, he took that bait so well yeah, and brings yeah. it up. Um, blah, blah, blah. The Street Profits and LWO get into a brawl on the outside during Bobby Lashley's match with Rey Mysterio. It distracts Rey enough for Lashley to hit the spear and win. This felt like it should have been the pay-per-view match and then the sixth person should that. be on SmackDown, yeah. yeah. Ah, yes. Well, even with Carlito? Well, maybe not with Carlito, yeah. I but disagree it, with that as well. It, was, it felt like, because you know how they had to like write off the other two lads in the LWO to get to the Carlito thing? It felt like they weren't yeah. beaten up enough to be... Because <laughs> right. then later we learned that they ruled out for the show. They're rubbish, though. Yeah, they are rubbish, Just yeah. a little <laughs> flick and then they're gone. <laughs> See you later. One they're injured move. for 12 like years. Like Coopers. <laughs> Mm. Just bounce on their heads twice and they're done. Oh, nice. Mm. Green ones as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate them. Yeah. But yeah, no, this was a, uh, Lashley versus Ray's a good match. But yeah, it was just all about like, yeah. Sorry, LWO. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Cruz del Toro took, takes an impressive bump head first in the ring steps. I've never, is, never seen yeah. done with such quite pop and snap. Is he the one? Which one was DJ Z? Z in Impact. That's Z wha- my eye on. Joaquin wha- uh, Wild. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cruz del Toro's Raul Mendoza. Yes. Okay. Got you. That's right. NXT through and through. Mm. <laughs> uh, Rhea Ripley suggests that the Bloodline and JD would be stronger if they were on the same page uh, and I interrupt and go I thought you guys were Remember they've, that been, thing they've had a, a working right? relationship for a yeah. while yeah. yeah and then it was sort of rekindled with Paul and Rhea in the segment before mm. yeah I feel like the old HWA did we thing going on right mm. now but no maybe not sometimes these storylines are like a Bunsen burner and sometimes they forget about them and turn them down a bit and then they'll just whenever they need to turn Aye. them back up Absolutely. it's not as intricately linked as they want you to think it is I don't mm. think Yes, yeah. that's well said. Heyman agrees, but says he needs authorities, author, authorization. Oh, my God in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> authorization mm. from the tribal chief. Ripley intimidates him, saying she's the one with the power to authorize it. She leaves. Uh, she leaves, and Heyman vengefully calls Roman. <laughs> he left too much of a gap between Roman and Reigns. The phone would have already tried to call whatever he thought he said because he went call Roman. If I'm like, sorry, can you say yeah. that again? How many old Romans do you reckon he knows? <laughs> Just called a ra- rang random, like Roman Kemp instead of someone. Like, <laughs> One yeah. night's on TikTok, so it might be the Roman Empire. Yeah. <laughs> why, why is that a thing? Right, so. Oh, uh, I'll look there you go. I never on this. think of the Roman Empire, apart do from you know, right now. All yeah. the pure lads uh, have been asking boys, how often do you think of the Roman Empire? Yeah. And are shocked when boys give any answer other than almost never. Like, boys could be like, I think about it like once a month. Once every yeah. so often, and they'll go, what? Yeah. But what's specifically about the Roman Empire? It, I think the point is to illustrate just how all-encompassing the Roman Empire was in terms <laughs> yes. of the modern world. Roads, 
the aqueduct. Well, they're new for us, etc., etc. But yeah, I thought I never even thought that it was a weird thing. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Regularly. How how regularly? I never thought, but I'd say like uh, once a week. Wow, that is quite. If often. I had to guess off the top of my head, Your looking at my dick brain, must be massive. I'd say powerful cock. <laughs> I'd say. Oh, from... it's never like that's right. I could have been Julius Caesar. <laughs> it's never like that. Like, I would have been the likely, you know, change the privy. But yeah. it's just like, wow, what a cool time. I I think probably maybe once a month. I'm less regular than you, certainly. Mm, got my level. There's rookie numbers. Yeah. yeah. What about Joel? <laughs> He's got a microphone. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, two he's weeks. in between. In between. Well, we've, we've given a full spectrum there. Yes. That's but good. what triggers the thoughts, though? Well, I, sometimes... <laughs> so, well, obviously, I always think about the Carthaginians, so then that just leads naturally into I don't know. You ever see, no. you seen Peter Drury give his answer to that question? The no. football commentator just goes off about oh, he was asked about <laughs> the language. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, the language they gave us, it's beautiful. <laughs> Every every goal somehow he can link to when it's in the European competition, Matthew, he can link yeah. to something the Romans did, and something that was top. Which he's to be blamed. <laughs> w- it he's inspiring like, the kids. It sounds like it might have been him, but whatever, it, whichever it was, it was when England played Denmark in the semi-finals of the Euros that we nearly won back then. Mm. And it's kickoff. He's got this line prepared, and he goes, "Well, one of the it's England versus Denmark." He goes, "Right, one of the greatest stories in human history was told by an Englishman about a Dane. Let's see if this one can match up to it." He's talking about Hamlet. I'm like, "Oh God." Yeah, that's right. It's a bit too on the nose. Aye, <laughs> yeah. a bit, bit rotten in Denmark, doesn't yeah. it? Ah, hey. state of Denmark in that match. State of Denmark. That's a Shakespeare English podcast, guy. like. <laughs> Should we do a laddie Shakespeare? Yeah. Podcast? <laughs> Yeah, I'll go turn <laughs> deal again. Saw that one coming. Uh, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn could have been yet, where they say the curse will spread. Speaking of Macbeth. I was going to say, bloody oh, well, hell. Well, it, oh. They shall live <clears throat> deliciously. <laughs> they shall live deliciously, yeah. Hmm. What's that then? That's an NXT line. Yeah. We're on the main roster. They brought the script right there. The, the, the budget improved for the set, though. In yeah, the oh, it's really good. Mm. Top mm. tier. Like Game of Thrones. What did you think of it? It reminded me of, uh, remember Mrs. Napton, who I've mentioned on the podcast before I was such a teacher. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Napton. <laughs> she once said, like someone walked in and was like, hey, Mrs. Napton, how are you, stop, Mrs. Napton? Stop, 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 stop. And she was like, well, I'm absolutely ravenous. Which Wait, she's had make... that voice as well? Yeah, she, no, what? You were mocking her voice when No, you... no, no. Oh. no, no he, went, he went to school with Come Tuesday, apparently. <laughs> I was Mr. Gar- Harrison from South Park. <laughs> she was like, well, I'm absolutely ravenous, which makes, it makes some sense. But, but you not... shouldn't say that to a room of kids. No, I'm no, ravenous. No, no. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, yeah. But she was like, well, I'm absolutely ravenous. Yeah, but if you say anything in front of a class of teenagers that can be posh in any sort of way, they'll be like, wait, 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 So I, I've equated whatever you've just read out there, which I've forgotten, to that, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> <I'm a fire laughs> we should live deliciously. The curse, that's oh. the one, yeah. <laughs> the, cur- the point of it was that, because they, they recently took credit, didn't they, for the, the women's tag title curse of injuries. Which is great. And they've said that the curse will spread, it'll continue to spread. Oh. Oh, unless no. they get what they want. Mm. The curse has spread to the TNT title in AEW. I'll mm. say, yeah. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah. And possibly the, I'll say. Possibly, the <laughs> possibly the international title as well. <laughs> Rather. That's yeah. not what I meant, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bollocks. Yeah, Christian's no. a TNT. <laughs> no. TNT title's like the top no. one in AEW. The You're right. Yeah. Oh. School. Like the well one that Ray held, you know, little Ray. Yeah, yeah. You no, know. little Orange has got it. I'm saying nothing, though. <laughs> Let's be wrong. Uh, Grayson Waller interferes to help Austin Theory, his clone, against Dragon Lee. No, Cameron Grimes arrives to even the odds. Yeah, right. And Dragon Lee picks up the win. It worked. Ooh. He did even oh, the oh, odds. Bloody hell. All right, Cameron enough. Grimes. There's a fantastic moment after Theory d- cuts his nothing promo before the match and Michael Cullors goes, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> But I've got <laughs> heat, hasn't he? Because Theory keeps on yelling at Cole, so uh, yeah. he's I the new top does, dollar, yeah. which yeah, is yeah. not a position you want. Uh. I'm dread- he, he can get over the top rope, can't he? That theory. 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 Oh, yeah, well, yeah. He can get over that top yeah, rope. Oh, yeah. You want to do. Yeah. Dragon Lee needs to I be in the LWO, though. He's in making the more consistent televised... I'd say no. I he's think he's doing might... too good. We on about he won a match on TV. <laughs> How can he be in the LWO? Get those other two <coughs> ninkin poops out there. No. Oh, I use harsh language on this oh, podcast hey, hey, steady now. Can't be demonetized again. Um, yeah. And then that, obviously that great luchador Cameron Grimes comes in to help his, help his brethren. NXT strong. <laughs> Cameron Graham should be an LW. I thought it was a woman, like, when he first attacked. His hair's that gorgeous. Mm. And the camera was shot behind him. It just looked like a lady. I was yeah. like, wow. But it wasn't. It was him. It was Cameron Graham. It was Cameron Graham. Cameron <laughs> Ray Mysterio tells Santos Escobar and Zena Vega that the rest of the LW are completely out. Sorry, are out of fast lane after their brawl with the Street Profits. They don't have enough men for their six man tag at fast lane. So Ray goes to make a phone call. Roman, Ray. Oh, Roman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I was thinking, why didn't he just go down the corridor and get Dragon Lee at the time? But then I was right. like, it's, like, it's kind of set up well, like, wow. Well, Dragon Lee might have, um, <clears throat> he might have turned up for the match on time. That's what we <laughs> Yeah. Can't yeah. jam that last right in his ass. There's not oh. enough room. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to so... be. He's got to be. No, it's just... all natural. They're no, all natural. Just, once he... It's all chicken and broccoli, <laughs> all right? Once he became, once he stepped away from WWE, he just became a body guy, didn't he? He ate Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Took on his mass at the same time. There was a photo of him and Cena together. Him and Carlito. Mm. Kayfabe shattered. It's worse than Kenny Omega filming Don Callis in Japan. They should right? never be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jimmy Uso faces LA Knight in the main event, but Solo attacks Knight to the DQ. Cena arrives to prevent a beatdown, but the Bloodline and JD join forces and prepare to attack. Jey Uso makes the save, followed by Cody Rhodes, and we have a big brawl. JD McDougalmy gets isolated, and everyone hits their finishes on him to end the show. A big house show finish. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I thought, like, wait, they're not teasing Survivor Series main event, are they? The, Which really surely... sucks to show how unimportant Fastlane oh, is. But... They should just not bottle it right, and they should just do the Bloodline versus the Judgment Day at Survivor Series. But it won't be. It wouldn't make much sense. Who are you I cheering on that? Anyone. Yeah, you don't care. Yeah. Heyman. I don't know. Wrestling. Dude, if they do Ripley Heyman, mm. it's like a little mini brawl. Yeah. So we get Cole yelling, cat fight, cat fight, <laughs> for one last time, I guess. But uh. I tell I'm numb to do at the moment in terms of some, some of the things they do. I was just counting down the seconds until Solo got involved. Or Jimmy yeah, got involved. Yeah, I was whatever. quite like, all right, let's just go to the pay-per-view. And then the blood, uh, the Judgment Day steam hit, and I thought Raw had started again, but it hadn't. It was the main event of SmackDown. <laughs> and then all the moving parts got going towards the end. It was it was pretty good. But um, yeah. yeah. Speaking of, just the, reminding me there, when you were saying themes, and then I thought you meant the SmackDown theme for a second. Papa Roach spoke recently. It did. On uh, how it helped them. Whoa. Yeah. Me, me, me. And Whoa. I learned me, me, me. that the front man from Papa Roach is called Jacoby Shaddix. No, I don't know that. No, he's not. I, uh, I think he legally that's changed his, his name. Name. Like, that's his real name. <laughs> he legally changed his name like three times during the 2000s. Oh, it's not his birth name. <laughs> yeah, no, he went through. I think maybe I'll have to check like in between this. But With like, the I, like man, Joe. I'm pretty sure he changed his name to Papa Roach at one point. Yeah, well, he's, he's not. He's not um, Papa Roach. I haven't thought about this in a long time. I'm pretty sure he changed his name to that and then changed it back. And yeah, I mean, it was Jacobi his last Shaddock. resort. So Jacoby hey. Shaddix. Yeah, his previous names. Does it have them? Click on J- Jacoby there down the yeah, side. Yeah, Jacoby. And Jacoby, D- Jacoby Shaddock sounds Previous like names. sounds like the bloke who the NFL also wide known as is. Kobe Dick. Oh. that's good. Johnny Vodka. Kobe <laughs> Dick. John Doe. Hang on. Uh, Dakota Gold and J- oh, Chicago in Sonico. He's a whole NXT roster. <laughs> that's mad. My weakness Swear. is I care too much about Jacoby Shaddock's names. Damn it! I have to see where. It... We'll investigate in between the breaks because we don't want to kill the. I wonder if we ever apologize for ripping off Green Day. Wow. <laughs> when you rip off Green Day? Well, no, it's not really. It's just Last Resort is um, Brain Stew. He's not wrong. No, 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 no. Obviously, that bit changes it. But, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's not. There's loads of songs that sound like other songs. I shouldn't, you know. Yeah, it's all blurred lines, isn't it? Uh, Fast Lane. Mm. On the pre show, we see Jade Cargill arrive and be greeted by Triple H. And she already looks like the star that she yeah, should have been treated by uh, but, uh, treated as years ago. Why? What happened to surprises? You know. But they already announced it. No, I know. Yeah, you're right. It's just you know. And she didn't do anything the show. Or on so, NXT, and I'm worried yeah. that this is a deliberate attempt to kind of lessen the hype. I, really? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I get what you're saying. Imagine if like someone was just in the ring and then her music just started just out of nowhere. Jade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Remember gen- her from Edo. <laughs> this is the generation of Jane. <laughs> Whoa, let me feel it. Whoa. Her outfit was nice, though. Absolutely. She was dressed to wrestle. I was like, she's going to have a match. No, that's what she wears that's down just, the shop. That's what she does, man. Yeah. Oh. Get, the, get the bod out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go get cat food. Yeah. <laughs> They must have done that on purpose. Though. I like to think that like that used to, all of her wardrobe used to be normal clothes, but she's too muscular and it just ends up like that. It just bursts through it. Yeah. Or she got yeah. bit by a cat. Or she got bit by a cat. And then she like that woman off the Batman, the first, the second one. Catwoman? Catwoman oh. I. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And she's some. She becomes an expert. She got so bit on. by a. Wait a minute. Catwoman's origin story. She wasn't bitten by a radioactive cat. <laughs> she became Catwoman. Oh, bit no, by she, the fell out the, she fell out the building and got swarmed by a, a, a lovely family of cats. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't remember. I think it just turned her. Charlie a, pushed her out the window. That, that's right. You, Charlie. Oh, your first name turns. <laughs> did we? Did, you'll know this, right? In the Spider-Man comics, right? Did yeah. was Mysterio's identity ever revealed? Did you ever see him without the helmet on? 
Um, or is it Mysterion? It's Mysterio, isn't it? Mysterio, yes. Was it Ray? Basically, is what I'm asking. I, it, you know what? There's been so many different versions of them. Oh, one of them's going to be Ray. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's done a bunch of comic books stuff. He's not addressed as Mysterio, has he, Ray? He surely, Wait, how could you? It's a big surely, fishbowl. Oh, but he yet. surely worn green and purple. He's yeah. surely done Mysterio. Anyway, that's good enough. <laughs> Selena Vega came out as Vega from um, Street Fighter. Oh. Vega. Where were we? You were yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the thing he said. Yeah. It's just one line, I think. Yeah. Uh, thanks to JD accidentally hitting Priest with a briefcase, Cody Rose and Jey Uso beat the JD to become the new undisputed tag team bloody champions. They go and get... So blaze afterwards, more on that later on. Did. <laughs> I totally should have put that in the Hall of Fame. What am I thinking putting bears in? But yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised by this match. Mm. Yeah. I was like, here we go. And we're having this fake tag match because it's not even a big deal. And then blah, 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 blah. they're not going to really win. Oh, okay. JD are out and they're being in the fit. Oh, they've stopped the interfit. Oh, put through a tech. Oh, they bloody won. Yeah. Oh, okay. It completely the, changed how I thought about the match. All like the heel shenanigans they would have used to win right. got nullified. And then when he hit Priest with a briefcase, I was like, they're going to do it. And yeah, I don't know what it means in the larger context of like... The f- story has been finished. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. He's done it. <laughs> this is what he dreamed of. Yes, he held uh, the title his dad held for the Road Warriors when they were taking a slash. Uh, not just Cody's... Uh, <laughs> not just Cody's... Um, trajectory, but Jay's as well. Like, what does it mean? Yeah. Unless they're just holding them over a bit until, like, the rumble or whatever, I guess. Yeet. But as a match at <laughs> Yeet. But as a match itself, yes, I liked it. And I liked their oddball pairing. Mm. Yeah. And the one, oh, what do they call it? The one Cody Cutterish day one. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful that one, pal. <laughs> I tell you what, though, someone on Twitter who I forgot to write down the name of made a good point. They said they hadn't been watching wrestling for a while, and then the show starts with someone called Main Event Jay Uso coming out, <laughs> and Main Event Jay <laughs> Uso who started the show. His theme is on about it's just him, Us, and then he waits for his tag team partner to come out, which I thought was a lovely, refreshing take on wrestling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes if you step outside the circle, you're like, hang on. So but to is, us, it all makes sense. What is what? the mountain of omnipotence? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, curtain jerker, Jay Oos. Oh, yeah. It's me, Oos, and my friend. <laughs> but I think it's so interesting that JD put his bollock in it. Mm. Dropped a bollock. That's what I was supposed to do. He put, <laughs> put his, a bollock. He in put it. his foot in it and dropped a bollock. That's if you love it, you should put a bollock on it. Because <laughs> everything he's done so far, he's, uh, Rhea Ripley seems to be quite happy with him getting involved, and he's always been doing good stuff. But then this time, will this or not only? Loosen the Judgment Day's faith in JD, but also in Rhea as a leader. But there are no leaders. Ah, oh, but she's been. There no yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no leaders. But we listen to Rhea <laughs> because she's Rhea. Yeah. Before the next match, ex- oh. he's been caught again. Who? Xavier. Booker T. Ordering oh, food during yeah, a pay per view. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you think oh, this was a deliberate. Oh, oh was that's a... why. <laughs> I've only just got that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no one out pizzas the hut. No Remember that. No one says that. Yeah, they, they all did. did. We <laughs> say it every day. Come on, guys. Let's get Pizza Hut. You got Pizza the Hut. No one out pizza the hut. You know. Ugh. Before the next match, Xavier Woods orders Pizza Hut with Wade Barrett and Booker T backstage, and they don't really have much to talk about, do they? So well, look at all the things you get in the Wade, big dinner box. You get the wings. Oh man! It's so funny because <laughs> Wade has to. Yeah, Booker's about to make those crazy Booker noises, but then Wade's like, "I've got some bad news. No pop. Just kidding. Pizza Hut's still open." He's like, <laughs> "Just shoehorn that." I can't in. say anything bad about Pizza Hut. There you go. Go on, press it. There you go. I got Vietnam flashbacks when Woods is out there after the next match. And he presents Michael Cole with a box, and Michael goes. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Just at this... Oh, he's, he's gone back to his old ways, Michael. And Stay look, alive, And look, Corey, yeah. it's the big dinner box as well. <laughs> Zoom in on the big, oh, <laughs> the big dinner box. It's a box-like structure, Corey. I'm going to have some It's like a Neapolitan ice cream, but pizza. <laughs> but everything's beige. Mm. <laughs> Can uh. you believe this match was sponsored? <laughs> it's every... Why is it every Ray match? Yeah, it is every really much. Maybe he gets a bonus for it. <laughs> I hope He's so. He's the only one who wants it. Yeah, yeah. give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that. Mmm, <laughs> cinnamon toast crunch pizza, <laughs> my favourite. Uh, Carlito arrives late. <laughs> that's, that's how we start with this. To help Ray and Escobar beat Lashley and Street Profits, Woods delivers pizza and other team up, whatever. They didn't need to put that bit in. But uh, it was so weird because I thought, all right, this is a decent match, but it's a tag match after another tag match. Crowd was dead. Which they were. Oh, were sounded, they? It sounded very quiet for the most of it. Mm-hmm. But it was like, all right, it was decent, blah, blah, blah. They're going good. And then the pop. What? When we... the math 
The math mo- The Matthew yeah. pop, is it Matthew? Oh, yeah. The myth. Is this when the you walk at the breeze? <laughs> <laughs> the math, the math is here. I'm there. He's jumping the queue. There's a queue, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man, the myth, the apple himself, Carlito, strolled down. Well, but, his music was all ding, diddly, ding, ding, ding. It's not right, is it? What, they can't acknowledge he had that theme? No, apparently. He did it earlier this year. What did Jim Johnson do? Didn't he... Didn't he do the whole Apple thing when he last came back? Yeah. Now he's just a rootin' tootin' baby face. I reckon it was just a, a shoot like late appearance and they're like, oh, I haven't got the right one. That'll do. <laughs> Quickly, someone say, do you think you are cool? I thought, it wasn't even the right line before <laughs> the song, was it? <laughs> you thought he was cool. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Is anyone still finding it a bit jarring that you think you know him when Edge comes out? In, or nah. when Adam Cole comes out? Oh, fair enough. Darry. Drowned out by the crowd, isn't it? Mm, the him true. bit. Yeah, because yeah, those AW crowds is drowned out by... Yay. Oh. Being partial, man. You you're really, a journalist. You, I, you've got to call it like you see it. <laughs> We'd gone. We were obviously originally fans of AW. Then we went. Still to, are. Then we went to WWE. Then we went. After all in, we went back to the AW side. But now I think you've gone back to <laughs> WWE, and we're still AW for I've now. Been NXT all the time. Ah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say yes to this. Winners. Mm. I mean, take that AW. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, did they win the ratings? Uh, but yes, did they, they win the ratings. Did. Did they it's, it's a hollow win, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's like if. Right. Like when in the League Cup, football teams have that under twenty one sides in uh, there. Yeah. It's like if they put all the first team players in the under twenty ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole. That's a beautiful comparison, by the way. I was yeah. being like, sarcastic. It's as like the everybody. first half oh, of the Space Jam <laughs> match. Like the first half of the Space, of the Space Jam. Jam match, where the monsters are just destroying these cartoons. Yeah. I'll, I prefer Rosses, but that's nice. <laughs> I tell you, I was shocked they didn't break a million though. What's going on? All those big boys on there. I prefer Rosses, but actually, that was a lot funnier. <laughs> It's the slogan of this podcast. <laughs> that should be the call on the rest of the podcast. That'll be, on, that'll, be on Matthew, that'll be on Matthew's headstone. I prefer Ross's bit. <laughs> when we both murder him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll chop his heat off. <laughs> I prefer Ross's death. <laughs> yeah, Kelly Return got a giant pop because he ruled mm. in the early 2000s. Um, even when he was labeled as lazy by management, uh, despite being mega over, because WWE was really weird back then. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. Ah. Mm. She comes out, biggest pop of the night for Carlito. That Ric Flair promo where Ric Flair, right? yeah, I shag all the women, and you are not doing anything. Ah, yeah. ah you little yeah. prick. You never uh, <laughs> you never get anywhere this. this is like, my, my dad's a really, really big deal back home. It's all right. <laughs> He's in the Hall of Fame. Carlito was there, wasn't he? Because they gave him the live mic, and he was like, oh, don't give the colognes a live mic. I remember that now. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Interesting. I was really shocked by the outcome of the match, though, because I thought this new Bobby Lashley Street Profits thing was like a vehicle for Big Tez. Yeah. The new gear was there, you know, Bobby's star power being used for Tez, and then Tez is the one who takes the pinfall from yeah. Carlito. Yeah. Yeah, It. they're trying to do two things at once. Well, three things are now with Carlito. We've got the Santos thing in the background. Does he want to turn on Ray? Does he respect him too much? Blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, all right, Lashley and his crew, yeah. are they heel or face, or are they mm, not really working against heel. other people? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> But then also his Carlito. Mm. Like, okay, that's... I mean, I like Carlito coming back, but it's going to be interesting seeing where this is going. He wrestles like John Cena now. Like, he just... He wrestles like an absolute... Oh, I wasn't. I was going to make an off-colour joke, and I can't. Yeah, I have to now. Dude, I'll promise I'll say it's funny. No, I don't want you... I don't want anyone to think it's funny. I feel bad. I was okay. going to say he wrestles like an absolute bruiser. Brody. But I... <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, wrestles like an absolute bruiser. Brody. But I... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, uh, I just got by. That was bad. That was really good. Though. No, no, no. That was re- that no. was way better than what Ross said. Ah, uh, that was a shower of you know what. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. No. Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow! Remember, it was me who said all the bad stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you thought that was bad pizza afterwards. You callous bastards! After having the Pizza Hut thing round mm. the apron, so even if you skipped it, yeah. you still saw this bloody advert. And not only you that, you skipped it then, did you? <laughs> I tried to, and then it was like, ah, oh, it's everywhere. Not only that, it's the big dinner box. Oh, yeah. Oh, Michael. And Cole as well, has to, he like goes to eat a bit of the pizza. He's like, I'm going to tuck in right now. And does a bit like performative bite of the pizza. And I was like, oh. It's the smallest bite. Mm. <laughs> is it, it. it Krusty Burger? Where Krusty yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> During the triple threat match, the WWE Women's title, Bailey distracts the referee while Asuka taps out to Charlotte Flair. Up and comer. Mm. Eos Sky takes advantage and retains the title. Uh, it felt a bit like a SmackDown ending with Bailey getting on the apron. 
Um, and also, it was all about Charlotte looking really strong. She was doing double suplexes. She was the moonsault at yeah. the top rope. She, got, she the shook pole. off the mist. No one ever shakes off mist that quickly. Yeah, that's how the match mm-hmm. opened, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And she was there. Yeah. Bit of splash of water. She was fine. That's the thing. People, are we supposed to, Cody used to do this in AEW. Like, oh, no, I've been beaten down. Can I come back? And people are like, yeah, get up. <laughs> that doesn't really work anymore, does it? I think it's just, was it to make sure that the odds were so stacked against Charlotte that it's all right, it's all right that she lost? <laughs> like, like, yeah. Wait, I was like, what's happening with the women's division? Smackdown. <laughs> I thought all, the whole thing was Bianca Belair's justified heel turn. That never came. All the faces are heels. Not, like Everyone loves heels. Yeah, Asuka's yeah. suddenly being cheered, even though she's still doing the evil is clown face. Heel? But I thought she, she, I, think I she don't is. remember her Officially, turning yeah. face, though. That's a thing. But in NXT, she was like a tweener because she's getting on backstage with heels and the faces. But right. then she blows off Tiffany Stratton. Right. Like, well, and in then the manner of speaking. Th- thank you. And then EO Sky is like, I thought her and Bailey doing the thing, but then it's going a different direction, but then it may be a bit like, but whatever. So it's just like, yeah. it's just we're just treading water here, aren't we? I didn't mind the match, though. It was, was okay. Right. Yeah, it was yeah. alright. Yeah, just too much Charlotte for me. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I'm not right. I'm not fussed about Charlotte. I'm not Raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaka. Mm. I always have that sort of sound. Anyway. Uh, Pat McAfee. That slut. Yeah, makes a surprise <laughs> appearance and pushes for WrestleMania in Indianapolis. How dare ye? Cena promised yeah, it to London yeah, first. Yeah. We got there first. Yeah, back to Q. This isn't Sainsbury's. Uh, he brings out Cena ahead of the next match. Of course it does, because they're best friends. And then Cena and LA Knight beat Jimmy Uso and Solo before raising each other's arms. Yeah. Yeah. Another tag match. There's a lot on this show. Yeah. He was so over. Yeah, oh, God. My yeah. God. And LA Knight. I, yeah. The crowd saved all their cheers for these two lads. Mm. And it was so well done just having Cena being beaten up and actually given a poo, unlike the match of Theory, where he did... Oh, you know, his body wouldn't let him there now. Yeah, yeah. His wallet wouldn't let him. <laughs> you were a, like, oh, a bit strike. Irish there. Oh, no. His body wouldn't let him there. Oh, out of order now. oh my, my shoe's fallen off. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw the, yeah, it, it really trying getting beaten up, and then him just like, oh, I'm going to tire. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I'm going to tie make it. And crowd would just pop giant for mm. LA Knight getting that, that beautiful tag mm. clearing house is, and then they bloody won is Cena the best or worst of all time when it comes to he's the illegal man in a tag match right his partner's just hit their finisher and he has to guard against the other guy coming <laughs> in he does a proper like yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he the best of that or is it too much I like that it heightens the tension like oh might be trying to get past can he get past mm. like wolf and gladiators with the big yeah the, the best one ever was obviously Roman and Bray with the that was cool but this one, Cena's so earnest all the time, isn't he? He's a he serious He literally man. is. Yeah. Because he looked like Ernest P. Worrell from the films. Ooh, not seen that? Not sure. Hey, Joel, Joel, was, that good, was that a good joke, All Joel. people are doing, all Americans are doing, <laughs> um, um, seeing how much Cena looks like Ernest now. Ernest P. Worrell? Yep. His full name. What is the biblical name? name? It auto-corrected. It, it was Ernest P. Worrell gay is the thing that's come up there. I didn't type Gays. that in. Ah, I can see it. I'd be gay for him. I can see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ernest P. These are all pictures of John Cena. <laughs> he looks like um, like a David Firth character or something. Or like... Um, I mean, that's a bit horrible. The angry one, but... school kid or whatever. The ginger school kid. The, you know, the, it doesn't matter. I don't know what you're talking about, actually. What like are you the, talking like about? Like the claymation, like... Oh! We all watched it oh, in primary wow. school. Like, yeah. We were all like, he's naughty. <laughs> yeah. That's a blast from the past. Mm. Uh, Tell you what, though, it was interesting that Solo and Paul left together, leaving Jimmy in the ring. Mm. What could that have meant at the time? Yeah. We'll have to watch SmackDown. Yeah. Then I thought it was very classy of The Rock to raise John Cena's hand, not the other way around. <laughs> wouldn't let him, would he, The Rock? Uh, Don't put my hand down, John. I'll raise yours, you old man. You. There was never a more obvious. <laughs> oh, me back. <laughs> out of the four men in the ring, there was never a more obvious who was taking the pinfall than Jimmy Uso, unfortunately. Which yeah. Is, mm. Yeah. Never yeah, but you know what? Crowd were. Finally awake for this match. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know what? Job done. Yeah. And it makes Ellie Knight look like The Rock. Yeah. Oh, he nailed his little leap, his little leap, his leap from the ring to the top, though, didn't yeah. he? Oh. Yep. Those... Like, I get nervous every time, like, oh, he did slip off for Sheamus. Mm. Oh, no. no. He slipped off time. twice, didn't he? Yeah. Blame. Oh, who was it? Ma- Michael Nakazawa. That's who we should blame. Okay. That's right. Yes, With his, um, he's always uh, been blamed for those sweaty ropes. Mm. In the WWE as well. I never liked him. <laughs> Uh, backstage, a frustrated Damien Priest wants to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase, but Rhea tells him not to because he's got a bad leg. 
I thought that really telegraphed the end into. I thought it was a double bluff. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. When they say no, no, it's not happening in wrestling. You think it's really happening? Isn't it? Yeah, it didn't. And I it thought didn't he'd like. Yeah. I thought he'd like go against Rhea's wishes and nick the briefcase back from her and be like, oh, "I'm a going out there." And it's like, oh, I'm a going. I don't know. Mammy's, mammy's oh, always on. <laughs> mammy's always on <laughs> tap. And then Seth celebrating in front of the. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get yeah, to it. yeah. And then Seth Rollins. With the most beautiful tights I've seen since Rick Rude, uh, no longer with us, uh, beats Nakamura in the last man standing match to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Mm. He believed it is not. Take a fork out him, he's done. Nakamura's <laughs> a main eventer. Done, finished. If he can't win Sadly, this match, yes. yeah. after the missed table, announced table spot, after the storyline where even though Rollins has got a broken back, he, <laughs> he does a falcon arrow. <laughs> right? I mean. <laughs> Thank you. Thank off a you, ledge to a table. He's been, you know, he's been pushed off the, the steps onto the concrete floor. Up yours if you're having a go for land on a crash pad. What they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I was confused why they do that spot now that everyone has a camera on their phones. Yeah, it's, it's 2023. It's like, not as if it's a blue it's crash just, pad, though. It's just a black thing. Isn't yeah, it? No, it was blatantly so. a crash pad. Oh, oh, every arena has one of them. But, like, he, he fell, and then the way they shot it, it, like, he landed on the edge of the frame of the video, and they cut like, oh, Nakamura, ha, ha, ha. And then they show Rollins on the concrete. And like, my God. And on Raw, they edit it and make it look like he take the That's bump on the concrete. That's how hard he hit the floor. He bounced. Mm. <laughs> That'd be way funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's a trampoline. Bollocks. But, but yeah, after yeah, everything from they that, did, yeah, Nakamura, you, you can't put in the main event picture anymore. He'd been built mm. up so well with the mind games and the, you know, harming his back a bit more each and every week. Yeah. And then he can't win still. I was wanting him to win. So was I. Yeah, me too. So yeah. that, uh, it's always nice when you see the smart guy outsmart the good guy. Yeah. It's. I'm trying to think the last time it happened. And, am I right? Same was Christian. And he outsmarted Randy Orton to get the title off him. Possibly. But then a good time. Orton Change hands via DQ and he just spat in his face. Referee was looking. <laughs> he just kicked him right into Jacobs. <laughs> Christian had 10 feet in the air. <laughs> yeah, the champ. <laughs> so it's nice when that happens, mm, which yeah. isn't very often. But yes, it was. If you ignore, like you have to ignore with all Rollins matches, the fact that the storyline was... Hang on, have you got a bad back? Yes, Falcon are on time. <laughs> All right, whatever. But he, he won, so and the crowd loved the finishing sequence of table, table, table. Yeah, I guess you could go like, oh, he's gonna, he's willing to do anything to keep that title, mm. even shoot Falcon arrows off ledges through tables. Yeah, but it's a bit the, the one where it was like on the floor through the table. It's a bit, it's a bit too much for me mm. yeah. without wanting to sound like Jim Ross or anything mm. like that. No, he, he, sometimes he's right mm. when he can hear what he's saying. <laughs> uh, the only negative of this show, which. Even this being easily the most forgettable show of the year, pay-per-view wise, this still had some entertaining stuff on it. Yeah, especially the opener. Yeah, yeah. And I have to say though, what, what is that by the way? Is that the fan? Okay, I'll just ignore it then. Is it the fan? I thought so. Is it the computer? Is it going to explode? Oh, the computer's making that noise. Are we all right? Well, on an aeroplane, everybody. It does sound like it. <laughs> anyway, we'll make it quick. The it's Fastlane. I'm like, oh, Fastlane. I remember that back in there. Wasn't there a thing they used to do every time the show replayed? You know, it was like, oh, shh, shh. No. <laughs> that was so annoying. And now back to live action. No. <laughs> Is Rollins okay? He might be dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. I hated it so much. Um, but I... You know, the, the, the floor for these pay-per-views has risen a bit. Like, they're never yeah. bad anymore. They're always at least okay. And it was quick. I think, yes. this is a, I think this is a deliberate ploy in, a, in opposition to Tony Khan and AEW. We'll do bite-sized pay-per-views that are more easily digestible. Mm. And we'll sell people. out. Uh, well, yeah. uh, you oh, hate, you hate AEW, eh? you. What? We're take, allowed, we're take allowed take to say some off, Matthew. We're allowed to say negative things about <laughs> AEW. And, uh, playing them this week. <laughs> I bet you were glad that WWE won the war. <laughs> no, you're a WCW guy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. there's only one cover that should have won the war. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, oh, here we go. AEW Collision. Ricky Starks and Big Bill beat FTR in less than five minutes to become the new AW Tag Team Champions. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. According to The Melts, um, he first of all mentioned that, well, Wheeler was injured. Uh, Wheeler was injured. Uh, 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 Windows 98 woof, was woof. injured. Was yeah, <laughs> not now. Not now. Oh, breaking news from Doug Meltzer. Uh, he said, first of all, he was injured. That's why I was kept short, because he injured himself in that big match they had with, I presume, Aussie Open, if I'm getting my time right, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then said, I guess the deal is Cash Wheeler wasn't hurt. It's all a storyline. It was just to put those guys with a big, and they were going to go back in the mix. Um, and I said, yeah, there's going to be no rematch, which obviously that can change. It's just their words. But everyone's being very hum-hum, don't say anything, about the fact that Wheeler's arrest in August. Ah, uh, 
And this seems very suspiciously quick. And even the Meltzer, who is not on the take from AEW, why would you say such a thing? Um, is saying, I don't think he is injured. Like, But I think if that was the case, they'd have Cash take the pinfall, not Dax. Keep Dax stronger. If he's going to have to be a singles guy. I love it. There's the one decision everyone's got lying different answers. Maybe but yeah, I'm with you. Like, maybe it, they're going like, mm. gonna, to, gonna, for want of a better phrase, Benoit Wheeler for the future. So they're, they're showing highlights of the... Oh, because he got injured, didn't he? And he got put through the announce table. They're showing highlights of like the, the titles changing. It's, it's Dax ah, in the ring and not Cash. If that's is, a good point. That's perfect, I know. Yeah. 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 Well, they pinned that one guy for the tag team championship. <laughs> that <laughs> one dude. Wow. I how seen about that? The finish of SummerSlam 04 for, I don't even know how many years now. I, like the actual pinfall. I feel happened. like I have been just because... <laughs> we just got... Randy Orton just won the title I in remember, a raffle. I remember his, like, peach-coloured tights. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, trunks, but... I've then, seen that picture with Stephanie McMahon backstage where he's, like, got the title like yeah. that and she's there with her specs on. And he's going... Yeah. Me. Me. Matthew's baby face now. <laughs> Here's his dad, Calbaba. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son! <laughs> How do you do it? Ow, my hand! <laughs> But, but I yeah, don't so want to believe was, anymore because Cash yeah. mentioned a fractured rib in the opening promo package. And then f- they tweeted, like, top guys out. And then days later, they're like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We don't mean we're leaving. Do we, they do know. always say that. Yeah, yeah of course. They, uh, they so they it's also, interesting, but no one's no one's touching that. They, if it's, a, you know, I think we'll know more after the rematch if it does happen. It's if also, they lose that again, then I'll be like, hang on. Right. It's also funny as well that they were building up or hinting towards, apparent, I don't know why, Bucks versus FGR 4. And you're like, why? Well, the Bucks... Put them over at Wembley. They've got to get their wins back. <laughs> no, no, that's legit. Like, they do. But best of three. No, they, no, best of forever. <laughs> I don't know. He'd rather go to prison than lose to the books <laughs> again. I mean, wouldn't we all? You know? Yeah, I mean, it's very relatable <laughs> to Furnace, yes. Uh, Danielson beats Carl Fletcher with a Zack Sabre Jr.-esque European clutch. I think he's, they said that on commentary as well. Like, that would like make Zack Sabre Jr. There you go, no. He's attacked by the gates of agony afterwards, but Claudio and Wheeler make the save by pointing and laughing at him going, how crap are yees? Oh... <laughs> Who wrote that? They look intimidating the Gates of Agony, but they never get to do much, unfortunately. Yeah, their JPEGs are mint. They stand still well. Yeah. They do. They oh, should yeah. be actual gates. You got Nana doing his thing and then there's someone in the back. Nana <laughs> 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 no, no, moves on, they move out the way and passed. That'd I've, be great if that was I've all they watched did. the Wrestle Dream swerve Ender so many times. And Nigel McGuinness is like, Tony, stop doing that dance. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel's so good. And Tony, with a slight tinge of annoyance in his voice, is like, Oh, I can't help it. It's just such a catchy dance. But you know, he's like, <laughs> shut up, Nigel. <laughs> Nigel was good here as well. Just little bits like uh, Danielson doing a great job of controlling his taller and more beautiful opponent. Oh, right. I hope he eventually gets that match he's looking for. He's, yeah, he's going yeah. balls deep, isn't he? Yeah. He and I'd is. let him because he's a handsome <laughs> dad. Absolutely. Who here mm. wouldn't? Mm-hmm. Well, Specifically, 2023 Nigel McGinn is not in his prime when he was uh, just an awful looking man. <laughs> <laughs> Not awful. No, you know what? I agree. He's way more beautiful well, now than he was. He was going to be like yeah. a thug, wasn't he? He was like a British football well, indigo. Yeah. Oh, he gel there, tickling your tins. What a great time. That Bouncing was off the ropes, hitting the lariats for the lads. <laughs> way. I said, Kyle. I hit the, uh, the ring post. <laughs> Leaving my sparks in the ring post. Carl Fletcher is quite weirdly beautiful, isn't he? He's not wrong. He's got like the high cheekbones of a Cristiano Ronaldo. He is. Was you who compared him yeah, to Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. He had his teeth in his eyes and his head. Yeah, he had his hair shorter a bit. Yeah. I had his head done. Mm-hmm. Right, so it was a uh... his torpe though, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, almost head first on head first on the floor and oh. back first at the barricade at the same time. That was scary. That damn, yeah. that damn ringside thing yeah. had it coming. He's a weird build for his type. He's like Angelico, isn't he? He's very long yes. and tall, but he does all the jumping around and stuff as well. Yes, he got a lot in this match as well. Mm, like he did. He so he did sixty minutes of great hot action. Yeah, sixty-eight minutes. Sixteen minutes. Oh. <laughs> Close. <laughs> What a great episode of Collision like, wow, this was. It was good, but wasn't that good? <laughs> he, um, it's the first Carl Fletcher singles match I can remember for a while. Because yeah. Mark Davis had a bit of a run in the New Japan Cup when he he, he went on a bit of a, like a Stan Hansen run. It was quite good. He never mm. won it, but the last Carl Fletcher singles match I saw was at North against El Fantasmo, the match I was most looking forward to, and they took the piss. <laughs> oh. El Fantasmo did about, or one of them, I can't remember which one, did about 50 dives to the other one in a yeah. row, and that was the match. Yeah. And after get his arse out. One of them got their asses out. They were, yeah. And I remember thinking, you assholes. <laughs> Literally. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, nice match. And just uh, Brian Dragon Danielson doing his thing. Brian I'll Dragon. Try make him say, I'll try to say Brian Dragonson. Bit my head, I couldn't put those words <laughs> together. 
I kind of got a lot of offensive, which I think is a common theme in Danielson's matches at the moment. Yeah. Like he lets his opponent get a lot in, but then he finished the match by out wrestling his opponent with the dragon sleeper. Yeah tantalizing thingy which was nice yeah. to see i was told by a different dragon a more local dragon related <laughs> to peter beardsley that one time when he was younger he wrestled on the same card as brian danielson and brian danielson was wrestling, i can't remember who but wrestling like the top guy in the training school or whatever the top local guy midway through the match just decided i'll just give him the win like, i think he's pretty good i'll just give him the win and apparently the referee crapped himself when he counted three he was like mm. oh no but it was fine oh and that referee would go on to be in aew uh, I prefer Brian. when Ross said it. Hey. <laughs> he's, had, he's had that bullet in his gun for a while. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian Dragonson, I reckon, just got it that time. Uh, reckon just went, hey, Tony, can I wrestle him? Why? What's the feud? I just, I just want to wrestle him. Looks you, good. He, he literally might well have done. Yeah. yeah. You can put him in with nearly any. Oh, I don't know why I'm. News flashes that Brian Dennison's pretty good at wrestling. Sometimes you need reminding. Yeah. 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 Um, Juice Robinson, the guns beat Malik and Haleko and Gravity. Haha, <laughs> remember him, in a six man tag. Jay White cuts a promo afterwards with MGF's stolen title. He challenges Hangman Page to a non-title eliminator match. That was funny. Uh, this was just a match to me. It yes. was, yeah. We got to hear on Helico's theme for the first time in a while, which was nice. Yes. It's a nice laid-back thing. Oh, like the the cool beats. That's it, mm. the yeah. cool beats. And I gave Austin Gunn a golf clap when he crocked, uh, not clocked, he clocked gravity in the face at the start of the match. That's good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just annoying, isn't he, gravity? Because gravity's like... Get away! My gimmick is it's up on the mood. And Austin's like, oh, that's, oh I can't whichever. Oh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> crap in the Fantastic. face. I just wish gravity would forget gravity yeah, I, and he'd float away and never be seen again. I, I like juice. <laughs> yeah. I'm way behind on this, but I missed the week when they stole the belt. So what What was the skit when they stole? How did they steal the belt from MJF? Was it like after a match they or beat something? beat him in the ring, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, it, yeah. fair enough. You went, hey, this is mine. Ah. Okay, fair enough. And then he cut a really boring, boring promo backstage and he let's introduce you to the new member of the Bang Bang Gang. Yeah. <laughs> Me. A really boring. <laughs> yeah, really boring. I'm trying to think like because <laughs> yeah, J White obviously he's not, people. He's not. He's not. Jay White's a boring. No, he's not. Though. He's not. Boring he's, boring. He's, he's solid. But you know what his issue is? Maybe in New Japan there wasn't many people who were like, all right, this guy's gimmick is he's really cool. His promos are great, and he has long matches. In AEW, we already have. Eddie Kingston, Danielson, some yeah. more bloody Joe, yeah. um, MJF now, and everybody else who has that exact same thing. So Jay White's just like, yeah, okay, that's the great gimmick, mate. It's very unique. I think it's probably yeah. good that he's then been given this stable, I suppose. Yeah, no, I think yeah. without the stable, he's got nothing. Oh, no, he's oh, he's a good wrestler. He's a good wrestler. Yeah. I would say after this week's Dynamite, they should just let him wrestle and not talk because his wrestling's yeah. by far the strong no, point. Yeah, but Dan, like, Dan 350 will get your meal deal. He could be like, do you think, like a strong, silent leader and all these annoying lads around him? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. The eye of the storm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Wayne explains that he was sick of being in Darby Allen's shadow, just like Christian was sick of being in Adam Copeland's. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Makes okay. sense. Fair enough, Dar man. Darby left him back in 2015, and he got to AEW on his own. I'm on Team Nick Wayne, me, which I'm means I'm on Team Christian. I'm surprised hey. that he looks like he can look like a heel, because I was like, when it was being implied that he might turn on Darby, I was like, man, but he's just a young, he's just a boy. Right, he's got the scowl, because beforehand it was just a, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to change that. He was a bit of a himbo, as they would say, but now, wouldn't they? A himbo slice. A himbo, yeah. like a male bimbo. A himbo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, but now, he's yeah, he's got like the, the you just, you want to be like, oh, you little arsehole. Yeah. It's good. He's good at it. He was speaking like Christian was his actual dad. There was like, My d he um, never came back. <laughs> I got, a, to get I got a better dad. <laughs> I turned my dad into CEX. I got a Christian. You wouldn't get a better dad from CEX. You'd get. It. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> it's not like you're doing the advert for CEX. <laughs> I'll have a bad word said about CEX. Okay. It smells bad in there. It does smell bad. <laughs> it smells. I'm not saying a bad word about it. Even when they've got the air car, it stinks horrendously. But <laughs> is that more the clientele that it attracts? Maybe. Mm. I took my, uh, yes. my MacBook, my nine-year-old MacBook to the Apple shop, and they were going to give me 40 quid. And the guy was oh. like, this isn't right, but I've, I've scanned the thingy. That's what you're going to get. And he's like, you might as well take it down to CEX. Took it down to CEX. 144, I think. Nice. I got. Oh. And fair play to that and man. Do you get the credit or do you get money? Uh, money? I don't want credit. You, you can't spend 140 games. quid. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Chortle. You know all those things, TV and <laughs> the things you don't do, right? Yes. You can't spend that on Command and Conquer. It's 140 quid. <laughs> Yeah, get me 10 copies, please. <laughs> Billy Gunn and the Acclaimed retain the trio's titles against the oh, Iron he, Savages sorry, and Jack my, Jameson. Is he daddy ass now? 
He did, they call him Daddy Ass, not Billy Gunn. He is Daddy Ass now. Right, but okay. He's going to be just, That's yeah. his ring name now. It's not just his nickname. Lord Ass. Mm. Hey, he's King Ass. He's King Ass. I remember that. Right. Sounds like a Geordie word for, like, good. That's King oh, Ass. Oh, King Ass, yeah. like, <laughs> MacBook for under 40 quid. <laughs> All right, uh, Iron Savages are here. They do the thing and... Uh, yeah, and okay, they did the cool. thing. And then they did the thing again. And then they did the ass eating. And then they did the, the ass eating thing mm, again. That gets, that gets zero. Re- it got a, one good pop the first time it happened when he yelled, I'm going to eat your ass. And now it's. Now they end their promo with mm, it at the start when they're doing like, like, like a claim ish entrance. Mm, and then mm-hmm. your man gets, what's he called? Dirty Bug Bronson gets in, the originator of eating the ass. Mm-hmm. And he do, That bit where Mr. Ass, Daddy Ass, was on all fours with his ass in the air. <laughs> There's so many and then, asses going on. And, and, like, and then Dirty Bug Bronson does his blah thing towards yeah. near pensioner. Billy Gunn's arse oh, I was yeah. a bit like what am I watching here that's when my mum would have walked yeah. in yeah I yes like, yeah. <laughs> I think that was it I think like wow that's right finally the dramatic encounter between the guys who eat ass and the guys who are ass and the guy like yep yeah cheers yeah we learned about the Rick and Bone zone though <laughs> the Ian Rick and Bone zone Ian Rick and Bone takes his wife to the Rick and Bone zone yeah uh, he was scissoring that woman this week we learned so that's fair play to them uh, AEW would have be- been really good in like <laughs> British TV in the 70s wouldn't it <laughs> yeah Comedy Barrett's not there. He would fit in so well. Oh, yeah. Him and Nigel would be too much for you one could The entire team. arena with just him rubbing his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Beefcake Boulder was then humping Anthony Bowens while pinning him and then exposes his nips while, like, on his knees, like a, a, a saucy lady on the beach, you know? Like a saucy lady on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Got any leeches for this? Know, remember Emelina, those debut programs? Yeah, I remember doing a parody yeah. with the, the old job. Did you? I did the parody. Did you? The, yeah. I got, I got my knees and everything for an intro. All right. Sexy. Was it Rosalina then? Or was I it was, a, yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So that he was doing by, that. Is it Daddy Yangi? Tell me about Rosalina. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes. Who's <laughs> that Rosalina? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, and that was more subtle, your Rosalina, than anything that was I in know, this match. Uh, just the, was, the sexual yeah. sexness of this match. The sexual sexness. That's why I'm paid the big bucks here. The but, acclaimed, uh, right? They're both good-looking lads as well. Mm. They don't need to be doing this to be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> what should they be doing, Jack? They just need to be themselves. Aww. Don't we all? Yeah. <sighs> Who for thought? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, it continues. We've just seen the next match. It's coming up. Is it Tony Yeah, Storm? Oh, no, before that, Shane Taylor, you're right. Shane Taylor and Keith Lee get video promos against each other. Taylor is sick of people thinking Lee is better than him. Keith wants t- Taylor to run. I'm looking forward to their match. <laughs> you, know, you run, Keith. Uh, How dare you? Keith, he's, Keith he's a class runner. He goes like, like he does a proper like cartoon run. It's good. He starts off like the young books. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Speaking of ass eating, uh, Tony Storm beats Kira Hogan. So much heat then, I guess, backstage. We do the ass eating, Tony. You leave that yeah, out of it. You've that, already got a good gimmick. I think the actual thing. Hey, that's our move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat ass. You've never eaten ass. Yeah. So after the you know the Sunday last match, this match has titty slaps, yeah. ass smacks. And then arse biting. Yeah. And and a wonderful snap suplex from Tony Storm. <laughs> whoa, Don't whoa, try to get highbrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Waiter, waiter, there's some wrestling in my soup. <laughs> in my ass. Yeah, she no. literally ate, Tony ate Kiara Hogan's ass. Do you think Tony, I love the moment that it clicked for her backstage. Like, my character's like mad and oh, she's got quite a big arse. I should just bite it. And I just think that when the cogs were turning, she, yeah. yeah. They knew what they were doing, those two lasses. Yeah. They yeah. knew the assets heading in there. Ah. ah. Come on. But I digress. Oh. <laughs> Eddie Kingston retains the Ring of Honor World Championship against Commander after eating his ass. <laughs> 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 they ass here to the Code of Honor and shake asses afterwards. Oh. But Lucha is the weakness of Eddie Kingston dating back to his Chikara days. It's not. That was, is true. It's not. He was the champion in Chikara. He battled all them little dweebs. He did have his runners, the Luchador killer, for a while. It was mint. He would... It, Lince Dorado used to get... That's why I became a fan of Lince yeah, Dorado. Because right. I remember watching videos called The Many Amusing Deaths of Lince Dorado. And it was Eddie Kingston going, have that. It's, it's the one where... Oh, what's his lad who's dressed up as the teacher? He's got the white mask. And it's where... That's the one Eddie had two matches with him. And he bust open the mask. Oh. And was bleeding profusely through the mask oh, twice. that sounds nasty. And you cut the audience. It's just like 60 kids. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> like, oh, I love this. I hope the ice He's cre- seen it here. I hope the ice cream doesn't get battered yeah, by Eddie Kingston. <laughs> Uh, what was Eddie Kingston doing in Chikara? <laughs> He's having the time very... of his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he ah. got trained there. 
Was yeah, he, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah he, he was part up. of that. That's oh, where he started right. and stuff like that. So and he was already great just talking smack to people yeah. to begin with. Then it's got better and better. He said partner more back then. Partner. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But he still brings it out occasionally. Only for special occasions. Yeah. It's his tombstone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw many people not like this matching. Oh, look at these crappy luchadors. Don't, don't really gel well with people. But I liked it being a clash of styles. I liked it being luchador versus all Japan, whatever Eddie Kingston yeah. calls a style now. It was a classic wrestling story being told <laughs> here. You, see. We know that lucha is apparently Eddie Kingston's weakness. Therefore, he stopped Commander doing the lucha. Mm, and then right. when Commander started doing the lucha, he was having more success. But then Hurricane, mm. all Japan prevails. And I worry that, you know, I'm not it isn't I'm not breaking new ground here or anything, but obviously WWE teach everyone to wrestle the same. Right, and right. It means that we'd never see a match like this in WWE, and that's a shame. Yeah. And then the people that did watch it were like, ooh, it didn't work well together. I'm like, that that's the yeah. point. Like that do you not get that? He cut them off. Do you know how mint the early UFC was when they didn't all learn right. to fight the same. <laughs> no, it like, was great. It's the sumo versus the Savat kick. It was so dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> it's in that first ever match in UFC yeah. history. Poor sumo. Is it Gerard Gunn or whatever the yeah, guy's the name is? Just kick him, kick, kick the giant his, sumos. He kicks his, he's flying his out of the He's going to the front row, yeah. Oh. And it's like, Yay! They just put him in against this Oh, ball. bad work rate. I want a longer match. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Come back to your keyboard and spaff. <laughs> is that when, does Shamrock lose to Royce Gracie? And yes, he does. And yes, fuming. and he still this day insists oh. that because he wasn't allowed to wear... Shoes, I believe. So it wasn't like we get good grip. Wasn't and like he kicking that, yeah. Yeah, it was all this, uh, whatever. I think we're, we're digressing here. So, But yeah, good on Eddie. Uh, I'm Copeland, cuts a promo in the ring. And thanks JR for signing him all those years ago. Oh. He was confused by Christian Cage's reaction on, uh, re rejection, I should say, on Dynamite because he came to AE Dub so they could team together. Yay. Christian appears in the Tron and implies that Adam won't make it to Title Tuesday. Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne attack Copeland. Darby Allen tries to make the save, but they injure his arm with a concerto. Mm. I don't think any. I don't think uh, Darby Allen could be injured. Wow, well, <laughs> how about That's that? True. Um, I'm on Christian's side because I don't believe Adam Copeland when he said he came to team with Christian. He's a solo star and he's selfish, <laughs> and he's always been trying to overshadow Christian. So fair play, Christian. Mm. Well, Christian's like the younger brother, isn't he? Because it's like, well, Edge is the one who got the big old title run first. Mm. So Edge is like, I'll come too. He's like, nah, I made me own way here, pal. Was Edge always... Because I was too young to read about like the goings on behind the scenes, but Edge and Christian were like one of the first tag teams I ever remember. And was it always that Edge was earmarked for like to be the Michaels? Yeah, Gangrel said right. it was the brood was just set up to make Edge look good. Yeah, I, right. Okay. I would notice as a kid that Edge would have like pictures and stuff from the calendar. There was a calendar one year where... It was like, obviously, The Rock, uh, Steve Austin, Triple H, and then Edge. And at the time, that's a mid-card guy. He was still yeah, in the tag team uh, at that point. Yeah. This wasn't 01 with the King of the Rings. So I was like, right, hang on. Yeah. So, yeah, they clearly wanted him um, more, way more than Christian. So Yeah. Christian was always the one who was more of like an emoter and a heel, like being throwing tantrums when the, the guy kicked out and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, uh. Or four or five questions should have been a world champion, I think. I don't I, remember that period that well. People say that, but my memory just watched papers was just, I don't think he was at that That's level. That's when I first got Sky. The reactions he would get. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, mm. Everyone's, everyone says that, watches that, uh, so obviously it must be true. But I remember thinking he was only at that level when he went to TNA and then started being world champion there and then he was really good. My right. Opinion, but this obviously is, opinions differ. This but. is my favorite character work he's ever done. It's so funny. This current run? Yeah. I've loved him. Yeah. 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 Not since that Ran Yorton feud I mentioned before. Uh. But well, even I then, he wasn't, he wasn't as... He was sneaky and, like, devious, but he wasn't evil like he is now. It's fantastic. Yeah, he was just a sneaky Pete back mm. then. Now he's just uh, as Edge... Sorry, Becky Pod. Well, Adam Copeland, a, um, in his James Bond villain section mm. of his life, mm -hmm. with his turtlenecks and Nick Wayne as the Persian cat sitting on his lap. <laughs> yeah. I haven't checked Twitter in a few days. I'm sure there's plenty about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nigel's yeah. been on uh, Richard Tubman's favourite website, knowyourmeme.com. <laughs> That's, uh, that's his favorite website. He loves that website. Because <laughs> uh, he said that Christian said more than three words in the promo before this one. That Edge did in five minutes, which is what people do on Twitter, isn't it? Mm. Edge has got that monologue. Christian's like, GF. Mm. That's the song that they play. And uh, we learned his. Ah. It was horribly done. I'm sorry. <laughs> the execution is now called the Cope. The Copelocution. Oh, just think of a new name. <laughs> You can call the finish. <laughs> Wait, did they say that? You can in surely it. have the word. You can have the word edge. Oh. You can have the word edge in the finishes. Just call it like the edge of insanity or something like that. You know, like, yeah. It's either Ian or Nigel. One of them just shout <laughs> copelocution when he. Hits I'm not calling it that. <laughs> not calling that. No. Copelocution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
There was an attempt. <laughs> oh, he's digging deep into his arsenal, busting out the old complicator. <laughs> He did that move, you know, when he grabs someone by the jaw and like sits back on his yeah. ass and pulls him down. Yeah. That was called like the six pack this on dynamite. I know. Oh, it was how's that work? For he uses his abs to. He has six pack because <laughs> he does it. Makes him die. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Monday Night Raw. Seth Rollins opens the show and teases vacating the World Heavyweight Championship, but everyone knows he's just kidding. He's such a kidder. I Drew thought he retire me. I was, I was starting to cry. Bless you. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. <laughs> sounded like you believed is there. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. Yeah, I was like, oh, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I'm ruined. Drew wants a title shot. Seth wants to do it tonight. But Drew says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pal, you just went through the tables and bounced off that giant mattress by the uh, ring entrance. I want you 100%. How about Crown Jewel? And Seth's like, I'm not used to this. Are you mm. sure you just want me to ready? Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. And then as Drew heads up the ramp, Priest attacks Rollins from behind. Drew doesn't seem keen to stop the beatdown, though. Dom runs out the briefcase, but Drew takes him out to stop the cash in and lobs the briefcase at the big Raw logo, yeah. reminiscent of, I can't remember Brock who Brock Lesnar. Uh. Was it Lesnar the money in the bank? Oh, I, he, <laughs> he lost oh, it from the yes ring, I. didn't he? All the way at the top of the ramp. I thought that was Drew. I'm sure it was Brock, wasn't it? No, I, Drew definitely threw it as hard as he could. I'll take this outside if you want to fight it. Well, yeah, I, um, I, I said it. my impression of you, of me. <laughs> uh, I swear Drew threw it one time just to see if he could hit the raw thing, and he did, and he shattered <laughs> one of the little tiles. You're probably right. I remember Sorry. that. Was it Del Rio? Who did Orton throw the present at, and it nails him in the back of the head, and Orton laughs? He can't stop himself from laughing. It's like the Christmas match or whatever. And it he rings throws, a bell, Del Rio, he yeah. He throws a present. Ron bell as well. And it absolutely clocks someone in the back of the head, and Orton's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember nah. that. It sounds funny, though. Yeah. I hope it was Drew McIntyre again. <laughs> just throwing everything everywhere. Was that news this week where Orton's paid this man money? To we said that last time as well. God. That came from the Mason Mansour thing. And people are speculating that it was maybe bollocks. They just see what they can get on like websites like Kotaku. Oh, right. So That's what? for the uh, the Japanese. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Kotaku. They're, they're, they're the nerds. <laughs> nerdy websites. Because yeah, yeah. it sounds funny, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. And then yeah. we went on to, yeah, that's how Pachitu says, I'd, I'd pay someone a thousand pounds to play Stardew Valley and kill the kids. Well, all right, thanks for cheating for sharing that. I normally pay my window cleaner that to do. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to make a Tory joke like you would do, and I can't do it. Release the hounds. Yeah. There, there you go. go. I'm gonna pay someone a thousand pounds to shine my shoes. Mm. It's good that. Carry on the rest. Uh, Drew, why is Drew getting to call his own shot? Everybody, that's what I was gonna yeah. ask. Yeah. Uh, who's he beat? I know he's well, nobody. Been, he's he's lost, he lost Riddle. He's won his last four matches on Raw, but it's been against little to nobody else. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I know he's being polite, but because he looks like Seth but bigger. Uh, <laughs> he's the ma champ to Seth's macho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kotaku. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I just brought a riddle. Then it's worth me confessing this, just because we all like a good laugh. Might as well laugh at me and not my misfortune. Oh, what have you done? So on Twitch, they said, "Oh, do you know that obviously getting rid of riddle was a last minute thing because they were interested in pushing Drew and him as a long a long term thing because they probably trade the re trademarked." The train, the term muck riddle. Yeah. And I went, that's not right. That's a trademark turn. You can't say it that. And people went, what are you talking about? It's the muck riddle. Griddle, yeah. I have for years not really thinking about it because it's not that it comes up in conversation or when I want fancy eating it. Thought it was on God called the muck riddle. Has it had? It turns it... out it's the muck griddle because you uh, griddled your meat. But has it been, has it ever been over here? And to be I fair to you, know. I can remember when I was a child going to these like parties at McDonald's, there was like a, a Riddler robber sort of character. The Hamburglar. Guy. The Hamburglar. Not the Hamburglar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he's got the Riddler <laughs> mask. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh, I, I thought people were going to laugh at that, but and thank today, you very much for understanding. You've kind of come dressed as the Riddler as well. Well, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. The, the McDiddler. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> you can't no, mention Riddler no, and say no. McDiddler in the same set. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I got worried there because we're on about Ridley. I've got to confess something, everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. Jesus Christ. What the hell have you done? Ooh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Ivar <laughs> beats Kofi Kingston in a Viking rules match. There are no rules. That's what they used to say <laughs> they when did, they were yeah. wrestling. And then they, then they announced all the rules, uh, which also sees interference from Valerie Haller and Xavier Woods, who was full of Pizza Hut. He managed to nullify Val. It didn't help Kofi win, but he nullified her without attacking a woman. She dove at him with a crossbody and he went, and he low yeah. bridged her with the guardrail somehow. Yeah. Yeah. He, he yelled, no one peaches the hut. And he <laughs> the guardrail out. Uh, 
I think Ivar's got more credibility as a singles these past few weeks than he's had as the Viking Raiders for maybe the past year. I've written down here, Ivar has proven that he doesn't need Eric, who sounds like he's bored anyway, and also Valerie Haller, who does Who's nothing crap. anyway. Yeah. And racist. <laughs> Oh, she... Is she really? We've seen your uh, social media. Uh, she's quite right-wing, I think. Oh. Yeah. I thought she was just a happy-go-lucky Viking. She, uh, yeah, she's just this Midwest woman decides she's a Viking one day. She no now, specific reason why. She now also... Oh, she now also <laughs> scuttles like a spider. <laughs> and Woods was like... I've heard racism does that to you. Woods, is, <laughs> Woods consistently throughout his run has always been scared of spooky things, like the Wyatt family, so it worked. You're scared of it. Yeah, but I think Xavier, I'll be pretty scared of no, it as well. No, no, <laughs> He's got guns. Oh, no, no. I tell you no, what, though, God. Ivar took a hell of a bump through the table off the top rope, he didn't, did, he? didn't he? And he did the old, uh, he caught the Kofi doing, caught the Kofi? Mm -hmm. He caught Kofi during the Trouble in Paradise attempt into another slam through another table mm -hmm. and a lovely moonsault for a win. I, yeah. If they let him cut promos and maybe drop, like, the, you know, hammer up the Vikingness and just right. have it, like, be a part of his character. Yeah. Mm. Ivar the Blurk. <laughs> I've all the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Either the engine wasn't that a thing back in the day? I, I think I think the Gordon. No. <laughs> <laughs> big strong is it? No, big strong Henry, right? Big strong Henry. Do you think the tank thingy with the big tits? <laughs> the Albert. big tits. He played Thomas the tank engine. He played Bane, didn't he? In there. Uh, um... <laughs> Or Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy? No, the old Bane. The old Bane. Oh, Jeep Swanson. <laughs> Jeep Swanson, not Tank Tish. Jeep no. Swanson. No, I was thinking of Tom's the Tank Tish. Big... <laughs> so Henry, Gordon was the... the Gordon, what the hell did that happen there? Gordon was the biggest of all the engines. He was the express Gordon train. Gordon was Aye. the big one. Henry Aye. was quite big, but he was green. He was happy. Was oh, I couldn't work. I got an OV dub. Uh, Edwin was the vet. Thomas was the cheeky one. Toby was the James, virgin. James was the Jim, Seth Rollins. James was the naughty one. And yeah. uh, and Percy was the little cute one. Oh. That's you. And Diesel was the heel. <laughs> <laughs> and those troublesome trucks were like his minions. Eh? That's right. Yep. Nanny and Clarabelle were Thomas's yeah. bitches. No. <laughs> <laughs> the J and J security. <sighs> and and when we're, my name is the Fat Controller. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so Topham yeah, Hart. Good, good. So Topham Hart. Let's give him his respect. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um. What are we about? Can you uh, do the rest of the podcast in the style of Ringo Starr? <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't, please. Ricochet attacks Nakamura during a backstage interview <laughs> until she not That's not, not, it. House. That's not in it. How does he sound? Not, uh, Rick, Rick. Thomas is in the garden with his little. Uh, we can't. Do Thomas is not a garden. I don't know what I'm saying. He's already bought You're not Ringo. <laughs> You're Rongo. <laughs> Edward. Why are these trucks so troubled? No, it's Brummy. What are you doing? <laughs> that's a good. That's a way better accent. Oh, right, Joel, you're from kind of near there. No, he's not. He's from Leeds. <laughs> from Liverpool. Ricochet no attacks Nakamura. Oh, you know what? I can hear in your head. I can't do it. And you're a big fan oh, of the Beatles, Joel. You've got to have a Ringo. Nakamura. I can't do Ringo. That, that, yeah, that's, that's, that's just I'm doing Lennon. The, I'm doing the thing from, yeah, 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 yeah I'm doing yeah, the thing from, the film. Uh, Walk Hard. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm... I'm <laughs> I love that All thing, you have to do is just imagine... And Jack Black's like, oh, I'm Paul McCartney, the leader of the Beatles. He can't do it. <laughs> All right, Joe, let's hear your Ringo through the microphone. Come on now. Let's go. You're a big R Beatles fan. Ring Ringo? R oh, no, I'm on. I do oh, that's good. Nah. You've got the bass. Ring, nah. nah. <laughs> he went ring, nah. <laughs> if you got the bloke's name. We're can't all do doing it. John Lennon as well. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's, oh. it's easier to imagine. You've already done that job, but let's just move on for this. Uh, Ricochet attacks, let's make like what Lennon did when he got his first money and leave uh. Liverpool. Ricochet attacks Nakamura during a backstage interview until security drag him away. Because it's also revealed that Ricochet has a, is going to be in the three-way uh, match for a shot at the... The IC title, to be isn't it? number one contender, and yeah. I'm like, what is? Never mind Drew McIntyre getting a world title shot against Seth Rollins. What the bloody hell's Ricochet done apart from get attacked by Nakamura every well, week? And as I was typing and thinking that, he got attacked by Nakamura. Mm. So he's even more qualified. I think that um, is the inaugural IC champion now. I think Samantha's been pulling the strings backstage. <laughs> Go on. Well, just give my. I don't know if they're engaged or not. Give my partner a, a title shot now, please. Otherwise, I won't announce anyone anymore. Oh, mm. it's good that. I'll stop doing the Chelsea Green thing I do, and everyone will be sad. <laughs> that, that, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, fair enough. He's like, yeah, he's not winning. <laughs> uh, the rest of JD prevent Priest from attacking JD McDougalmy backstage. Priest asks where Bala and Ripley were earlier, but Ripley says she's managed to get them a rematch for the tag titles. That's nice. Yeah. She tells JD to take care of Drew tonight. Priest wishes him luck, but says there's a part of him that wants Drew to break JD in half. Mixed messages <sighs> there from Damien Priest. <clears throat> Good luck, but I hope you get battered. Yeah. 
Finn Balor. I would so love it if you lost. <laughs> Finn Balor's so fickle as well. That's his son there. And he's yeah. like, yeah, get out of here. He's, he's looking for the receipt for that, lad, isn't he? Yeah, Disgusting. they've kind of, yeah, they've, they've, they've let Balor get away with it, but he was the one who brought him in. Yeah. And now he's like, oh, I hate him as well. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that guy who brought him, yeah. right? Mm. <laughs> Not my identity. It's, like, it's like your mate to the pool. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I had no idea who those two lads were. Huh. I was yeah. really stood I'm at the same time. I'm now imagining the bar staff are rear and priest for some reason. <laughs> I love the podcast. He was <laughs> as tall as priest to be fair. Was he was he? a long boy. Mm. Oh, mm. Well, a long yeah. boy. <laughs> Ripley interferes in a match between Nia Jax and Raquel Rodriguez, beating them both down. Shayna Baszler runs out to attack Nia too, but Ripley tells her to beat it. Shayna takes her out for German suplex and a big knee. That seemed like a good strategy there from Nia. From Rhea, even. Mm. Nia. Uh, later, Shayna is interviewed backstage and says it doesn't matter who she's in the ring with, she's the baddest woman around. Again, this is supposed to be a serious promo, and then Akira Dazawa walks past, thinks better of it, walks the other way. He's just good just at doing Just to give that. that really serious edge that we needed. That's all he funny, does these it's days. funny at doing it, though. It's good. He's getting paid to walk. I know. Good for him, man. Imagine that. Uh, uh, I thought this... My mum my mom just sent me a text. Happy 300th episode, rest in podcast. Oh. Party, 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 beer, 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 balloon, balloon, balloon. Little big mama botch. Party, 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 <laughs> Thank, Thank you, mama oh. oh. The big mother botch. Yes. Yeah. She didn't listen anymore, did she? No. Maybe oh. she listened to this one because it's 300. No, she said she listened to a bit of it, but I think she just, like, as soon as we start, it's like, hello, Wrestling news, and she goes, click. Or <laughs> they ate each other's asses. Like, I don't think she'll enjoy that part. So, yeah, I think that'll be the time she goes, are you still watching that wrestling? Do you still <laughs> have, are you, are you, yeah. Have been serious in that podcast where you pretend you've watched it every week? And like, yeah, mum. Oh, how can I, if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to watch such magnificent matches as Nia Jackson, Raquel Rodriguez with, it was a all right match. It's like Nia Jax is like watching a Charlotte Flair match now. It's hard to just get excited going. I don't really care about you. And plus, Naya, I don't know how long you're going to be here because I think this is somebody's idea of a joke half the time. <laughs> but then Raquel hitting the walking Brock Lesnar 2003 cool. powerbomb and Big Show. Boom. Hitting her so hard on her ring gear, she left her face marked on the ring gear and left a spooky face there <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> so, yeah. There was some good basketball stuff at the start of the match. Naya was starting Raquel's head off the mat. Mm-hmm. Maybe she should go and join the WNBA. No, it's a double nice. dribble. You can't do it with two hands. Can you not? Is that actually legal? You can do one if you pick it up again, but you can't just walk along doing that, no. Why not? Because it's using two hands to dribble. You've got you to gotta use one hand. I did not know that. But actually. you can do a power dribble. With, oh, right. Here we go. If I pass me the ball, shoot right. me the rock. Bang, Bang. Matthew Quintley. Bang, right. I've got the ball now. Okay, okay, director. <laughs> Basket's up there, right? All right, go on. Pass my guy. If I just do one up into my shot, I can go bang and then in. Like it sets up the but shot, if right? If I'm walking down the court, I can't do that. No, no, just one. Realistically, that's not going to be very helpful. You put in too much effort, it's going to bounce up in the yeah. chin. Right. Real, real people who play basketball will appreciate my post-up game. Now I've seen Jack got in the right position. He knows what he's doing. That was good, though. Thank yeah. you. We play him. Plus, wait, I'm like, wait, the basket's yeah, there. Yeah, great form. That's good. <laughs> Wait, the, the basket's there. Why am I passing the yee? I can make that shot. Sure. Yeah, there's no right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I remember Double that. bounce. Get into a fight in high school with someone who knew basketball rules and I didn't know basketball oh, rules. Yeah. So I was dribbling along, then would stop, and then oh, would dribble along again. Double ah. dribble. And he kept going, yeah, he kept going, you double dribble. I was like, I'm not, like I'm using one arm. And I just kept going. <laughs> oh. And they had a fight. Sometimes it's the second worst one, <laughs> but the real noobs of basketball just run with it like a rugby ball. You're like, that's traveling, you can't do that. Bloody hell, you were Dennis Rossman. <laughs> <laughs> the referees. Signal for traveling is quite cool because they, they do that. But the referee oh. signal, signal for double dribblings. And I think that just looks stupid. <laughs> 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 uh, backstage, Seth tells Drew that their match is confirmed for Crown Jewel. Isn't that nice? He asks why Drew only got involved to stop a cash in earlier. And Drew says he doesn't want another bloodline situation on Raw. Seth tells him not to worry because the JD can't take away his title any more than Drew can. Oh, mm. you just had to do it. I worry for Seth it. here. He might lose. I reckon Drew's going to turn heel in the process of taking this yeah. title belt. I reckon he's going to stay the same. Oh. He's going to beat up Seth. A vigilante. <laughs> and, yeah, and Steph's, <laughs> Seth's just going to be knackered from all the matches he did with Nak- Nakamura. Knackered from Nakamura. Uh, knackered Mora. And then he's going to pin him really easily. And he'd be like, what? It's not my fault he took that match, that last man standing <laughs> match. I like, I like his, he's not being a huge dick. He's just kind of miserable. He's a justified dick. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Hey, what, it's my fault the champion's injured right now? It's my fault. Actually, I, I waited until all these matches he had with these lads. Were all he's taken actually in. being what? quite gallant not having the match tonight because Rollins wanted it. Yeah. Be like, oh, he's turning a heel. Why? Because he's being smart. I know. All the faces are dumb. But I do think it will end with him turning heel like Russell. Nah. Aye. Nah. Aye. I hope, well, you know well, what? Aye. I hope he just does that and just his stories get 
like crapper. Mm. I reckon we should wager something on Drew McIntyre turning. Hum hum the hum hum. What can we possibly wage? Hum the hum the hum. I can't think of anything, Ross. Can you? <laughs> That's just mesmerised by that noise you're making there. Hum the hum the hum. It's my thinking noise. I got it from Bugs Bunny. <laughs> uh, where we are? Michael Cole interviews the new tag team champions in the ring. Uh, he asks Cody if he's sober. And he goes, I am. That's me bloody partner. We missed that, didn't we? The bloody uh, press, press conference. conference. Yeah. I thought he was in character. And honestly, this made me like the tag team more than anything they did in oh, the match yeah, or the yeah. storylines. It's like, oh, they're so cute together. <laughs> <laughs> he's, Cody's dead serious. He's the life of the party. Cody's like, oh, what do you like? Yeah, it, it's good for now. But will it lead to conflict down the line? No, this Cody was goes real, to defend the it? titles. He goes, "Where's, where's, me, where's me mate? Uh-huh. Probably Carlito. We should be here." <laughs> Yay! Uh-huh. Or, will it, or will it lead to what they normally do is when they see something that gets popular happen once, oh, and then they, the oh. they iron savage it. Some might say, yeah, yeah. just beautiful. Doing the same thing over yeah. and over. Michael and Cole's over. like, "Hey, it's J Yeet Uso." Ah, right, there you go. Uh, there, right, yeah. wrap it up. Yeah. Wait, wait. Just let the yeet Don't. happen naturally. I hope they don't yeet their opponents' asses. So stupid that. <laughs> I tried doing your rep thing. I oh, the traveling. Punch at yeah. the microphone like an <laughs> idiot. It's a violation. Oh, yeah, there's a microphone here. Wow, we're doing a podcast. Um, Michael was such a little bitch in this segment, though, Apple. <laughs> What's he, what's he, he being like that for? Why yeah, would he do? He's, he's like, yeah. well, you failed the first time around and when you won't want to let people down again, so you're not going to go and challenge Roman again, are you? Because you'll fail again. Cody gives like a football <laughs> manager's answer. Like he brushes it off and tries to move past it. Cole comes back to it. He's like, yeah, but are you going to go after Roman again? Because you did lose last time like a coward. What's, mm. his, what's his issue? Did he's you threaten blood- to lose the Roman? <laughs> he's a big bloodline fan, Mike. <laughs> no. Before Cody can answer, they're in order to buy... Well, Michael Cole. But then they interrupted a second time by Owens and Zayn, who want a title shot. And they've turned heel, because Sammy uh, had his heel. Yeah, I got it. Sammy Zayn was like, wait, I got it. Why is that music playing? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Owens says he knows Jay won't accept, because he's worried he'll lose the same titles to Owens and Zayn twice. Ooh. Cody defends Jay and accepts a challenge for tonight. Or Yeet Night, as Jay Uso calls him. He <laughs> Every pe- night is Yeet Night. Pizza Yeet. <laughs> All right, great. Um, Shut up, Cole. Um... Oh, no, I'm thinking of... Wait, was this when Cody's like, I think we're all friends here, right? But then... It was a bit like... Mm. Yeah. Because yeah, cause Sammy was like, uh, I'm kind of all right with you, but you know, I still want to tag, tag belts because I understand it. And Ken okay, was like, I'm not okay yeah. with you. I don't <laughs> like Jey Uso. Sammy waited just the perfect amount of time. It's such a little thing. But he waited just the right amount of time before taking Cody's handshake because I thought he was going to yeah. pie him off. Cody's there like, come on. And he's like... Mm. Okay, just yeah. at the end. It's one of the reasons I like WWE, as you said it before, obviously I'm such a WWE stan, you know, and AEW sucks, boo, <laughs> never liked you, thank you for the money. But this is one of the things I'm liking about it. This yeah. is completely normal, natural, sorry, telling, with people acting like human beings. And having memories of previous weeks yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Sammy going, okay, my character is, you know, I'm on the good side now, I'm all right with you, whatever. But yeah, Kevin going, no, I'm not being a dick here, I don't like Jey Uso, and it's a completely normal, natural thing for people to go, yeah, if I was Kevin, I wouldn't really just accept Jey Uso with open arms. On the indies, did Kevin Steen, I guess, and Eddie Kingston never have a feud? Because the, I would have thought they had loads of matches. They only had like three or four. That would be like the pettiest feud ever. It would be amazing. They'd hate <laughs> each other so much. Yeah. I want to see it now. Never mind. I, I think they did stuff. I think they had one Chikara match, maybe two. And Kevin then they had like a Ring of Honor match. Very, very briefly. I think he made uh, cameo appearances because he was full time with Ring of Honor at that point. The Canadian that's probably got him in. Uno and Dos, I guess. That's or Grayson. That's, don't say the real names. Sorry. Uno Evil and Uno. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's more like <laughs> Uh, Alpha Academy are backstage preparing Chad Gable for his match Chop tonight. Me again. Yeah. Yeah. Bronson Reed interrupts and also speaks like a human being. We're so glad. That was just one time that happened this hey, year. Hey, daddios. What's <laughs> going on, dudes? <laughs> Yo, what's up? It says Chad has no chance of getting another IC title shot as long as he's around. He was and he right. He goes, you are around, you get... Oh, oh yeah. It's no, 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 no. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 but then he says maybe he should tell his daughter not to watch. Hey, come on. Like, can't say that. He was right as well. He won. Yeah, he did yeah. Win. With a plomb. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, no, he the, won the tsunami. The chopping mm. and a thank you. Very good. Thank Very you. good. good. Yes. And then Owen's favourite wrestler currently is Chad Gable. He loves him. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's because he goes, I thank you. He thinks he's from Liverpool. He just finds him really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Was, uh, did we ever find out what Sammy Wow Wow was about? No. Yeah. I think that was a little peek behind the curtain at the real banter in the locker room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're looking for Sammy Wow Wow. <laughs> Who's Sammy Wow Wow? Why is Sammy Zayn Sammy Wow Wow? Mm. 
Probably something cock related. No one wrestlers. <laughs> no one, right? Yeah, it yeah. could be one of two things, and they're both yeah. dick. <laughs> Uh, Nakamura attacks Ricochet during his entrance and hits a go to sleep. Whoa! Never <laughs> What did he even <laughs> mention in the news segment? <laughs> the, the, the news is there is no news. CM Punk is not coming to WWE. No, they've turned him down. Ha ha ha! It's so like a like a bad debit card. It's been declined. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so, so pathetic. Funny. I was complaining about it on Twitter, and someone. I think it was when it was rumored that he was going, and I was like, "It's time for Punk to save the wrestling world again." And one of the replies was like, "Jack, can you get some kind of therapy for this?" <laughs> <laughs> they are brutal on Twitch, like Twitter, I love them. Twitter. Oh, oh god. Where they where they're famously kind. You read the replies on X. Uh, on X, I. Yeah, that's what they call it. Mm. But what could it mean? Why is he hitting a GTS, the old Nakamura? Wow. Because no one else is. Hey! <laughs> maybe it was to maybe he's pals with Kenda and he's like, I'll stick with Putin. Or the knee, or as, the it, knee as it were. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just like a HBK 96. K- K- grabs camera. That was for you, Kenda. <laughs> uh, They've done a wonderful job with Bronson, though. I agree. I was like, I want a chat to win this one to finish the real story. That's yep. the real story. Um, but no, Bron- the, the let, obviously, Ricochet and Chad get their stuff in. The, the, the delayed yep. Germans and everything was in oh. there, but then Bronson just. Going up through the gears, what a tish towards mm. the end. Yep. And then letting Wade have a tsunami gasm. I was mm. going to say, yeah, the finishing stretch of the chaos theory. And then, <laughs> Rick, yeah, yeah, so obviously that's the German suplex. Bronson grabs Ricochet, who's taking the suplex. Dumps just him. Puts his, <laughs> <laughs> just dumps him right on top of him. Then back sent on them both. And then rolls, I think Ricochet just runs out the ring at that point, And then tsunami mm. wins. Wow. Big yeah. bump and three way. There've been lots of these this year, and they've all delivered. And Bronson Reed's been in many of them. Well, yeah. I'm locked and loaded, ready for him versus Gunter. Like absolutely, I'll be rubbing those thighs all the way through. Oh, Booker yeah. T's going to wait until this after this match is finished before ordering his food. Hey, uh-huh. Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good. In a backstage interview, Becky Lynch admits she isn't 100, percent but she's a fighting champion. Zaya Lee, what? Turns up and asks when it's his. Uh, sorry, when it's her turn. <laughs> Bollocks to yours. <laughs> Zia Lee, I'm so surprised by Zia Lee showing up. Zia Lee turns up and asks when it's her turn to get a title shot. Becky says she isn't hard to find. Why the hell have I written down oh. she's a wonder bear? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Ross. I've written down my, <laughs> which one, which my one? Here, I've written down 11 stitches in her arm by her book. She's a wonder bear. Zia Lee is alive. There's my four notes for this. She's thing. a wonder bear. She's wunderbar. I don't know. What's she's good in German. Stitches, bears, stitches. No. Yeah. She's a wonder I've been down bear. to build a bear workshop. How is it? All right. It's good. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have been to build a bear before, haven't you? I thought this was like a... Remember that story you told us? Like Becky now, now it's in Irish. Becky Lynch what, getting what her... Is, uh, what is a wonder bear? I don't know. I don't know why I've written it down. What's a wonder? Joe, can you Google wonder bear, please? <laughs> Yeah, 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 this scene. <laughs> two oh, words, Joel, two words. <laughs> wonder bear. Wonder oh. bear. She's a wonder bear. It's, not, it's nothing. It's <laughs> just <laughs> prayers. <laughs> I'm not really. Don't look like Becky either. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously why I've written it down, everybody, watching on Yo Cho. <laughs> There's <laughs> Becky Lynch. Yeah. I don't know. I like uh, Lee's alive. I'm glad you typed yeah, it. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Uh, despite inference on Dominic Mysterio, Drew McIntyre beats JD McDonoughy. Huge back head Body drop. Sorry. How dare you? He actually, uh, he actually hit the countdown version of the Claymore. That's when you know it's a decisive win. Yeah. And he's a baby face for the time being. For now, yeah. That's like losing the UFC and then Tito Ortiz would do the... Aye. The very yeah. awesome. Pulls the shirt over. Yeah. I thought if you could explain to me why Michael Cole thought it was Wolverine-like tactics when JD did the old chop block to the Wolverine back. Wolverine-like of... tactics. <laughs> and they moved away from the Scottish Terminator. He's no, no, JD Scottish did Wolverine. a chop block to the back of Drew's knee. I like, oh, like a Wolverine way, would. By the way, like <laughs> Barrett was like, oh, just remembered, like, oh, I don't know him. It's JD from NXT. He had that gimmick, didn't he? He was a weird bollock. <laughs> <laughs> and just kept on bringing up stuff like, he's like Dexter with his dexterity for oh. the pain segments and the body and all this. And it's like, he hasn't done that for bloody months. Well done, Barrett. A wolverine's a real animal. Yeah. Oh, Did you know that? I'm thinking, I think I've confused wolverines and werewolves in my head. So wolverine's just a little wolf, a tiny little rodent yeah. wolf. Oh. Yeah, that's why in canon, wolverine, the, the X-Men yeah. is like actually small. Right. Yeah, and Canadian. The wolverine, also referred to as the glutton or quick hatch, is the largest land-dwelling species. Okay, right. 
<laughs> I'm going to find out how it attacks people and if it's like JD McDonald. It goes, goes snicked and there's little claws come out. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, what do you think of the match? It was, I thought it was good for what it was, like nice big belly to bellies there was. Obviously, mm. the big back body drop. It was just all about Drew, wasn't it? Of course. And, and JD, you're like, I can't wait to watch this idiot lose. Yeah. And he did. <laughs> and he did lose. And then obviously, he must be out the JD now, must JD, because Mammy wanted him to you know, earn his keep by be, beating Drew, and he didn't do that. Yeah, it'll be bloodline, but don't Google me soon, I guess. Right, so Wolverines are found in the hunting <laughs> section. The Wolverine is a powerful and versatile predator. It, it's prey mainly... Can, its prey mainly consists of small to medium-sized mammals, but the wolverine has been recorded killing prey such as adult deer that are many times larger than itself. <laughs> I read that over imagining the Ludwig Kaiser video package. <laughs> <laughs> I left that out of the notes, sorry. <laughs> Ludwig Kaiser has killed many people bigger than him. <laughs> Only when hungry. Wade Barrett hosts a sit-down interview with the reunited DIY. They talk about their history, but Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci don't care burst into the room and beat them down. So is Champa injured again? Because later on we learned that Gargano's a bit banged up, but Champa's a bit worse. <laughs> he just showed up. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? He's back and he's injured. He's such an unfortunate one when it comes to injuries, Champa, because yeah. he's so good. Is DIY referring to them? <laughs> and their bodies? Oh, right. Oh, well, oh, that's well. nasty. Swing and a miss. I'll tell you what, though. They got off to such a ropey start at the promo where Johnny's like, I've got some bad news for you, Wade. <laughs> And then and it, zero pop again. Yeah. So zero two. Because you remember when Johnny was, on his, Johnny was on his own a few, I feel, maybe a few years ago, never mind a few months, but when he was just cracking the jokes at JBL and Corbin uh, specifically. Yes. Oh, God, yeah, why you remind me of that? Yeah. Yeah. That was recently, wasn't it? God. Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different era of Johnny. I was thinking of when Matthew suddenly soured on NXT before it brought him back into the fold as <laughs> 2.0. But that was the Gargano yeah. era as well. Yeah, during the period when every match was exactly the same. All right. Sorry. Ooh! But, right, but then they turned it around. It was just a nice, earnest, sincere promo from the mm. two of them. Until it wasn't. Yeah, they until got it got hot and exciting and dick European. By, right. by the way, it's scandalous what they've done to Giovanni Vinci. What do you mean? Because they've not only made him a mute, but now they've given his literal gimmick, competing with the Mona Lisa, <laughs> to Ludwig Kaiser. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. I've just realised that, yeah. His gimmick is he's hot. He's, yeah, he's the model. He's not yeah. hot anymore. Uh, ah, was, you bum. And <laughs> Chase, I think Chase, you took his parking space once in their bus. And he was like, I'm a model. It's my car space. Isn't the only thing he did before getting pulled up? <laughs> Unreal, though. So good. <laughs> anyway, uh, later, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell ask Adam Pierce about their status. And he implies that Champa might not be cleared. Rhea Ripley goes, no one cares. And wants a match against Shayna next week. Yeah, she just went, oh, yeah, but I've got my own stuff going on, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah shut up. Uh, Tegan Knox does an interview ahead of a tart match against Becky Lynch. Natalia arrives to wish her good luck. It's the kiss of in death. The yeah, it's the same way that in the Great Escape they say good luck and bad stuff happens. I gotta keep up with Natalia. She's the new big show. <laughs> yeah. She was being a dick to Becky Lynch a couple of weeks ago, calling her a ginger witch and all this sort of stuff and being you know hypocritical. And now she's like, oh yes, I'm a wholesome priest. Priest. No, but, no, but that's it. Why the hell she's she's talking up to Tegan Knox, trying to turn her against Becky Lynch. Maybe, that's yeah, the maybe. idea. Yeah. It just came across as very sincere from Natalia. I, didn't, I can't quite oh, Wow. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you fall under a trance in a second, ye. <laughs> anyway, else, uh, uh, elsewhere, we see Ricochet looking for Nakamura. I wouldn't, mate. Bloody hell. You, you, he batty, yeah. You know, Adam Pierce tells him he's had Nakamura escorted from the building, but books a false count anywhere match for next week. Well, this is bias from Adam Pierce because when Ricochet attacks Nakamura, he yeah. doesn't get escorted from the building. But Nakamura yeah. attacked Ricochet. That's racism. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Moving on. Neither of them are uh, Caucasian men. Uh, <laughs> Becky Lynch beats Tiga Knox to retain the NXT Women's Championship. They shake hands afterwards. I like the fact that they gave a lovely video package for Tiga Knox yeah. before this because, honestly, I can't remember the last thing she did on TV. No, at least she, yeah. And, and they show clips from 2018. I'm like, yeah. I, I really thought she had a good... I liked it. It was quite a sort of technical match in part. I thought it was, maybe you got this on your notes already, so I'll say this and you obviously take over. Was it, no, 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 no. Was it like one, two, three, kid versus Bret Hart from Raw? No, no. Just Bollocks. Like... These two put the fun in fundamentals. Mm. I'll take that as well. Yeah. Or the work in footwork. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I enjoyed Tegan's reaction whenever there was a near fall and she nearly had won the belt. And mm. then she's, she's good at being like a sad baby face, basically going, no. That was good. I thought it was the, the, nobody cared in the crowd. I know. The, the silence was definite. But I, I think this match just... was designed to like, yeah, we, we know she's not done a lot of stuff. So obviously they saw very slow and basic. And yeah, she put the stick with the fundamentals. And then they started taking big bumps towards the end there. There was a lovely fall away bridge slam yeah. by Tegan Knox. I like Ooh. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying to think of a name for it because it used to be called the sack of poo. But if you do the pin, is it the sack of Wait, maybe? Is it an, an, 
what's the difference? Is normal follower stamp? Just stand? holds on. Follower stamp's just, just like, yeah. Mm. And this one's, yeah, you get it. Yeah, just holds on and bridges once you land. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, actually. What's that bridge called when you go over into Wales? The Seven. The Seven Heaven Slam. Is it the Seven I, I don't know. I think it is. I don't know. I've not counted. What's with that? What a lovely drive it is into Wales, by the way. Yeah, I've been yeah, told yeah. it is. Oh, did it last year for the, the clash at the castle. Oof. What's with the... Um, How did you get there? Was it... I was, drove there. Was it say? like as the... <laughs> no, stop it, idiot. But was it as like the, the, the quickest route, I should say? Did you I don't know. At one point, did you cross into Wales? Well, I went right, right. from Ipswich to Wales, so across. Okay, right. Mm. But not through London. Avoiding... Right, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Avoiding I mean, yeah, them yeah, tolls yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be playing... Paying toll charges, goodness no, me. No, no, the, the, the troll toll. Yeah, but yeah. I just... You want to get that boy's soul. That's yeah. right. The scenery's outstanding. Mm. Aye. Rolling <laughs> valleys and hills. Heels. <laughs> Rolling valley, it's RVD's move. Ah. Uh, backstage, Tegan is consoled by Natalia and the Cowie girls. We are the Cowie girls. We are the Cowie girls. You are the Cowie boys. You are the Cowie boys. boys. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven <laughs> arrive. I'm arguing with Natalia. Saying, aha, you're just trying to suck up to them. Saying up a future match between Piper and Natty. Mm. Mm. I blew me spot a couple of segments ago because I've written down some classic stuff here. Go on. Natalie was being a sharp tongued shooting heel a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Now she's being nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, little t- that little pun there. It is weird. Sharp tongued shooting heel. Mm. Jane Drew were next. <laughs> really sharp, she knew, it? She's related to Brett. Oh. Right. <laughs> She's blue, bro. <laughs> well, Jack couldn't swallow his wire quick enough to say that. <laughs> Brett Hart. <laughs> oh, Brett, man. Ah, he's good, isn't he? Well, the, the, the Iron Claw trailer just made me want to see a Hart family biopic. Oh, my God. But then we joked in work that uh, the only person who could play Brett would be Brett. So you'd have all these like attractive 20 year olds, just old Brett there playing himself. Brett at school, played by Brett. <laughs> <laughs> I was bigger and tougher than the other kids. Nah, Chris, Christopher Walken could play Brett Hart, I reckon. Christopher Walken. <laughs> hey, Sean. <laughs> you're going to screw me. <laughs> This is an unsafe walking environment. <laughs> L Dandy. <laughs> L Dandy. Uh, God, she's dancing in his match. <laughs> four. It's four. That one. Oh God. I don't know if you want to cut that, Jill, but it sounded really wrong, didn't it? I was. Uh, I did. Christ- Christopher Walken's in like four for four out of ten. Yeah, yeah. It- oh. I did not <laughs> get with Sonny. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you. That's, that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. You know, Dave would... Grohl's got an outstanding uh, Christopher Walken impression. Yeah. Mm. Did anyone see that film with the Foo Fighters? Uh, in a the film. Halloween one. Yeah. yeah. Was any good? I saw a trailer one. It's this very much tongue in cheek, Matthew. Okay. I think they know what they're doing. It's right. it's it's crap, but it's not like crap, crap. It's crap. It's crap. It's rubbish, everybody. <laughs> but they know it's rubbish. Okay. Right. But they've made the film anyway. Had a good time. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what's important, isn't it? Uh, Drew McIntyre threatens Jay Uso backstage, but Sami Zayn arrives to defuse the tension. Jay says he appreciates Sami having his back, but now it's time for their tag title match. Nice. When you show your two colours, I'll drop your ass. That was what Jay said, wasn't that Drew? I've messed yeah. That up. yeah. And then Drew says, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking like that? Uh, in the main event, Cody and Jay retain the tag titles against Owens and Zayn. Everybody shakes hands afterwards, even Owens and Jay after some tension. Oh. This was nice because it's like, hang on, these... Lads have all had tag matches and six-man tag matches for the last few months on Raw, but it's been against the JD. So I was expecting someone to run out just on instinct. I had to go, wait, who's going to run out? Like, there's no reason for the JD to run out for this. So it's just, yeah, it was a good, proper tag match to establish that, oh, Cody and Jay are a real tag team. And they are taking on Owens and Zayn. Yeah. Everything's all right for now. For now. Things could change. But yeah, this really built up, and it was a nice, refreshing change of pace, and I thought a good main event to Raw. Yes, yeah. same. I've made myself feel a bit queasy with my notes for this match. Go on. Owens really still do, still really doesn't like Jay. Their bit of the match was intense. <laughs> Referee's discretion was tested with all four men on the outside of the ring. <laughs> then it was a ding-dong battle for the rest of it. The finish... Oh, this is what was called, Matthew. The Cody 1D Cody Cutter is what they said. <laughs> they <were going. laughs> what a bad week for names for yeah. new moves. Yeah, because Cody's uh, bump was horrible. Mm. He was like right on his neck and shoulders and whatnot. I think he He's sold it or was just rattled by it. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. And I was glad that Owens came around in the end because the longer this goes on, the more and more of a dick that he looks like, in yeah. my opinion. Jay is a nice boy. Mm. For now. Well, no. oh, God, subject to change. <laughs> Anyway. I did like that in Melter's report about Punk not coming back or being turned down. He's like, well, this could change. Literally written down in black and white. 
Thanks, Dave. Tosser. Something's happening, <laughs> and if it doesn't, it changes. Yeah, Good yeah. lad. Oh, the oh. biggest NXT ever. Cody Rhodes opens the show and has a few announcements. His dad is Dusty Rhodes. Uh, the men's breakout tournament will begin after the women's one has finished. Uh, the Dusty yeah. Classic <laughs> would... Um, <laughs> Um, to me, like logistic <laughs> announcement in the community center. Just a few yeah. notices. Yeah. And John Michaels has made Cody GM for the night. And the Dusty Cup is back. Yeah. Yes. The proper Tony Khan does announcement, didn't they? Hey, eh? Overhyped it. Hmm. Mm. I was expecting some nerve shattering. Yeah, yeah. It was just get all the lads on the show, wasn't it? Cody, Elliot, oh, um, as GM, though, he's throughout the night, he books things for next week as well. He's taken full advantage of his stint as GM. Yes, and the crowd yeet him. Mm. Book it ain't easy, bitches. Mm. That's what he says. All right, it is. Ilya Dragunov arrives and talks about how class he is. That's right. But Dom and Rhea interrupt. What are they doing here? Well, they've been NXT last few months, haven't they? Mm. They argue back and forth. So Cody books Ilya versus Dom with L.A. Knight. Yeah. The special guest yeah. rare. Wow. <laughs> All the stars are here. Yeah. Well, including the biggest one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, yeah. we learned that Ilya's dad used to work in a prison, and he knows how to make massive men into little bitches. Yeah. I'm sure mm. that people who watch this podcast <laughs> know about the big furry community and we're pleasantly surprised to hear that uh, NXT were so desperate for ratings this week to be A-Dub that even appeasing them yeah oh he took got his head like little puppy dogs, dogs yeah. didn't he yeah mm. Mm. arf arf that's what Bron they say Bra Bron Breakers won missed that last week with his entrance at uh, No Mercy oh we didn't miss it yeah the what was tickled pink what was we he? were <laughs> going was that not for DJ Year what like, was he wearing <laughs> Big, big Half a dog? Wolf head, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Big like, furry wolf head? Yeah. Mm, okay. Shotzi's on Gibbs commentary for Asuka versus Roxanne Perez and reveals that she's hosting Halloween Havoc again this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, is she happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she loves the spooky bollocks. I was watching a, a seance yep. that her and... Uh, uh, what's her face? Oh, God, I've gone blank. Carrying Cross is... Friend. Scarlet. Scarlet. Yeah, is she and hosting Grace it as well, Waller, then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, so those two are coming back to host Halloween Havoc, but they were doing a seance with Grayson Waller, and Grayson was, he was being whizzle wazzled everywhere. Mm. Oh, I'm bloody scared of this. Oh. <laughs> That's all you kept saying. Oh. You wouldn't get this on Bond, I be. <laughs> yeah. What was the thing he was being scared with? Was it a permanent, permanently tagging with Austin Theory? Uh, you know when you go to a... Uh, uh, you know when you go to... <laughs> 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 when you go to a place and there's a late... <laughs> Joel Whoa. Holland. Whoa. Is there a Ross ghost made, among us? Ross made Joel laugh so hard, he dropped the pen and the book he's writing while I we're doing the podcast. Was a spirit that knocked it out of his hand. But yeah, there went a lot of this place where a lady who may have spent most of her life alone is there. Like Miss Havisham, that right. sort of vibe. Oh. And they're just like, ooh, if the spirits are here, please come out. Whoa. Mm. And then Grayson Waller gets locked in a little cupboard. What? Yeah. yeah. How does that happen? Just at the end there, he gets pushed in a little cupboard. He gets pushed by what? Spirits. That yeah. Shotzi and Scarlet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, right. <laughs> one of them goes, Mary loves dick. Mary loves dick. It's one of the greatest moments in TV history. <laughs> I'm hearing something. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Mary loves dick. <laughs> Rest in peace, Derek. Yeah, yeah. He was now a spirit himself. Yeah. Wouldn't that yeah, be great? Yeah, why would I hear from him? <laughs> oh. God. Yvonne would be just in the big house. Is that what with the Yvonne with the blonde hair? Oh, uh, the, the one who's always scared. Yeah. 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 My parents bloody love that shit. I hate They used to tell me, no, 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 you're very susceptible to people telling you stuff that's not true. I don't want you to believe in anything you read. And they'd watch that go, ooh, ghosts are real. There's a ghost walk in Newcastle. I reckon we should do it. No. As a podcast. I think Oh, the way you said that, I thought you said there's a ghost walking in Newcastle. I went, what's he doing? Is it? He's just ghost buying grace. It's not the Flashing Blade, is it? It's not the Flashing Blade, although he's at the Hard Rock Cafe I saw last night. When did the pub quiz there last night? Oh, Which, by the way, is a Hard Rock Cafe in Newcastle. Is that why there was a queue out the door? It's down on the quayside. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He was up, uh, past the obviously going to see Northern Boys. Aye. And no, it's a different day. I'm talking complete bollocks. <laughs> Please carry on. Okay. Aye, but it's a pen and paper affair, the old Hard Rock Cafe mm. quiz. So Classic. people were cheating. And uh, me and Kayla saw uh, them cheating. But we still came forth. Good. But it was amazing how there was two teams who we both saw looked at their phones, had like, it was like out of 60, and they both had like 54 and 57. <sighs> Get out. It's yeah. shocking, man. Like, there's just don't, some things you don't do with a, like, cheating on a pub quiz. All you, you want ever... was 50 quid of hard rock vouchers. Well. <laughs> That's all you I got. Mean, Have yeah. you ever had a text from someone at a pub quiz going, do you know this? It's like a cheat phone. My friend. mates would go, and I would go, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> man. And they're like, what? I want to win. I'm like, I don't know. 
Yeah. Cheat the They're cheating and goes, all right, then we're as bad as them. Mm. And he went, I don't care right now. I want the money. And I'm like, mm. all right, whatever. Anyway, yeah, this match was all right. Yeah. It was. It was It was all right. It was, the, the viewing room was sold out. It was. And the Keaton Lyons was there in the background, all fuzzy and whatnot. It was like ah. blurred out. Like, no. <laughs> she wasn't dressed in anything fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> another yif yif it's all infecting the <laughs> locker room uh, Roxanne got a fair share in but I think her this is going to sound harsh for me but it's the way I feel lads and I'm going to say it oh, go no. on her boring character is really exposed when she stood next to somebody like Asuka she's just Ricky it, Steamboat she's a pure baby <laughs> face sometimes I'll have star versus somebody who's not a star and obviously the person will get a rub this, or other times will do this way it's just the star having a match with somebody Aww. the crowd didn't care did they no they this didn't this is the shed one about the shed where people had camped out allegedly the night before yeah. they were still asleep and they were still in the tents <laughs> Um, she's about 20 lads come on she's really good for her age know, but yeah. Just, yeah but again against Asuka know, she's been yeah. the centrepiece of the division as well for, yeah. since the yeah until she lost days. the belt because of anxiety <laughs> Crap, those bro. ladders are high just oh don't on. worry she'll win it back at this finish in the start it's Indy Hartwell veteran locker room leader Indy Hartwell to a massive pop as well uh, <laughs> we need to have a go at uh, Vic <laughs> as well by the way because Vic said that Roxanne in the match that they had there could have been the first person to hand an L to Asuka in NXT and I'm standing with Eve Marie at this time. Oh, was it a battle royal? Oh, no. It, yeah, that's it, an Ellen Mike. Wait, book. a battle royal? Ah, no. Over the top rope battle, battle royal. royal. Shut up, ye. No. <laughs> this is Eve Marie, who, while Asuka was still champion and undefeated, yeah. eliminated her from a battle royal. Mm. That's as good as a pin. I stand ball, with Eve Marie. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Asuka wins and Counter James gets the ring to beat down Roxanne afterwards, but gets taken out by Shotzi. Uh, did Shotzi finish her feud with damage control? Don't know. Oh, yeah, they cut the hair, and yeah. then... Bailey's still scared of her, isn't she? She stopped stalking Bailey. It's bubbling along the surface. Again, it? the SmackDown Women's Division just falling on its arse. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Once Charlotte Flair can, you know, find her feet with a new gimmick and whatnot... No. And she's, she's, she's green. She's yeah. getting there. Uh, Gallus and the Brawling Brutes <laughs> are getting ready for their upcoming pub rules match. Yes. Butch tells Tyler Bate he needs the old Tyler Bate, <laughs> to which he replies, I already am. I need the old Tyler. He it's... tore the house down with in Chicago. It's funny how he is, all. he is just Pete, isn't he? But it's, he's still called Butch. Just, make it, just let me Pete on. Yeah, yeah, and also, so uh, Fridge, Fridge the Fridge, Fridge the Fridge, I believe called him. Fridge the Fridge is just doing Seamus's bits now. And Banger it's like, off to Banger. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> you're not Seamus. Right, lads, we're going to knock out these Scottish lads. Yeah. Come on, this was probably Scotland versus England. It's this was the old rivalry. Full. But uh, apart from that, yeah, uh, Tyler smashes a pint glass over Joe Coffey's head and the lads all put him through a table for the win. England, yeah! yeah. So yeah, many it. highlights in this match. Go on, yeah. Tyler Bate potting Wolfie in the eye yeah. with an actual snooker cue. Mm. It was loopy, it was fantastic. Pete shoots stabbing Joe Coffey in the hand with a dart. Mm. Oh. Not on the tape. He's got was... the power. Yeah, he has got the power. Huh. Uh, I thought the Gallus boys were on tap as well for absolutely ages, mm. but then they fell oh. to uh, Joe Coffey's alcohol issues getting in the way of his yeah. wrestling. Oh, because he went quite serious. He now. did, yeah. yeah. It needs he needs help, man. <laughs> he, still, he did. He does. He stole Booker's pint. His Booker had a pint at ringside. And he stole it. No. Um, so yeah, it cost him the winner's share of the purse in that match. Yes, there, it so. did. Yeah. <laughs> and also, <laughs> which he needed for booze. All I could think when after Peter gone, like I need the old Tyler. We, we used to have five star matches and all that, and then. The, that was the only thing in my head when Tyler did the little bowling ball spot. Went, Ooh. <laughs> I was like, this is not the old Tyler Bay. Come on. Oh, Ooh. shades of NXT TakeOver 2017. <laughs> but I did enjoy the match for what it was, though. Yeah, for what it was, yeah. it was good. Big city bollocks. I like Undertaker I like, losing a coffin match, innit? Yeah. Such a shock, but it can happen. Right? Yeah. I like the <laughs> table spot on the outside because there was a like a bowl of bar snacks and it went all up in the mm. air when he got put through the yeah. table. I was like, yeah, yeah comedy. Was Come on. I was surprised, though. I thought, wait, the Brown Brutes are like, Ridge the Fridge is not there. And... Also, Booch, who isn't there. It's just Tyler Bay. Uh, are they staying or are Gallus losing so they can finally go up and hang out with miserable Drew? I don't know. I just saw this as a match kind of in a vacuum. I, suppose. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Butch has been floating around NXT for a while now, hasn't he? In the Heritage yeah. Cup. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's kind of just there like, I'm here if you need me. Mm. Ridge needs to stay in NXT, though, because remember the bit where they had the trash can and someone was like, was it Mark, I think, was stuck in their head first. One of them, yeah. yeah. And he, he did a, like a splash, <coughs> but not at the trash can. He went above the trash can yeah. and into the body. That's mm. 
No. You got no, no, because he's taking no, off. Right. Trying, yeah. First day of wrestling school. Flatten the trash can. First day of no, wrestling school. Hey. Hit the trash can, make a noise. No, no but then hit the trash. He's, he's a fridge. He's a brr. Uh. No, he's gonna be. He would have killed him. He would have won the match. They'd have ribbed yeah. him to death. I mean, he'd have done uh-huh. his job. squats if he'd done that to the face and bush. He's come out. It looks like Picasso. Exactly. Uh-huh. He'd have done his job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you wanted that? All right. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Backstage, Tegan Knox wants Lara Valkyria to delay her NXT title shot so she can get a rematch. Who Wasn't really on her side here. Who does she think she is? Yeah. Yeah. Like that was like. Yeah, it's like, what the hell are you talking about? And says she's not going to let anyone get in her way. Yeah, fair enough, Lyra. You have one match of Becky. Yeah. Look here. By the way, they called Lyra Becky's protege and me, maybe even Becky's successor in the little promo package they did before wow. that. I think, yeah, Becky says that. I don't think she's won. <laughs> I, I know that they've got like big designs for her and stuff, but I don't think she's won enough yet to. Uh, she's for them just, to talk about she only just got a pop on Raw. Yeah. 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 Mm, whatever, we'll see. She is very good. Like, she will, she will get Yeah, yeah she will be just in terms yeah. of character and, you know, establishing herself and stuff like that. Mm. It's just, hello, I'm Tegan Knox, and I know Becky. Oh, no, uh, Lyra. I mean, oh, you mean Lyra? Yeah, Lyra. They're always, they're always banging no, on. No, that's right, because like, they're both. Like, she's the raw one, and now yeah. she's the NXT one. They're like, but, yeah. Lyra's the future and that. And, it, and it, I know she actually is. I know she is good, but they've not yet done enough to justify that, I don't think. I agree, but the video package was lovely. The, also, now, John Cena's official title is John Cena, the greatest of all time. They By the way, he the drives, as he rocked up here in NXT, he drives a Honda Civic. I mean, <laughs> that's a goat car, is it? Grow up, <laughs> yeah. John, you teenage <laughs> boy. <Dirtbag. laughs> What are you doing? As the car back on a Friday night, night, eh? <laughs> what, I can't believe that. Handy one? Oh, well, later, like maybe, maybe later like on, John. so handy. Oh, You're no. You're not on a bus. John oh, Cena arrives. Oh, it's never going to go here. Eh, it's a callback. No. But she's it's, it's, ruined it. My life, I mean. <laughs> Good. John oh. Cena arrives and puts over NXT. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Puts over NXT. He can't wait to be in Carmelo Hayes' corner tonight against Braun Breaker. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Cena says, wow, this is the crowd. Chan, I've never had this much street cred. What? There you have. The yeah, Doctor of Thugonomics. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I didn't get that. that was a weird see? line to say. Street cred of the NXT shed where it's all plants. Did you see? No! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Some plants. Did you see that he reunited with the lad that he rap battled with years ago? Yeah. yeah. yeah that was nice. That was oh. nice. Yeah. I've just, uh, when it comes to Cena cutting promos now, I don't believe a word he says. After London, Money in the Bank. Oh, you like They just get him out there saying anything, don't they? Any old bollocks. Hey, guess what? We'll get WrestleMania right here in the NXT shed. <laughs> yeah. It's already happened. 36. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, well, he's not a liar. That's John Cena. <laughs> Brian interrupts and says, nobody's here to see John Cena. That's not true. John gives him a teachable moment, but wishes Brian good luck. He gave match. him a what, Matthew? Teachable. A teachable he gave moment. him a what? A teachable moment. You! John Cena Yay! loves you. Chase you. Can't see him. Oh. He, didn't have a, he didn't have a clue, did he, that he was making an Andre <laughs> Chase reference there? <laughs> I hope he did. I hope so. Oh, I hope John watches NXT week to week and is a huge that, fan. Yeah. Mm. He drives a Honda Civic, so he might yeah. do. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he wishes Brian good luck in his match anyway. He goes, for a handshake and gets sucker punched. Braun misses a spear and Cena gets him up the AA, but Braun escapes and bravely runs away. Braun Breaker should not be running away. I know that's, that's the thing. I'm like, I know yay. that's the greatest of all time, John Cena, but you know. Theory beat him. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Cena, yeah. He's crap. I don't believe he? you. No one saw that. <laughs> well, how sure that happened? I should have lost. It was good. Cena with a couple of good lines, like we're there, the chant and there, Braun Breaker sucks. And he's like, oh my God, it's so much cooler when the lyrics have been changed. <laughs> How come Cena's a great actor in everything but WWE? <laughs> <laughs> what you're on about? Yeah. Promo lines like, your glaring weakness, young man, is your attitude. Oh. <laughs> I didn't come out here to run you down, but now you're here. And I was thinking, oh God, he's going to absolutely whizzle, wazzle and pull his pants down just like he did with Fury. But then he didn't. That's when he whacked out the teachable moment thing. Probably because backstage, if he'd been too mean, Breaker would have battered him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a hard man. I'm scared of him. I do like how Bron's talking more like Scott every week. Yeah. It's getting a bit yeah. thicker every week. Yeah. It's good. Pete, like, like the twits. Like oh, the a little twits. bit. Yeah, 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 just yeah. a little bit Steiner. Adding a little <laughs> bit of Steiner. Uh, Cody meets Tony D and Stax backstage, and they have a problem. Is that lack of chemistry? They don't know who their next challenges who? should be. Yeah, That's what it says here. They all got on really well. Cody books the first ever Bada Bing, Bada Boom Battle Royal for yes, next he did. week. Yes, he did. Yes. yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's not his fault that uh, they, were, they weren't putting things in Georgian terms. <laughs> yeah. They were putting it in New I York. I thought you meant the terms. country of Georgia. It's <laughs> Cody Georgian. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern European. That's Cody right. Dusty teamed up with Nikita Kolo. Oh. <laughs> Um, I love the bit where they, because they explain like the outline of the match and then he gives it the name. But they're like, hey, what are the, all these teams? And then the last two teams, they start going at it again. And Cody starts going like, 
mm, yeah. He starts like stomping the floor, like, mm. he's just taking the piss. It reminds me of the crazy things my dad used to cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that put the NWA out of business nearly. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah, great. In a backstage interview, Baron Corbin thinks Ilya Dragunov is ducking him. Dragunov's match against Dom is up next. The JD trying to interfere, but are fought off by Trick Willie and special guest referee L.A. Knight. Wrong. Baron Corbin tries to attack Ilya after the match, but Dijak gets there first and lays the champ out. Ooh, I have a, a horrible feeling that Dijak and Corbin were being aligned here, but it wasn't. Dijak was just getting in there first. For some reason, all he does whip a tree. <laughs> he lost to Eddie Thorpe, didn't he? But he then did. strung him up afterwards. Whipped him. Which means I guess he got the, the moral win. Not the moral win. <laughs> The opposite of the moral win. No, he got the, mo- the immoral <laughs> yeah, yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, the immoral yeah, yeah. win. There's no morals there, yeah. Um, That's a good point, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this match for me was all about LA Knight with his sunglasses on throughout. Yeah. It's just so funny. Because his future's so bright. It's so funny. I was shocked to see him fall for Mammy's tricks on the apron, though. He fell mm. for it. He's only human. This is The Rock yeah, we're talking about Kavorka. here. Uh, I thought there was a nice, like, the, the, there was no plants in this this week's NXT. There wasn't last Didn't week either. Them. The crowd's getting raucous, more raucous every week. That's with LA Knight there as well. Raucous, ha ha. The check What's, cleared, ha what, what is next week's NXT going to feel like for us? Crashing, but it's the hangover. That is, I say, yeah, yeah. Like, like you today. <laughs> but on the other hand, this week made me fiercely proud of our loyalty to NXT because all these newcomers jumping on the bandwagon because Undertaker's there. No, we've been there since day one ish. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Not even ish. Literal day one. Day one. Yeah, we were there for the big bang. Mm. The big yeah. rainbow coloured bang. Yeah, the Von Wagner his, bang. His 500 characters. Like, who the hell are these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we should watch that back and then just with the beauty of hindsight. Oh my God. Just laugh. Yeah. Uh, I remember that one. Uh, uh, but yeah, this was exactly what it said in the tin. It's all about getting the people over and wow, look who's here. Maybe, Don't watch A dub. Which famous artist did it who was never. There's loads, obviously, of like people who've never been. Only appreciated once they've died. Like, I think it was Van Gogh. Go, yeah. yeah. Maybe that first episode of NXT is like his work. That's we'll a go really back, good comparison. Yeah. And oh, yeah. everything since then has made sense. And we'll yeah. be like, this is a masterpiece. Well, everyone now is looking back. Oh, NXT. Even then, you could tell it was great. <laughs> yeah. I was hooked. Straight. Away. It, yeah, you're the only, you're the only person who can say that literally <laughs> and go, yeah, I meant that. Uh, Trick Willie finds Kamala Hayes chatting with Cena backstage. He says they can chat about their issues when Cena isn't here, but Cena says they'll both be fine, and he's sure they'll both be champions again. That's like a Nana promise. Mm. When Sunderland got to the FA Cup semi-final in about 2003 against Millwall, Sunderland were the favourites, but lost that semi-final, and we were listening on the radio at my Nana's for Sunday dinner. Sunderland go 1-0 down. She goes, don't worry, Jack, Sunderland will score two. And they didn't, and they lost, they lost 1-0, and that's when I realised my grandma was a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, cost Sunderland. You can't promise a She's child... worse than Jimmy Hill. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Football. But, mm. Hayes, oh, Hayes leaves, sorry, pal. We hate Coventry. He'll never die. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story, though. It's <laughs> Hayes leaves... Before to... I was born. But carry on, sorry. Sorry, pal. Hayes leaves to get ready for his match, and Trick asks Cena how he knew it was his time to shine. They walk off together. Come with me. Let me tell you about Ruthless. Have you heard this promo did against Angle this one time? So... Straight, that's what he said to him. Maybe. Cena's I dressed like, up for Halloween, which is coming very soon. Yeah. Cena's such a hypocrite when it comes to talking to faces versus heels. You know the Gordon Ramsay meme? Gordon Ramsay talking to children versus Gordon yes. Ramsay talking to... You yes. donkey! Well, if it's a heel, Cena's always like, you're good, but you've got no respect. But if it's a face, he's like, you've got to seize it. You've got to ruffle some feathers. I'm like, shut up, John. Hmm. He's a microcosm of WWE's actual attitude backstage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. God, yeah. how poignant. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He gave, he was everything that he... Was it Punk who said that? You probably know better than me, but like, it was a Punk who said the scene, but like, yeah, I've got, I've got that, that whole promo tattoo done on my Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, he's every, you're everything that you used to rebel against or whatever. You're, you're, the, New York you're Yankees. the New York Yankees. That was it. And Thank you've got, you. And you've got little arms. God's up there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Different promo. <laughs> and NXT Anonymous video shows Paul Heyman. No! Oh, here we Steady go. Steady on, here Paul. We go. Careful now. <laughs> Having a big old wank. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Anyway. Having a mistake. That should do it one time for next year. Next year, I was catching someone. <laughs> Who else is in the room, though? <laughs> Oh, God. Having a mysterious... Call Roman Reigns. Having a mysterious conversation. <laughs> it's just a sex line on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Roman Reigns soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> conversation with Arva Reign backstage. Yeah. Four roots, one rock. Mm. Oh, no. He was pointing at the Bloodline logo on the back of his phone. Well, Ooh. so I think it was Fraser. What does it mean, Ross? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Fraser, but... Oh, Tom, whoever I was talking to about this segment, we disagreed. I think it was Tom. We, we took opposite... We both um, we both kind of interpreted it in different yeah. ways. So Tom was like, this is him trying to convince her to get The Rock involved. I was like, this is him warning, keep your dad away from the bloodline. Like, they're, they're serious boys. 
Ooh. They'll batter your I thought dad. he was trying to recruit her. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that as well. You're probably right. <laughs> Mine's probably wrong. It's not really done, though. That's like, a, hi, I'm Paul Heyman. I'm part of this. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I think she looked skeptical. She wasn't keen. She was like, no, I'm, I'm happy down here. I'm really happy with Joe Gacy. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Gacy's pied her off now. Yeah. That, that it, one promo, they went, nah, we're, we're really crap, aren't we? Mm. <laughs> the truth. I need to find myself. He was getting all performative, wasn't he, Joe Gacy? I am on my way. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find my purpose, I think he actually said. Right. Yeah. Father! <laughs> <laughs> Unhand me, priest. <laughs> That's what JD said on the roll. Oh. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Jade Cargill arrives, and Shawn Michaels is there to greet her. And they're both wearing their best outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Lots Cargill of uh, dressed to the nines, Shawn Michaels disturbed by the milkman. Lots of uh, <laughs> AEW fans in the shed this week. Oh, The yeah. reaction was loud. Because mm. it's Jade. Mm. All right. She's mint. <laughs> anyway, Baron Corbin meets... Yeah, that's all she does. Uh, Baron Corbin meets with Cody backstage and wants a title shot against Dragunov. Cody instead books a triple threat for next week between Corbin, Dijak, and the winner of Camelo versus Braun. Oh. Booking in easy bitches, that's what he says it. I, Grab your bitches. Bam, bam. She starts dancing in front of this him. is um, definitely Corbin's match to win because Dijak's surely only in there to take the fall yeah. and it's too early for Bron to get a title shot mm. oh no Carmelo won the match oh I thought it was going to be custom design for those you trick William might guys, cost yeah, okay. Mello yeah yeah, uh, yeah 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 might help Mello either mm. he'll do something cost him, yeah. <laughs> thank you Melton <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, was, then, what was Corbin on about though when uh, Cody apparently jumped Baron from behind in Brooklyn? So Baron thinks Cody owes him something. What was that in reference to? God, it could have been any. Yeah. Do you yeah. not remember the famous Cody versus Baron Corbin match? Do you remember when. On the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah. Well, yes, I do. do I was when, front row. Do you remember when Austin started telling a very dodgy sounding story about Gerald Briscoe in South Africa and then they sort of cut him off? No. It was during his, How it was like it start? one of the raw, raw, raw anniversary shows and Austin comes out at the end and cut a promo. Might have been the one even where. There was no one there. I can't remember. All right. Just starts going on about oh, me and Joel Briscoe in South Africa. Well, I shouldn't probably. And he just talks about something else instead. I'm like, what on Ooh. earth could that have been? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. We'll make like him and move on. Mm. Uh, Dom is complaining backstage after his loss. But don't worry. Nathan Fraser is here to beg some change. Dressed like Jesus. He stood there looking like Phil Bloody Collins this week. <laughs> clicking his fingers at Dom. Oh, like that annoyed me, that, yeah. Oh. Oi, oi, hey. He's the baby he face, is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's knobhead. Money yeah. for bus. He's uh, so unlikable. Yeah, in front of the <laughs> locker room, who were like, yeah, we don't really care much. Mm. How's that for some hard-hitting home truths? And Dom asks, who are ye? <laughs> yeah, 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 good, good. <laughs> and Ripley says Fraser's the North American champion, so he's nobody. Yeah. She's right on both accounts. And then he goes, do ding do ding he was filled, but with the top piece there as well. Mm, mm. Um, Hanging on for dear life. It's the bit where it was like, you can't be treating people like dirt. And he turns around to his friends. He's like, yeah, that's a hard hitting home truth. And they all have and, to go, yeah. And turns back to Dom and goes, and that was a massacre. Was he complimenting his own hard hitting home truth? Or was he oh, saying something else was a massacre? You know, I, I think he may be like, <laughs> you know, and you're dead. Yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> You know tubes on Soccer AM? Yeah. When he'd, he'd do a rap and then react to it himself, go, oh, oh enough's yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's one like of that. them. Tubes needs to be a manager Is of wrestling. Nathan Fraser tubes. Because he's, he's got the looks. <laughs> yeah. He used to be a professional, oh, lad, I've, professional I've been compared yeah. to tubes before physically. Yeah. And I'm like, come what? on, I don't like yeah. tubes. When he had the big mop of hair. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dance, Matthew? That's a question. Yeah. No. Rocket was a good dancer. Yeah. He was. I'm not even the Jordan dancer. Necked on, when he necked <laughs> on with Helen Love... Uh, not Helen Lovejoy. <laughs> Chamberlain. She's from literally the Simpsons. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I was trying to think. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. character's Excellent. named after the two Soccer AM presenters. Helen oh, Lovejoy. I never got that till now. I don't think it's deliberate. No. No. <laughs> okay. Was anything? Is that how it ends, isn't it? That's how it ends, yeah. yeah, yeah, That's a hard-hitting home truth. That was a massacre. And then Dom's like, who are you? He didn't (laughs) even say, because when Rhea said, you're not even North American champion and you're no one, I Mm. thought he was definitely going to go, not yet. Like, I'll challenge you for the belt. He didn't even challenge for the belt. Uh, He just went, bye, bye then. back the old gimmick that nobody liked and they've stopped doing for months. (laughs) (laughs) Is he going to do one about himself, like hard-hitting home troops? I'm rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't actually make it to the EPL. Mm. He's I so, like my statuses on Twitter. He's so quick and electrifying in the ring. Why does he need the gimmick? Just, no. oh, I don't know. Yeah. He should join Jihad. 
So Joe Gacy can talk for Oh, the oh, jihad. Right. I thought you said jihad. So did I. <laughs> So did Joel. Joel's nodding behind the camera. (laughs) (laughs) Lola Vice beats Danny Palmer to advance to the breakout tournament. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Devastating shoot arse to the face from Lola Vice. Back on the arse as we are now in NXT. (laughs) Do you think they'd kick Nathan Fraser off for being boring? (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Um, There was a lovely bridge from Palmer while she was in some sort of triangle chokehold. Mm. It was fantastic. And then a shoot black mass for the win. The ending sequence was looked like it was really complicated to do. Yeah. Danny Palmer can do some impressive stuff. She's gonna do amazing soon though. Yeah. All these flips just in the entrance, never mind the match. Probably like gymnastics flips where she doesn't even bend her knees much when she lands. It's probably like straight leg. I'm like, oh, that can't be good for your joints. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I asked Robbie X about that because he did, did that because I was doing uh, box jumps. Right. And I was taught like you know, like, brace yourself. And I was like, why do you why do you do it like that? And he says, no, no, it's it's actually better for you once they've actually got proper muscles, Matthew. Right. You look like a proper wrestler to like do it like that. No way. I'm like, is it? No, I took his word for Should it. Should have just wear away the cartilage, wouldn't yeah. it? All that. Yeah. But I just went, you know what? You're the pro wrestler. Yeah. I'm the nerd behind the keyboard. I'll take your word for I'll it. I'll not name any names here, but I I when I got uh, splashed by Big Demo, sent on. Sorry, he did like a yeah. the back sent on thing, and um, backstage. It, I got advice from two different wrestlers separately. One told me to tense upon impact, and one told me to go all loose and floppy. And I was in the ring like, what the hell do I do, do now? Do both. <laughs> and it was it, tense up here and then loose and floppy yeah. down below. I don't know what happened, but yeah. <laughs> he protected me as much so as he could. So what did you do? I tensed. Oh, okay. protect- I mean, just instinct alone would do that, really. He protected yeah. me as much as he could, but like, it's still a huge bloke landing on you with his right. shoulders. It's obviously not his full body, but it's the top of his... Mm. I, and I was like, oh, my God. And the crowd chanted one more time, so I rolled out the ring. Good lad. Yeah. Nice one, Jack. Yeah, because he would have had to do it. Yeah. So I just thought, no, I'm getting out now. <laughs> Thea Hale returns to chase you. Yay! But only if she can bring JC Jane with her boo hiss. They disrupt this the class, segment. causing Andre Chase to explode and throw a student's phone against the wall. Is it David? Jace, David. He, will oh. cause he looked like Zach Gibson in a wig. <laughs> Sneaking <laughs> back in. <laughs> Watch it back. He looks like Zach Gibson, the week. JC reveals that she was just excited because Andre and Delightful have been announced for the Bada Bing, Bada Boom Battle Royal. Yes. Hey, I was. This is a roller coaster, this. Because <laughs> when she mentions JC by name, I'm like, wow, these two are going to be a disrupted, disruptive influence on the class. Mm. Andre's there telling us that Dusty Rhodes invented Halloween Havoc in 1989. He mentions Philadelphia, mm. I think, as well, for some reason. It's going to be a two week special it's this the year, first, by the way. Halloween yeah. Havoc happened. Um, and yeah, and then she, she starts rooting for Chase U, even though a couple of weeks ago she was obviously chained, poisoning Thea Hale's mind and then going meh, 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 towards Dull and uh, Mr. Chase. Uh, this hmm. gave me f- serious flashbacks to school. Okay, obviously, as we know, I went to private school, right? Secondary school. <laughs> On a scholarship, not, I'm working class. Um, and why would you doubt Did your me? dad drive in a Rolls Royce like no. Victoria? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I got the Metro in. <laughs> I literally did. I can't, no believe, private I can't believe I didn't get beaten up. Gold by, <laughs> <laughs> like when the Queen came. <laughs> I can't believe I got beaten up. I didn't get beaten up, sorry. Going to school all those years in my private school uniform from Jarrow to Jasmine. Like, Anyway, um, so at school, because I went to a private school, it was all boys. And I just happened to be at that school when they first started letting girls in. And that first year, year nine, when the girls were the first group of girls were in our school, they got away with murder. Like, the teachers wouldn't tell them off. They could get away with anything. And it was exactly like this segment where JC and Thea are like, <laughs> and then he goes off on poor David. I was David in this. That's you were Zach Gibson in a wig. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I loved school. <laughs> I don't know. I'm working class. I am working class. I'm pure working class, man. Mm-hmm. I roast pheasant for dinner every day. Of course. <laughs> Have you seen that thing that's been going around on Twitter on X? What? Tucker, what have you been up to, mate? Just... Chucking the pill around with Chugsy a little bit. Oh. No. Some advert, rugby reference. Some advert for some clothing thing. This bloke comes, they're all in like Chelsea. Some bloke comes out of his house on the phone and goes, Tucker, cuts to Tucker with a rugby ball. What have you been up to, mate? Just chucking the pill about with Chugsy. And the phrase chucking the pill about with Chugsy has then gone a bit viral on Twitter because of how awful the advert is. Oh, it's a bad advert, right? <laughs> oh. It's meant to be, I'm sure it appeals to posh lads. Uh, it's for something called the Chelsea Life Jacket, which markets itself as like a private members club. But as far as I can tell, it's just a clothing line. And you've just got to sign up to get all merch. It's awful. Anyway, uh, if people have seen it, they'll know what I'm talking about. Thank you. I'm going to bump into someone night out and they're like, oh, Chelsea Life Jacket. Oh, I know about oh, chucking the ball to the 
Mate. Tossing the pillow around with Chelsea. And I go, yeah, you have seen it. Don't say that tonight. Clippy get kicked out. <laughs> Chugging the pillow around. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Heyman is backstage with Bron Breaker. He says he's worked with the Steiners and sees Bron as a WrestleMania main eventer. Mm. He's going to join the bloodline next. He, he mm. hypes Bron up ahead of his match with Carmelo Hayes and Bron storms off. Call Roman Reigns. This was like a Brock Lesnar promo from 2002. Mm. All the heavy breathing and mm -hmm. Paul Heyman just rattled off bollocks. Tiny Paul behind <laughs> his massive lats just in the background. <laughs> the class. Why did he call Roman? He's horny. Do you think Roman's like, <laughs> think Roman's like on a lounger somewhere? Like, off a... Yeah. You have. You have a wish message. I'm picturing him as Calculon on the beach in his reaction segments in Futurama. He's like, we'll film those in post. And then it's him like, <gasps> with a margarita yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. That's what Roman's like. Ever moment. since Fastly, I'm just picturing Roman like a babe station lady. And Paul rings into Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Say all his catchphrases yeah, yeah. down the phone. I'm your big dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Our, our. Mm. oh, Penny's doing okay. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Poor woman, man. She's just doing her job. Brian Pillman Jr. is revealed as the man behind the recent vignettes. You know, that guy in a dark room watching Brian Pillman matches. <laughs> he talks about his dad's legacy and said he doesn't look up to him in that way because he passed away when he was only four. He's nobody's junior, so his new ring name is going to feature the surname of the real father figure in his life, King. Larry King. Yeah. I'd put no relation. I'd like Jack. Myself, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I hate to say it. I really like this promo. Did you? Yeah, I like that. I was yeah, actually yeah. really tickled because it's like, it's Brian Pillman Jr. He's like Brian Pillman, but not him. But that's so all, that's his hurt. That's his like curse. a wise move. Yeah, right. So I was like, he's like, no, no, stop talking about this. Cause I'll be a new dude now. I'm like, yeah, yeah. it was a good promo. Fair enough. I, I think it reminded, it was like early days of TNA, right? Brian Christopher was in it. And he did this, basically this, story where he was like, I'm going to disown my dad and I hate him, but he <laughs> concentrate on my words. <laughs> I just think so. <laughs> Brian Christopher, early days of TNA, goes like, oh, yeah. I'm going to get rid of my family legacy on my own man, so I'm going to call myself Brian Lawler. I'm like, well, that's the opposite <laughs> of what you should have done. But this was it done right. Yeah. yeah I was, yeah. I was well, expecting you. I'm really happy you remember that. Like, Oh, I did a thing once where I went back and watched like the first few episodes oh, of TNA okay, right. weekly pay-per-views. Really, really problematic. What was that? Oh, Ron what? Killings is the heel yeah, yeah, yeah. because the NASCAR drivers are racist towards him. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What was the stable he was with? It maybe one of the worst of all time. Brian Christopher, Brian Christopher, <laughs> Eric Watts, was and David Flair. Was Road Dog not in it? Is no, no. Oh, that would have made sense, I guess. But like, yeah, because it was all oh, second or the, third. Uh, I was like, legacy before legacy. And it's mm. like, oof. I don't know about that. Like one of the episodes, Bearer just shows up at the end on the ramp in trackies, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we do anything? It's me, Ball Pera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, where we are? Keanu James thanks Asuka for weakening Roxanne Perez tonight. Blair Davenport arrives and speaks a bit of Japanese with her before Tiffany Strats cuts in line, hey, hey, Sainsbury's, to introduce herself. <laughs> Fallon Henley isn't happy about this. Daddy taught, oh no, Daddy taught Tiffany to treat people like Fallon differently. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I was Fallon goes, people like me, eh? Yeah. Interesting that B Priestley seems to be a nice lady when she's speaking Japanese in this kayfabe. This was the opposite of her character. What yeah. happened? Because she, she doesn't dare mess with Asuka. <laughs> it was just, I think, to be like, I've been in stardom. Like, I think mm. that's what it... But I don't know why she was a face now. Strange. Because Asuka's supposed to be a heel. But then Asuka... Did she think, oh, she's got the face paint on, she's a heel, right? It's like, oh. But then Asuka what? doesn't like Tiffany Stratton. Who's a heel? Tiffany Stratton, who offered it to get her anything she wanted? Anything. Fabergé egg. I'll no. sort you out. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a segment, wasn't it? Was it was a weird segment, one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Setting up Tiffany versus Fallon, anyway. Ooh I Ooh. don't think Fallon's going to win. Uh, the main event is Kamala Hayes versus Bron Breaker, with Cena and Heyman at ringside. Cena stops Bron from using the ring steps before brawling with an interfering solo. They fight the back, and Hayes gets the win. Bron gets his heat back after the match, proclaims himself the only badass in WWE. Oh, no. And then, bloody hell, kid bloody rock. <sighs> And apparently me and Jack are in Rise again, seeing an American badass impressing people. What do you think of the Shields, yeah. Booker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Booker T is so excited. Uh, oh, he's so happy. Uh, yeah. It, it zooms in on him. It cuts to him. He's finding a wrestler he knows. <laughs> now what he's going to get at the old peace sign. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the nine million times you beat me on TV. Yeah, great. Booker wasn't in the BSK. He was in WCW at the time. Yeah. Why is he such good pals with Undertaker? Houston. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say Texas. Texas, Texas yeah. boys. <laughs> Bron calls Throw those horns up, baby. Yeah. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> yeah, but... Bron calls Undertaker an old-timer, 
So Taker admits that Braun will be a very special talent one day, but not today. Taker drops Braun and hits him with a choke slam. Taker says there's always an older, bigger, badder, badass waiting around the corner. He helps up Kamala Hayes to end the show. I hate it. Which is so, yeah, I was going to say, like, hate it. Uh, he could barely. No, it's obviously, you know, context is key. No offense to the guy. Respect everything he's done. There's a book coming. He's got a book as well. No, there's a book coming. Oh, a book. Uh, <laughs> I he's got a book coming. <laughs> but he could barely walk up the stairs, bless him. And then he's got, Bron's got a, it was a hell, it was like a 911 cell for a choke slam. You hear him say, go, oh, when he goes yeah. to, like, tell him when to jump. It was he great, does so. jump really high, but yeah. it's just. It's, nah, it didn't sit well with me, that one. <laughs> it reminded me of when yeah. Yeah. DX battered FTR. Yeah. On, right, am I all oh, good? Are you ready for the old blokes to mm. beat up the new... I'm like, no. Especially not Braun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's different with Asuka, because Asuka's an active wrestler. Yep, right. Still booked well on SmackDown and whatnot. She beat Roxanne, that's fair enough. But I'll undertake it coming back. And mm. the... And Needs the, but you know what? You probably wanted to be the biker taker, so you don't have to bloody walk. Uh, <laughs> so the the five yards. The ramp wasn't long enough to reach, so he's walking his bike down, gets round, turns the key off, and sighs. He goes, <sighs> gets off the bike, and then does like a dad run up the steps. He's like, Hop! I was like, I've never seen Undertaker move like that before. What was he doing? And then, at least th there's one saving grace, which is that he did Tyler Bates bop and bang with the microphone to distract Braun to get the advantage. He didn't just beat him. Oh, Beat him up clean, as it were. Like best goes, pure striker in WWE. He goes like, look, there's no mic flag on the mic. And then Bron goes, huh? And then he drops the mic and then hits him. And I thought, at least he had to be a bit sneaky, I suppose. Yeah. It was still a, not a burial, obviously, but it was still not what you should have done. No, he buried him. No, he didn't. He's, not, he's an undertaker. Uh, supposed to bury people. Yeah. Like, imagine if Bron speared undertaker, and that's how the show went off the air. Fantastic. Great. Yeah, Seems, that's what it should have been done, but yeah. no. But I was like, no, Carmelo, he's the future. like... Yeah, Carmelo's great as well. I love Carmelo, but yeah, Carmelo. I love Carmelo. But I don't like Carmelo and Undertaker. What are they going to talk about? Bron got screwed in the match as well, by the way. Oh, go on. Cena kicked him in the leg. Yeah, he didn't just stop him Disgusting. from using the steps. Disgusting. He then kicked him, and they had to go. Referee didn't see it. So he, in the midst of this house show feeling main event match, <laughs> he got kicked in the leg and screwed. Yeah, he did. And yeah. It, oh, this is on top of losing to Baron Corbin at No Mercy as well. And he's lost here, then gets spaffed on by The Undertaker. He did, he mm -hmm. lost to Corbin as well. Yeah. Why? People will sit there and tell me, oh, it's good that he's been working with this, these people. Like they always say, that's the defense for Austin Theory. Oh, they wouldn't put him in there with Cena and whatnot if he wasn't doing well. Yeah, but oh. I know Bronze no. is Steiner, but he's Goldberg, isn't he? Like, just having yeah. to run through people. Mm. Mm. I still don't give a toss about theory and this hampered Bron in my estimation. I agree. Yeah. 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 So it was a weird NXT. Like it was, the, ooh, the, the big stars are here. But then didn't some of them? Who got a? Who, did anyone get a rub tonight? Probably. Trick Willie, sort of. Trick Chase Willie, you, maybe. John Cena being a member. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. Did anyone go like, wow, um, they really benefit from that big superstar come and make them look good? It's so. Nah, it Willie really. got a rub. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a follow up. I just wanted to. <laughs> there you, go, you know what? We'll end on that then. I guess uh, uh, Tony and Stax are friends with Cody. Yeah. And Ilya, the star. <laughs> Never yeah. seen him again, Willie. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think any any of the normal NXT... So maybe for people who wanted to just see the superstars on Tuesday and Sunday, Monday, you had fun. For people like us who watch NXT, this was just like, okay, thank you for getting in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being in the foreground instead of the background, some of you. And no thanks, Undertaker. To be fair you to Cena, get. Cena is the one who sort of... Let, he does, he's does. he been doing it with LA Knight on the main roster as well. Like he is the one that sort of yeah. steps back and lets the other person take the shine. But he does it in such a Th theatrical way. Look how <laughs> selfless I'm being. Mm -hmm. I'll fight off the illegal man. Yeah, He's been getting his acting tips from Tony Storm. I wonder what advice he's given Trick. I can't wait for Willie to explode. I was like, oh, <laughs> Get away from the Undertaker. <laughs> anyway. AEW Dynamite title Tuesday because obviously ratings everything that matters to the Americans. Mm. Very few of us Brits are watching this live. Uh... Pre-show, Eddie Kingston beats Minoru Suzuki to retain the Ring of Honor World and New Japan Strong titles. They chop each other out of respect afterwards. Yeah. Ah. There was lots of chops. Eddie got his... <laughs> you could just left it like that. Eddie, Is there anything else? He got his nips out to show that the chops weren't hurting as much as Minoru probably thought they would. Uh, Minoru's chest must be sore this morning. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't feel anything. He just gristle. And then <laughs> after doing all those chops and seeing his chest turned to pink uh, Taz was like I bet uh, he, Crazy Grandpa Jones is what Taz called him <laughs> Crazy Grandpa Jones is the Jones thing getting used too often now <laughs> no okay fair enough no we only see him like once a week now so right. it's alright yeah. then the commentary team having more fun when Tony was moaning about nobody going for a pinfall at all in like the first half of the match it felt like maybe and Excalibur saying is Jim Ross here now <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. yeah 
He knows Jim's not going to watch. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Ah, then Christian Cage opens the show in the production truck. He says he's happy to defend his title against Swerve Strickland or Brian Danielson and is confident that Luchasaurus will destroy Adam Copeland in the main event. He takes credit for securing the first 30 minutes of the show ad-free. That was Christian. What a man. That baby face. Cheers, Christian. Yeah. yeah. Just before that, by the way, Thank Tony you. Khan got a crisp off hook. Oh, yeah, he did. Which I. proves oh. that Tony Khan, on the day of his birth, is cool AF. Right. <laughs> Shades descending. Don't book yourself if you're the boss to have hooks into your pool. Hook who's going to tell him no? Hook shouldn't think the boss is cool. I just <laughs> hook's giving advice. Well, you know, Bill Watts wouldn't do it like <laughs> this. Uh, Swerve tries to use Prince Nana's crown against Danielson, but Hangman Page arrives to stop him. Mm. Brian gets the win to become Christian's number one contender. Bloody hell. Kind of wanted Swerve to win. I um, was also wanting Swerve to win, but he went bloody hell. Uh, nearly 18 whole minutes with the yeah. Dragonson. Mm-hmm. And he looked good all the way. He, again, Danielson let Swerve do a lot of moves to him. Mm. And he looked like he belonged in there, so he did old Swerve. Yeah. Speaking about the rubs from NXT not happen, happening, apart well, apart from Willie being rubbed, obviously. Mm. obviously. This was definitely a rub. A Dragonson rub on yeah. Swerve. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks for having the time of his life now. It's like, can I have a long match with somebody on TV? Of course, it's my birthday. <laughs> uh, in a video package, Smojo says on Collision, he'll continue his rise to become AEW World Champion. Thank you, Joe. You just on both brands now? or I guess so. Do we do yeah. anything with that? It's Is a it soft just soft split. Rather like Ron Smackdown. Sounds I guess, like a lovely so. dessert, though. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the newest member of the Don Callis family, Powerhouse Hobbs, absolutely oh wrecks Jericho and beats him clean. Yeah, but he Jericho... then beats him down some more after the bell. Jericho kicked out about 23 times. Oh, but it's still Jericho. <laughs> losing but that was it. The Hobbs. Kicked out. <laughs> Slam him. Kicked out. Beat him up. But he kicked out I think he, until he couldn't do it no I more. I got, like that. I think he got one code breaker. He didn't hit, like, he didn't run through any of his. Oh, he was dominated yeah. by... A spine Buster was buried by Chris Jericho no, in this match, in my oh. humble opinion. Jericho is allowed to kick out of some stuff. Not 24. I'm going up one. Not 24. <laughs> <laughs> but then what? A power slam and a knee across the face pinned him. That was it. Yeah. Great. Loved and, it. And it, was then, so, it was like, oh, that was it. I love those. Like Instead of being like 10,000 finishes and then whatever, distraction, low blow, whatever, it was just like, yeah, he's going to keep on slamming him until he can't do it. Yeah. I love this. This was very bad Cody Rhodes of Chris Jericho, this, because no. as we learned later on, what? we had to have an update. He always got to the hospital. Oh, he's been beaten up that bad. Yeah, great. Making it all about him. No, no. Look, look, how, look, how, Stop it, no. look how badly Hobbs has hurt him. He's got to go yeah. to the hospital. Yeah, yeah but it was all about it. Chris going no. to the hospital. Not, how, no. not Hobbs laughing about Chris oh. going. It was all about, oh, we have an update for you about Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You kind of. Mm, yeah. But you know, I was all right with it because Jericho is a big ham. He is a big yeah. star, and Hobbs needs that because mm. he just lost to bloody Miro. So I don't know if they're coming mm. or going with him. To be honest with you, but I'm happy it happened. And they kept on saying, "Work his liver, work his liver," because he's a rock star. <laughs> he's an alcoholic. He's, yeah, he drinks too much. <laughs> he used to. Yeah. And no, his body failed know. him, and then he stopped. Yeah. Lots, yeah. lots of weight. Fair enough. Uh, if you in a video game and he's the boss, you know what you're aiming for. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so good lad. Powerhouse Hobbs back would, on top. Obviously, but yeah. I just, you know, five less spine busters would have worked the same thing. Mm. Not made Chris look like such a dick, in my opinion. Fair enough. <laughs> Love I'm having an argument. No, Jericho's great. He, he's always putting other people clean. Wouldn't the world be boring if we all thought Jer- the same yeah. way? Jericho, <laughs> Jericho, yeah, stick it comment section. Jericho's feud with The Rock back in the day shaped him so much that he's now like immune to the spine buster as a move. Ah, there we go. I'm trying to. That, that's good. That. How bad is that? My first thought there was when did he wrestle LA Knight? <laughs> <laughs> kind of belabored. I brainwashed. Jericho myself. couldn't wait to lose to LA Knight first and then beat him in three singles <laughs> matches afterwards. Adam Cole <laughs> is still doing chores for Roderick Strong, Adam. but says he really needs to go and get surgery soon. But they're like, you know, yeah. What did he say? Adam. Uh, still some more in the law needed. Yeah, you missed a spot. Yeah, still some bigger I'll get it on the way back. <laughs> Cole tells Strong it's time he left, but Roddy keeps him around for, some, for one more favor. Cole is exasperated. Now, I must have been in a really miserable mood last week because I was like, oh, here we go, American comedy with the funny faces. And this week I'm in a much better mood going, <laughs> this is funny. This one, you didn't like the boat one, which was leaps ahead of this one. Yeah, this was this was a step down from the yeah. boat. Yeah. No, wait, really? Yeah. yeah, this was this just felt like a ha ha for the sake of a ha ha. I like, think because MJF wasn't no, no, in it. No, as no, well. but this is actually going someplace. Where they're keeping him hostage for no reason? No, no, because Adam Cole's injured <laughs> and they're injuring him some more. He's going to lose the titles. He's like, oh, womp womp. Oh, that's what they're, th- they're doing. The old. So I think this is more point. This is more <laughs> pointful than oh, they're on a boat and then there's Big Show. That but, was class. 
They're still letting them use the Zimmer frame, though, to mow the lawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're not, yeah. He's doing a good job. I think it makes him look like an absolute idiot. I know that he's mates with Roddy and he's loyal to him and that, but there's that, and then there's... Adam Cole's never been stupid, even when he's a face. He's always been... Yeah. He's always had that heelish He's naive. He sh- he's never been naive. He needs to have that... He is now. Yeah, yeah for some really reason. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, MJF right. st- stepped back after last week's show, I was like, yeah, that wasn't very good. That was a bit crap. Maybe Adam Cole needs to smell this sort of grass. Oh, the... Um, the promo Trying to get the yeah. chance over. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he Maybe went on, one of those kind of moments. MJF went on Twitter and was like, look, we have yeah, to try things. Yeah, because tofu was a really big thing the first time it happened. He tried it like, the next time. He's like, oh, that's, that's not working, yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah, But at least he knows. They're sticking with this, though. Because yeah. people like, Adam. Adam. That, that bit's cool. The rest of it's just a setup. Is that the giraffe bit? Why giraffe you got, What's the giraffe about? And I'm like, you really are dumb as hell. Uh-huh. Like, oh, I just like them. They're cool. It's no, the, I was like, yeah, because they're neck strong. The neckiest, strongest animal in all the Do you kingdom. think I have to point this out? This big, dumb comedy bit? But yeah, they do. So yeah, you know what? I was tickled by this oh, this yeah, week. Fair enough. You brought it around saying they're going to try and injure him some more. Yeah. You brought yeah. it around. He's going to get injured. The guy, I can't believe it, Adam. How did this happen? Mm. <laughs> We're building up to that. Uh, speaking of people getting injured, uh, John Moxley still isn't cleared to compete, sadly. So Orange Cassidy takes his place against the international champion, not to be confused with the TNT title. No, <laughs> who would do that? Who would do that? <laughs> Ray Fenix. Uh, pr- pride of Newcastle. Cassidy wins to become a two-time champ, and man, is this a flat match and finish. Oh. I thought it was good until after doing several wonderful flippy moves perfectly, there was just like one, he was just like, oh, I've remembered me back, so. Uh, <laughs> that was the, thing, yeah. Yeah. the lucha sell and do the move, oh yeah, I'm hurt. I can see why it would be like, oh, he's done like seven flippy moves, maybe the eighth is going to hurt him. It was just very sudden for me. Mm. You, you can't, was, I thought it was a good match, though. Right, you can't have that style of wrestling which I, lo- I like the Lucha style, but and then go like, oh, yeah, all right, I'm all proper hurt me. It's like, yeah. no, 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 no they, they don't do that. What are you mm. talking about? What are we doing here? Just to do it from the start of the match, or don't do it all. Right, yeah. and so when he went out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, unlike the Hobbs match, which just felt like, yeah, I'm just I'm just better than you, Jericho. Like Bane versus Batman, just, I'm just going to just beat, beat you. There's nothing you can do about it because I'm so strong. This was like, well, that's the finish. <laughs> I guess it's more interesting to put the belt back on Orange. It was more of a surprise, I suppose. Well, Phoenix wasn't supposed to bloody win it in the first place, yeah. as far as we know. So. Yeah, that's true. And then it feels like they're just trying to do get it back on Moxley as soon as possible. Uh-huh. But obviously, they can't. Just carry on with what they're doing. Someone's going to do Orange Cassidy Moxley, too, I guess. But crowd were flat. Yeah. It was like, yeah, he got it back after that brave chase. It's like, oh, Orange Cassidy's the champion. They should have a heel beat Cassidy, and then Moxley can beat the heel, yeah. I think. It also didn't help that, like, AEW does this every week. It's a big criticism of mine. Like, do we. Somebody wins that. He won the title. Obviously, Cody and Jay are fast lane. Yeah, we won it. Yeah. There's been like a good few minutes on that. Soon as these guys win, it's like, all right, best friends. Yay, cool. Next. Yeah. Just move on to the thing as quickly as possible. And they had to because they had to get ready for the timeless Tony Storm moment. Uh-huh. Uh, Tony Storm treats us to a new silent film entitled Lover's Lament, 2023 brackets, during a picture in picture commercial break. Given that I watch some fight TV, I was rather confused yeah, 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 that yeah, this yeah. is supposed to be airing in the corner. Of the adverts. It went on for ages. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> what? What's happening here? What's this about? So Silent like, films aren't like this. And it was just, it's supposed to be like, oh, it's funny because she's in the corner. But we had music really playing. Get it. Ours, didn't we? we had like the classical music do, playing. Do, 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 do. It's yeah. piano music. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Like, I'm like, but okay. But that's the point though. She's yeah, lost right. the plot and we're not supposed to know what's going on. I like that it was called, <laughs> she kept calling it a film. Yeah. When she introduced it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a bit cool. weird. That's the point, though. It would have worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. worked if we were in America watching it on TV. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If you're watching it with, you know, get your Pizza Hut, whatever. Nobody it would have worked a lot better. There's, no one there's a picture-in-picture picture thing as well. Like, yeah, picture-in-picture yeah, picture, picture probably worked, but like watching it like that, I'm like, I'm, I'm lost here. Uh, like, yeah. Okay. Because I was watching it waiting for the punchline. Uh, Wardlow wins a squash match against Matt Seidel. This is how you do it, Chris. Crowd. This is how you do it. Uh, oh, really? Take a lesson from Matt Seidel. How yeah. the job. He got yeah. destroyed. God, Matt Seidel's on the roster. Yay. Oh, a minute. Oh, okay. Jesus. And then he walked out through the crowd. Yes, he did. Yeah. That's uh, all he's going to do now for weeks until the uh, Until people out. care about him again. Yeah. Good. He needs it. challenge MJ. I still think he needs a new finisher, though, Wardlow. One that doesn't need six times to be... I know. Yeah. Yeah, but he smells the air. <laughs> I can smell another power bomb coming. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like power bomb. Get yeah. the F10 back. What was wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Couldn't do it to as many people, maybe? Yeah, probably. Mm. He's but the power bomb, though. Do anything. Can't do that, ah, everybody. Yeah, true, yeah, it's true. Daniel Garcia tries to check on Jericho backstage, but Danny Magic drags him away. Ooh. Doesn't don't don't look at him. Does, doesn't know what he wants, does he, Garcia? No, he's a confused boy. He's a lost little puppy. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was going with bloody Don Callis. 
No, he danced it. He, they, he danced erotically at him, and that meant no. <laughs> Don wants him Duh. to. Don scouting him. He wants yeah. him in his team. Yeah. I want you. Dance, dance, dance. All right, now I really want you. Yeah. All right. Jay White beats Hangman Page at inference from Prince Nana. Hangman chases Nana to the back while MJF comes out to confront Jay. We'll get the match out of the way. Yay, Hangman Page losing to all the dudes upcoming. Yay, good. What's supposed to be doing? Oh. He's the one guy in the elite that puts people out. He is, yeah. Um, but yeah, a nice long match. Again, maybe just because it was commercial free. or what? No, at this point, it wasn't commercial free, was it? Whatever, it was a big long match. It is on our fight TV. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. With, with we dancing, get everything. Tony Storm. Yeah. Uh, they're nice, nice long match, and I think Jay White looked really solid here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was really good in this good. match. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's like the, the talking's what lets him down for me. The wrestling's top notch. We'll talk about the promo in a sec, but yeah. Jay White loves nothing more than cutting a tired I've just wrestled a match promo. He used to do it in New Japan in the press conference as well. He loves being like, ah, ah, I got you. Ah. That's why I thought it. people liked him because just him just yelling, ah. <laughs> Yeah, good at that. He's just like an old man sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you know? <laughs> I'm part of the Bang Bang Gang. <laughs> MJF admits that... Oh, sorry. MJF angry demands his belt back, you should say, but Jay refuses because the crowd are being so rude to him. No, I like that yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. That, that I people are like, say, oh, yeah. you. Yeah. MJF admits that he and Jay share some similarities. Oh, we're doing the Austin Powers, Dr. Evil, but, but MJF is a better man these days and no longer hates the person he sees in the mirror. Jay challenges MGF to an eight-man tag. Hey, maybe if you get some mates that still like you, mm -hmm. and you have a point going, yeah, who's going to team up with him? Like, does he have? He has, the king. He's only got one, Adam. <laughs> the king. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's only got one friend, and he's busy. <laughs> Don't and get, he's double booked. <sighs> and it's going all right, going, you know what? Good, solid promo. Gang, bang, bang. It on went on thing. a long time. And then Juice Robinson brings up uh... next week's Diamond Dozen Battle Royale. It's always the diamond dozen. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah. A diamond oh, right, right. And says he's going to win and take the diamond ring. All right, cool, fine. He takes out a roll of quarters with his name, Friedman, on it. And in a really mad MGF cuts him off and saying he'll end him. As MGF has brought up continuously over the past few weeks, the fact yeah. that he's dealing with anti-Semitism and people throwing quarters at him and all this stuff there. Yeah. And oh boy, oh boy, was this the only thing people were talking about from the double header of NXT yeah, just, and AEW. Oh, just don't do it this week of all weeks. Uh, I don't know. Uh, first of all, people were uh, very quick to go, oh, you soft people. In the 70s, they were like, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The thing about that is they did things differently back then. There wasn't a thing as the cool heel, which is basically the only genre of heel we have nowadays. <laughs> uh, I think the last time we had a not cool heel were the guns and people hated that and thought it was the worst thing AW's ever done because yeah. they're not cool or cocky. I hate this. <laughs> and the, the gang, gang, bang, bang, bang are some lads who hang out with a cardboard version of Jay White. <laughs> and Juice Robinson, before now, has just yelled stuff, plays air guitar with people's legs and is basically a shaved animal from the Muppets. <laughs> so it was quite... Yeah. Uh, uh, what's up with what I'm looking for? It really took you out the moment and just made you go, what? For him to start being like, uh -huh, it was really, you get it? it was like, really, wait, you're doing this? You're the was, comedy guy. It was also really tacked on the end of the promo as well. It felt like it all ended and then he was like, and one more thing. I'm like, oh. Yeah, and especially with, again, AEW is so up and down, up and down like a horse draws. After okay. this, <laughs> just to use a phrase that my grandparents used. <laughs> after this, like, moment and the crowd, like, didn't really go, yeah, or boo, like, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, we then got more Tony Storm doing a <laughs> fanning around. And you're like, what's wrong with this show? But I guess that like, would have been another commercial break yeah. for America, whereas we got the full screen with music. Yeah, so it yeah, was like, really jarring for us, but this it would have been just for said America. this horrible thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> and I, it was like, well, I, wow, all right. So it was just a, first of all, I'm like, I don't know why this was done. No. It people go, oh, be, well, yeah. have you never well, heard about heat? I'm like, we don't live in that world anymore. And AEW sure yeah. as hell doesn't. I'm assuming that it's to, so that MJF can overcome Juice on the way to this big match with Jay White. But you didn't need that bit of it. Yeah. And again, MJF brought it up. It wasn't like out of nowhere. Because like, no, yeah. people are like, oh, I mean, so many people go, what? Oh, well, they're gang, bang, bang. If they beat down the, what was it? Sorry, if they beat down uh, the acclaims, does that make them homophobic? I'm like, well, no, but again, it's the quarters. It's not like, ah. Yeah. Wait, if they have a prop. Yeah. 
That's different. I think that said, I hate and, the gays <laughs> and beat them up with it. It's and, like, yeah. And then later on as well, MJF's like selling it in the interview with Renee. He's like, Renee, I just don't want to talk right now. Like, it's affected him in the char- in character. And then what happens? Does it stay so, serious? Oh, no, God. Bloody Max Caster's like, hello, sexy. I'm like, <laughs> but this, the this, tone's the all, tone over, is all yeah. over the place in A-Dub. Also, a lot of people's argument online, which I don't think's a good enough defense, is that like, well, I'm sure MJF cleared it and everything. Well, that's, that's not, it's more about how it looks, you know, to everyone watching. Mm. It's not just like, if MJF said it's fine, then it's fine for everyone. I don't think Yeah, I'm like, like, well, he's not really paying the fight TV. Well, app, is yeah, he? it's weird. It was very weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they did it. No. Um, again, Juice Robinson's the comedy heel. Imagine of pain and panics I could have promo on Hercules about, <laughs> ha ha, your dad gave you up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. You never get an Olympus. Nice catch, Hercules. <sighs> see, that, that's more like it. I'm yeah. intrigued to see where it gets used from like here on out, though, because now it's, it's part of the storyline now. That I mean, it's got to end with MGF beating the crap out of Juice Robinson. The have... Jews are better than Juice. Something they'll like have... that. Uh, you know? They love dueling. Um, well done. Dynamite and quarters, like, ring and quarters. Yeah. It's like, mm. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll move on because I think we've said all the things. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, is this, I guess, one more thing, like, is this going to be that Juice actually wins the Battle Royal because MJF's a heel now, so he shouldn't, MJF's a face now, so he shouldn't have the ring. It's a heel tactic. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense for MJF to win it again. No. But he but might because he always wins it. <laughs> it's the gimmick him. wins. He wins it every single year. I like it. I'm in favor of it. Okay. It's funny. Ah. Anyway. Uh, Hikaru Shida beats Soraya to become the first ever three-time AW Women's Champion. Yeah. Is this Soraya's first title defense? Since... Second. She had one against Tony Storm. Oh, and she did, did she? Is... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. It's the, the fears of the rain when she won the title have become true. Yeah, she wins the title like Conor McGregor. Yeah. Uh... Uh, yeah, this was... I'm so glad the title was off her. I, felt, I honestly felt a little bit bad for Soraya during this match because it was just clear that the, her offense and the moves she was taking, her body just can't... Yeah. Do it. Anymore. I was surprised that she just she managed to beat Tony Storm once. Yeah. You know? So Soraya's matches generally have always pleasantly surprised me. Like you remember, she is good and stuff. Like her first match back, I think it was against Brit. Yeah. I remember being like, "Wow, like she's much better than I thought she was going to be." But she just—it's all caught up with her, hasn't it? And she can't. Yeah, she, she can't, can't do, do, it. do it. Not not as regularly as she would need to anyway to be champion. Mm. But I do think this was a weird booking decision because I thought this was surely going to build up for Tony to take the belt off her, and now that's not going to happen. No. Tony's the most over, yeah. but they're still in the though. women's division. Oh yeah, Tony got involved, didn't she? Towards the end, getting yeah. Soho out there. Yeah, Soho. Yeah, <laughs> Why I said that. Like I that was another... Soho Jones over here. <laughs> another example of a wrestler being banned from ringside and coming down anyway. <laughs> she had a disguise on. It's fine. No, it's I not. I it was her. <laughs> uh... But yeah, it's just a really short term. I'm not even sure the the. the uh, I guess we covered this when we, we covered all in, but the, the pop, I don't know, was actually warranted or not. I didn't get anything. It was just, oh, yeah, not. rule Britannia. She's from here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't care. Didn't Did you see the film? No. Are you going to cheer? Her family scare me. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> they genuinely do. Yeah, 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 of course. Let's move on. Uh, the announced team revealed that Jericho has been taken to hospital. Oh, again. no, not Chris. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Think of the damage Hobbs did to it. But her. you can help him by ordering omahasteaks.com. <laughs> Elsewhere, Dom Callis and Dikesh did do Sammy Guevara's picture-in-picture picture sign gimmick, to which the commentators are like, why are they doing that? And they're like, because of Sammy G's thing. And again, oh. we, ha- we watched this full screen on yeah, Fight yeah, TV, yeah. so it was very... They were literally... They had the commentators just talking bollocks over the top <laughs> of them, <laughs> and they were just actually being silent going... <laughs> Yeah, it was odd. Yeah. Why are they talking? It's like, they're doing the Sammy G <laughs> again. Just, whatever. AEW, it's whatever. Oh, uh, Renee, it. that's not the, to be. That's not us criticizing. Just, just on our fight feeds that we mm. don't. No, no, I like this bit. Sorry, it's just, it's just funny how it's, it's just that, weird, that's yeah. that's that's the good craziness of yeah. AEW. I like it's. Uh, but you're at the same time. You're like, are they doing? Are they supposed to be doing a serious promo or not? <laughs> that's that's the thing. You're like, all right, is this whatever? Look, Sammy G does it, but we we are actually serious. Yeah. Like, okay, don't do that Sammy G thing though. Renee interviews a downcast MGF backstage. He says he's not in the mood for an interview and calls on call for advice. Cole answers, but reception at Roddy's house is so bad he can't hear MGF. They claim them Billy, sorry, Daddy Ass arrive. Max Cast says, offer their help, the eight-man tag. MGF says no and walks off. Billy asks why Max is so infatuated with this Yahoo. Max it's says Yahoo. they started wrestling together back in the day, and Max is his friend. Also, he likes when he plays hard to get. Also, I fancy him. I know, like... Uh, I know, I don't like the idea, just, oh, whatever, just to get gay all of a sudden. I don't like the idea of, like, <laughs> the the gay guy creeping on the straight dude. Also, Max Cast, is Max Cast the gay? Also, Bounds is the gay one, oh, yeah. 
he's gay for MJF. <laughs> yeah. No, Valentine's has got somebody. Right. Max is just desperate. Yeah, this 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 goes back a long way, doesn't it, on Twitter and that. And yeah. now to see it referenced in real life on the screen is like That's it, so it's go, hey, the fan artists love it, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but it's like yeah, I know you've had a bit of, mm, of anti Semitism, but can I rub you back? <laughs> but I do <laughs> hey, you don't. But I do hope that it is these lads and not the Kingdom who team with MJF and the eight man tag because I want to see MJF come ah. out in the pink and be part of the thing. It'd be funny. It'd be like when Seth used to team with the New Day, only better. And then that's <laughs> MJF going back to the thing he referenced last week. Mm, yeah. yeah. I want to be more serious as the world champion. Okay. Never. He's the yeah. world champion. He doesn't need to he doesn't need to fully play up to their Antics, I suppose. He can be the serious one. He's going to rap, isn't he? <laughs> I don't want him to rap, I'm scared. <laughs> let let Caster do, do that. <clears throat> Christian Cage cuts a promo on Adam <clears throat> Copeland. He takes a shot at the JD. Yeah, That Jane. ragtag group that he dressed them up like Halloween and convinced them they're tough guys. Yeah. Oh. oh, goodness me. Saying <laughs> that was a good reaction. <laughs> Saying Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne would never turn on him because he's their father. Christian says he knows Beth Phoenix is a big fan oh. of his and tells Copeland's daughter that their new father is coming home, oh. Newcastle. Copeland charges to the ring, but Nick Wayne grabs his leg, allowing Luchasaurus to attack him to start their match. What a good Persian cat. <laughs> uh, Christian and Nick Wayne trying to interfere, but it backfires, allowing Copeland to get the win over Luchasaurus. They beat Adam down afterwards, starting a big brawl involving the BCC and Mogul Embassy. The show goes off the air with Christian tapping out to the bell lock. Get off, you get. Yeah. On to Collision we go, where mm. Danielson's going to challenge for the TNT title. Yes. Yeah. I thought it was a good yeah. end of the show, me personally. I thought it was a simple match, a simple story of a dinosaur trying to hurt a Another hurt dinosaur. man's neck. A mm. neck that hurts on a man who's got a sore neck. Yes, a simple I, story. I do wish that... You they... said that like an old news reporter. <laughs> 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 trying to hurt a man with another bad neck. I do think... That they should have let Shivani go full nitro if they're going to end the show like this. They need him to be screaming as we go off the air. I just want the throwback. Because they had the overtime, which, like, oh, nitro. Oh, yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. Uh, fair enough. Very good. Yeah, good observation. Mm. Yeah, That's analysis. A nice, that analysis. nice final stretch with the spear off the apron, and then yeah. Adam steals, it's weird to say now, Adam yeah. steals Christian's title mm. to hit Luchasaurus, who then thought Christian hit him. Mm. Oh, um, I yeah. didn't even... Mm. Ah... Ah. So yeah, um, it's good. What's it all going to mean? Find out on Collision. Mm. I like the structure of the match because it's not Edge trying to do AE Dub style. It's Edge doing Edge style with Luchasaurus. But like, so is uh, Luchasaurus attacking it? So I'm going to call him Edge. Whatever. I'm okay. I'm, I'm with AE Dub. Um, <laughs> getting beat up for a while, and then trying to make a comeback. Oh, no, yeah, you don't. You get. And I thought this was a nice contrast in styles because mm. it's all about variety, which is why we like NXT yes. so much. But it's not. Edge style in the bad way where it goes on too long either. Good point, yes. Yeah. It's not the big pay-per-view match. It's just the normal TV I match, am Edge. A, Nothing wrong with that. I'm a bit scared that the eventual Edge... Edge versus Christian should be a Christian match like yeah. he's had with Darby and stuff. All the gimmicks, all that stuff, but not when it verges into Edge territory. If they can do that, then they'll be sound. Yeah, the first of yeah. a seven-hour AEW pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, I never thought about that. An Edge match on an AEW oh. pay-per-view. Oh, yeah. Seven a.m. That's an extra hour on top <laughs> of seven <laughs> hours. That's eight. That's maths. Christian, That's analysis. Christian, beat him up, all right? <laughs> Take him out for us. And that was The Week in Wrestling. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> ah, before we get into the lovely, lovely mail bag, we have some lovely, lovely news. Well, it's Endeavor and TKO CEO Ari Emanuel has revealed that WWE will be open to move in Raw to a brand new night. Could you imagine? No! Oh. Monday Night Raw. On a Wednesday. No, no. <laughs> Are I they thinking of moving? That would be the end of this podcast. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Are they thinking of like moving the network? Is a deal coming up? I know deal SmackDown up the, is coming up. The soon, network right? is 2026 with Peacock. So that's oh sorry, no, sorry. I mean TV network, I should say. Um, I don't know when the, the raw deals up. Oh, but SmackDown's just been moved back to USA, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you um, think they would move it to Wednesday for the wars? I hope not. Then NXT <laughs> would be like a different day, presumably. I thought like they liked. I thought TV networks liked it being. One day and having the sports and stuff like that and blah, yeah. blah, blah. It's always been Monday. But hey, things change, right? So No, but it hasn't for like 30 years. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm really upset. <laughs> Mama me. It was on Saturday oh. once, wasn't it? <laughs> was it? It was Thursday Raw Thursday. Okay. It was a Saturday one as well, wasn't it? Well, I got that mixed up with someone. One. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh. Bollocks, Matthew, on the There podcast. was Saturday Nitro at yeah. one time. Mm. So, ooh. Now, there's another thing from Wrestle Votes here. Yeah, you know, you love Wrestle yeah, Votes, yeah, don't you, Matthew? Uh, regarding, they're being good sometimes, I'm sorry. Regarding the rumors of Raw, well, it's a, a, 
a, a, a, a spiel from Ari Emanuel, isn't it? Uh, not just rumours. Uh, Endeavour Endeavor is definitely open to it, which they have stated. I can say from a backstage, in brackets, off-camera standpoint, whatever that means, there are tons of people who want Raw to continue on Monday as is. Time will tell. Mm. So wrestle votes have no idea what's going on. They're happen. just fishing. <laughs> if, if it went to Wednesday, I'd be quite excited, I think. I missed that. Wait, wait, wait. Just to go head to head with yeah. AEW. We'd have um, to move this podcast. Why? What, Where? to get all that? And Di- oh, well, hang on, yeah. Dynamite We'd have to record and... on a Thursday. We'd oh. have to go back to doing it on a Friday. Mm. Possibly. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. Yeah, this isn't going to be happening for yeah. a while anyway, so. Anyway, mailbag. Breaking news is going to happen next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ahoy, hoy, diddlers. Ahoy, hoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Not so much a wrestling question, but definitely a good one. Before Cultaholic, the only thing I knew about Newcastle was the band Venom, a ah, bit of black what? metal, and singer Sting were from there. But since watching you guys these past few years, it's risen to the list of places I want to visit. I seriously want to eat some Greggs. Okay. I'd have to come to Newcastle for that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, come to Newcastle for Greggs. Uh, so my question is... This is the home of Greggs. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there a place that isn't so well known that you would love to visit and any attractions that you'd love to see or do? Mm. Yours truly, World Cup champion, uh, Megan Rapioni. Uh, Rapino. A- Rapino. Rapino. Uh, A.K.A. Mike in Maine. Thank you, Mike Thank you in Maine. Mike in Maine. Oh, that's where the Stephen King's from. Yes. Uh, and all his books are set. A lot of them are. Uh, I am going to say Easter Island to see the statues. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I saw how much it was and then, oh, well. Oh, really? I'll just Google. Where is Easter Island in the world? Uh, um, Easter. <laughs> Le- <laughs> left of uh, Christmas Island and east of Pancake Day Island. <laughs> is it? America? Uh, Easter? I, I don't um, know, no. It's been ages since I've tried to think even oh, going there. Oh, Chile. Okay. It's Chilean territory. Oh, nice. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so that's mine. Oh, I wouldn't mind going to Wales just to see the valleys, just because you've said so many nice things about it. Wonderful to... drive, wonderful drive. Yeah. Wonderful drive. Oh, how do you think, Because well, I only went one time to see a Chikara show on a Sunday, and the entirety of Wales seemed to be shut <laughs> at that time. <laughs> so, okay. what about yourself, Ross? Uh, Iceland. Uh, oh. Wonderful, lovely uh, frozen selection, obviously, yeah. of meals and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the country, Northern Lights, the, all the spas and whatnot, even though they apparently stink. Oh. And apparently it's a very okay. expensive place to go to. Oh, hang on, the spas it. stink? Apparently so. You know, like natural, sulfur? Yeah. yeah. yeah uh. You smell. Oh, that would smell, yeah. Oh, mm. yeah, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, but I would still like to go for the Northern Lights. And, yeah, you know, yeah. I can see it down the road, apparently, on the random Tuesday when the Chronicle published an article on the Wednesday going, E, did you see the Northern Lights oh. last night? It's always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Um, I really can't think. So there's got to be a lesser-known place that I want to go to. Maybe it's a non-obvious one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a list of any way you'd like to go? I want to go to Australia at some point. Oh, what especially because I've got family over there as well. So... That would be good. But I think if you've got to go to Australia, you've got to take quite a bit. You've got to make the most of it because it's mm. such a long way. I'll say Australia. I'll say, like, Melbourne's going to be cool. I'll say mm. Melbourne. There we go. Any fans in Melbourne? Yeah. <laughs> Let me sleep on your sofa. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you'll have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, good evening, you gaggle of diddlers. Oh, that's the plural. Mm. Uh, I mostly watch AE Dub and seen the reports in recent times that attendances of the live crowds are quite low. I think that's quite concerning. From Matthew Gregg. I've also <laughs> I've also read recently, possibly on your good website, up the Aiden and or Jackie Orlando. Oh, shout hey. out to Aiden and Jack, yeah. <laughs> that most of their arenas have been booked around a year in advance. Yeah, hey, that's where I got the info from. Uh, if that is also the case for collision, that could make the crowd shots slightly more awkward than they currently are. Yeah. My question is, what kind of way would you be able to ease it or fix it? I know that Matthew really enjoys it when we answer our own questions, <laughs> but would AEW <laughs> but would AEW benefit from having their own full sale campus as such? Cheers for the hard work you all do, and if used for it, happy three hundredth. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh. Here, here's to at least a dozen more. <laughs> <laughs> also, with Tom ring announcing for Impact real soon, will he be okay to keep his name, or will he need oh. a TNA Impact replacement pseudonym? Camera guards, Chelsea's best number nine, Khalid Bulruza, Bul- Bulruz. Bulruz. Bulruz, a.k.a. Tom Monk from Wolverhampton. Thank you, Tom. Or T underscore Monk86 on X. Ah. Bloody hell. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Um, how, so how would, how would we combat? How would we hide the dwindling attendance? Yeah, well, AW had a uh, daily's police. They can ha- they, the way that was set up when it there was like the first double or nothing when the pandemic was easing that look, I mean it probably was rammed but it looked rammed mm. they can probably if they shoot towards not the ram then they can make it look 
because you just see that top few rows above the ring and it looks really yeah. good. Yeah, do that. I but conquer. They, but they've booked these arenas in advance. Though. Yeah. Just have to like mm. shut down sections and cram everyone together. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh God. Mm. Yeah, buying a building is probably the way to go, isn't it? I can't think of another way apart from just running theatres. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, with Aiden right now, they are. I thought the idea of Collision to begin with was to have it as the CM Punk show with the CM Punk friends. Yeah, but now he's not there. It's just AW Dynamite Part 2. I thought an idea was just going to have a separate roster. Mm. But again, I guess people are like, oh, I want to see Adam Copeland. And I've still, I've got, I don't know. I don't know if a brand's... Split. Steady now. I was trying to think of a bad wrestler, but they all follow me, so... Um, uh, somebody else might be there. <laughs> there <you go. laughs> um, it's, a, it's a tricky one, and I think the fact that we can't easily answer it shows what a conundrum they're in. Yes. Also, I assume Tom will be able to use his real name. No, he's he actually going to be called Enyakok uh, when he goes appears on Where Impact. That, what's that from then? Because that's uh, cocaine backwards. Oh. Like Relic. Oh. Hey? It's kill it, spelled backwards. <laughs> hey? Cocaine. <laughs> So Tom on commentary can go, that's cocaine backwards. <laughs> Any a cock. No, he's the ring announcer. We'd have to announce it. <laughs> <laughs> of that, of that, of that <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> I said King Kong's balls. <laughs> uh, I reckon he's just going to be one of those silly names like Amanda Hug and Kiss. Okay. Yeah. He'll be Tom, won't he? <clears throat> Excuse me. He'll be Tom, won't he? He'll be Tom. He'll be Tom, won't he? <laughs> I'll you <laughs> Tom Lee when he's at the Walker Dawn. <laughs> It's in the Walker Dome, anyway. Yes. So I've heard. I've heard that. Rumor. He's also doing Coventry as well. He's no, doing, he's doing commentary. He's doing Coven. <laughs> doing ring announce. That'd be wait, wait. Happy episode three hundred. Hey. Long term watcher since the name redacted days, and I can safely say your podcast is one of the highlights of my week. Thank you. Aww. The best bit, the NXT review, of course. It yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Your love of NXT two point was infectious. Oh, sorry to hear about that. And as soon as I started watching it regularly, post empty arenas, with the knowledge that it was half silly and half proper, exactly the right blend for wrestling, it became my favorite weekly show. Thanks, Ross. Yeah. You're also here as well. You too. Well, we, you we, we you give more, me we the enthusiasm for NXT a lot of the weeks. We were very sceptical at first. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were building a museum exhibition for NXT 2.0 slash white and gould, and you could each pick one exhibit to be on show depicting NXT 2.0 history, which would you pick? Oh. Mine would be a big smoke machine with Jack repeating the words, one is as powerful as the night moon, and the other oh. is as cunning as the I, ones that dance <laughs> below it. I feel like that was a Ross one more than me, but I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, You're good. the one who memorized that line. Well, one's as... I I'm always like, what do you say about the dogs <laughs> and the moon? And that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I now can't remember. One hawks from the moon above, while the other is as cunning as the beasts that dance below it. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> or a psychedelic light show with Wesley on cowies. <laughs> That'll be Not Katana the Chance and Kane and Cardi, yeah. yeah. Thanks, lads. I really appreciate all the things you do, and the long podcasts really are the best. Congratulations on 300 episodes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've got one straight away. Go ahead. My uh, artifact that I'd put in the NXT 2.0 museum would be from the emotional high point of my entire NXT 2.0 watching journey, which is, um, it'd be Duke Hudson's ripped up uh, <laughs> schism. Oh, no. He was wearing a Chase U one, but he ripped it off, yeah, pretended yeah, yeah. to join the schism. I'll, his ripped T-shirt from that match, because that was... The most roller coaster of emotions I've ever felt mm. in my life. Um, I just thought he was going to join, but then he was the hero who saved the day. Mm. That's my one. His ripped up tank top. Well, you I'd have to have an artifact from Cum and Kyle's big day out when they were <laughs> oh. caber tossing, tossing them cabers, yeah. just frolicking through the woods. It could either be the mountain bikes that would the bike, riding, yeah, yeah. The bike, yeah. Or other things they did, like men do when they go into the woods together mm -hmm. for a nice day out. Oh, I've been there. Ah, in that case, a secondary pick would have to be Ellie and I'd red Corvette because oh, chickadees. Yes. That's what I oh. believe he was the rock when he rocked up in that. I say Giovanni Vinci's entrance. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny, ah oh, yes, Vinci. Mm -hmm. He came, we came, everybody came. Vinci. Yeah. Yes. And we all took pictures of yes. him. Yes. And then obviously his big bus is like, move, move, I'm a model, move, <laughs> Vinci. <laughs> yeah. So many moments you could put in though. Yeah. Up oh, the gimmicks. Yeah. yeah. Probably the Prom Breaker Diad feud. Probably Ooh. a pint glass from the man's pub. Man, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stuff like that. Non Darby and a dafty. 
Cowies, obviously. Nathan Fraser, aging 10 years a week. <laughs> Nathan Fraser's hard-hitting home truth studio. Yeah. <laughs> a, a jar of water from the sad lake where people go to contemplate <laughs> in the bandstand. Brom Breaker's fishing collection. <laughs> <laughs> Dijak <laughs> chopping a tree. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, the mafia not killing <laughs> yeah. a certain gay British tag team. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then legit killing that lad who went at AEW. Two dimes. I was I, I looked on his cage yeah. match just there yesterday because I was like, where is two dimes? He's part of the Ring of Honor roster now. Oh, feet worse than death. Cole Carter. <laughs> uh, there's so many moments. Please let us know yours in the comments below. And of course, if you have any lovely, lovely thoughts or feelings or just want to talk to us, to be honest with you. <laughs> We're not lonely. It's like hearing from you. <laughs> Near pressure. Uh, please, please, please send us a mailbag at Coleholic. Dot com. Reese's Pieces. Ahoy, hoy, diddlers. Ahoy, and ahoy. Joel in the corner. Whee! You're not a diddler. He's a diddler as well. <laughs> oh, go on, then. You're right. You can be a diddler, Joel. <laughs> Come and join our diddler club. Yeah. Let me be a diddler, guys, please. <laughs> <laughs> can't be bothered to write out the obligatory nonsensical story that has bugger all to do with wrestling. Oh, oh this, this person's listened to the podcast before. I will, however, give you a fun fact. Okay. The only two parts of the body that never stop growing are ears and noses. I wish. No, they, Unless oh. you're oh. Jack and he is sitting on a bus <laughs> and then a third part will grow. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Why would you do that? I want you to find the rest of the equivalent of these timeless Simpsons characters. Oh, get in. I'll keep it at Do 20. we all know the Simpsons? You know the Simpsons. Ah, I know yeah, it I've got this, don't we? <laughs> uh, we know Matthew gets bored with this part of the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Pause for laughter. <laughs> 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 the stop was really good. <laughs> many thanks for many laughs over the years. From 20th century British wrestling legend Sir Jimmy... Whoa, 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 whoa never Oh, mind. my God. Stuart from Bristol. God. Stewie, Stewie. Just because you're on TV this week. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. All right, fastest thought first. Okay. You get, yeah, you need to look safe for this. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Homer Simpson. Austin. Oh, you Eddie did. Kingston. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Damn it. Uh Who's a beer drinking dude? Oh, <laughs> Joe Coffey. I see Austin as like the main character of wrestling. Mm, yeah. yeah. Comic book guy. The fans. <laughs> Us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kip Sabian was the first guy that came around. <laughs> Even though he's... <laughs> oh, he's going to hate you now. Yeah. Physically, he hated us before. He Physi really hates physically us now. the opposite, but I mean in terms of, you know. Yeah. Oh, he is a nerd, yes. <laughs> Apu Nahasapima Patalon. I want to say Ziggler because he's always been there. And now, and now he's, he's not gone. Yeah, on, mate, that's I didn't it. even I think. I didn't because it was not on. Is it? Yeah, Jack. okay. Yeah. Mm. Mo Sislak. Ooh. Um, Mo Sislak. He's the one who keeps getting caught out by stuff. Huh. Um. Uh, hmm. What's his gimmick? He's uh. He's miserable. I'll go Finley, man. <laughs> I guess Finley. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. I'll go Joe Gacy. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Baron Corbin. Oh, that is, Baron Corbin is. We're just cool. making enemies now here. Like, uh, it's not going well. No, for and he's a boxer as the well. Future... Baron Corbin's a boxer. Oh, and he's the boxing today. You can't use that no kid more. Kid gorgeous. That's right. Kid bow. Then, then, then finally, kid Corbin. <laughs> uh, Ned Flanders. Oh. Um, Nathan Bloody Fraser. Duke Hudson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's too nice? Is there such a thing in wrestling? Mm. That's a hard thing to think of, isn't it? Uh, Danielson. <laughs> yeah, kind of. He's nice. He's evil. You're talking about <laughs> corporate cane. Okay. You never get mad. He just drink coffee and read his bible. Jake's uh, what? Snake jailbird. Oh, snake. Is that snake's surname? I don't know if it's That's ever not officially. That, no, on, yeah, yeah. But, um, mm. Moxley. Dominant Ooh. Mysterio. Oh, no, Moxley's, oh. Not, <laughs> Moxley's not even in. Is it going to be current day? Oh, no, it's not man. Dean Ambrose. Like, like, like the Simpsons. Dominant people only remember the old Dom's stuff. Dom's a good, Dom's a good uh, Ken Patera. Okay. <laughs> It, oh, no. Itchy and scratchy. Oh, um, oh probably um, uh, Kevin Axel and, and, Axel and Ian Rotten. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Kevin and Sammy, I'll go for. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... Itchy yeah. and bleedy. And yeah. I'm going to say uh, Daddy Magic and the other one. Hey, oh, they were in WWE, though, weren't yeah. they? They were cool. ever, ever rise. Mm, thank you. I call them 2.0 in my head. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. whatever. Krusty the Clown. Um, oh, Doink's obvious, isn't he? yeah. Ooh. Oh man, who's crusty? <laughs> you think of a wrestler? 
I'm gonna go. Show, I'm it? gonna go Bailey because she was all kiddie friendly and that, but behind the scenes, or the real Bailey that we see now is miserable. And <laughs> I thought you were gonna reference that Cody line from it. Yeah, I think that's what was in my. I think that's yeah. what was in my head when. Yeah. Oh, she was like, oh, uh, what did he say again? Bailey. At least Kylie Ray's really nice. But now Bailey and Cody oh. have been having all the crack. Back, they got old friends now. I'm like, all right. Someone said so. Someone even explained that. Has I it? don't know. Mm. It was crusty. Wait, you're saying wrestling's are, wrestlers are fake sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's hard, isn't it? I'm just thinking about RF shoot interviews now. Pick any of them. <laughs> uh, I'll say John Cena. Oh, yeah. Really? Sad I think you do clown. a good cross to Christy Clown. Yeah. He's having a smile and pretend that he likes people. Fandango's character from South Pole. That's what I'll go with for Krusty. It's good, Dan. What was he called again? Um, my character from South Pole oh, Wrestling. Was it Chad Tube? No, no, no. no. Was I'm Carl. Lance Catamaran oh. and... Sad man who was in love with <laughs> Renee Paquette's see, character. See, they all sound like NXT characters. So. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Burns. Vince McMahon. Yeah. yeah. yeah of course. Uh, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Super Nintendo. Adam Pierce. Oh, yeah. Um, Linda McMahon. Because she could sometimes <laughs> supersede Vince's power. I don't know. Oh. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Skinner and Chalmers. What am I doing? What am I bloody doing? Andre Chase. <laughs> yeah, uh, who's... Hmm. Johnny Ace. Wait, I'll go see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it's, it's supposed to be Principal Skinner. It says Printable Skinner. <laughs> Spell checks a bastard. Uh, Adam Pierce. Kind of put upon, kind of, oh, I've got to do all this. Mm. The Undertaker. Okay. What? The locker room leader. Right. Oh, God, I. Uh, CM Punk. The constant. <laughs> <laughs> Booker T would agree with that. Is Skinner one of like the most well rounded characters in When the Simpsons was good? I think he's mint. Yeah. I love him. Dr. Nick Riviera. Um, Rick Boogs. I don't know, just one note, like, I don't know. Dr. Ooh. Shelby. Ah. Uh, that doctor that CM Punk sued. Uh. Oh. oh, sorry, it's that CM, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, Chief Wiggum. Um. Oh, it's difficult, because I'm just thinking of police gimmicks or, like, yeah. boss man or whatever. Boss man, damn it. <laughs> All right, well, that's it, isn't it? Uh. Oh, the fashion police. Um, ah. Tyler Breeze. I'm trying to think going down the fat and useless route. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we really yeah. want to annoy in wrestling Wigan, Wigan right now? Bad at his job, the Ass Eaters from AEW. <laughs> he was bad Sorry, at that his doesn't job. narrow it down. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go for um, uh, uh, Dirty Bulk Bronson from AEW. Okay. Mm. He's, he's lost a lot of weight, though. I feel a bit bad for saying that. Yeah, he looks great. Yeah. yeah. No. Just eating ass, isn't he? Clean, he's gonna be, when he turns heel, face, he's going to be clean bulk. He eats yeah. more ass mm. than Wiggum eats donuts. Is that what he's dirty bulking on? He's eating nothing but ass. <laughs> God. Millhouse. Um, <laughs> Who's the Millhouse no. arrest? Man, oh, to watch out. Jungle no. Boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a WWE. Uh, I can't He's got that. Anna J-A-S. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Millhouse could never. <laughs> uh, ricochet? <laughs> <laughs> but he's got Samantha. It? So, <laughs> it's just so hard. <laughs> in kayfabe, Ricochet. Yeah, in kayfabe, Jungle Boy, Jack Perry. I'm having off. Can't that. Uh, oh no, the bus driver. Otto. Um, oh, I should have gone Moxie for him. Um, Sabu. <laughs> <laughs> LA Knight. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Rick Boogs. Yeah. Uh, Cletus, the slack jawed <laughs> yokel. Ding, 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 Sarah ding. Logan. Cameron Grant. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you said yours. Cameron Oh, Brand. sorry. Man. I just realized that you actually said it. Uh, Phineas I. Godwin. <laughs> yeah. Pig. Uh, Bart Simpson. Um, oh. oh. Who's the Bart? I mean, I'll, I'll go Nathan Fraser for Bart. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that in NXT that kept on doing like Home Alone traps for the women? Oh, Wendy Chu. Oh, Wendy Chu, yeah. What's happened to Wendy Chu? Yeah, I said Wamla. Yeah. She was so bloody whimsical. She was unbeatable. No one's still asleep. (laughs) Darby Allen. Is it just WWE? Oh, yeah, yeah, Darby. Yeah, yeah, Darby. There will be fan art out there of Bart Simpson as Darby Allen, surely. Curiously, Michael Jackson. (laughs) Wait, which one? Um, Not the There's only one one Michael Jackson's been in The Simpsons, and they don't air it on uh, Disney Plus, I believe. The guy who. The oh guy, yeah, him as a doubleganger. The guy oh, yeah, who's yeah, just okay. called Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Is that the guy in prison who's Yeah, yeah, yeah. comes out and Homer doesn't know who Michael Jackson is. Um, so then I'll, like, go, yeah, I'll go for um Ezekiel. Perfect. Yeah. Mm. I'll go for nails just on aesthetics alone. Okay. So nice. I've got no hair on it. Yeah. yeah. I'll go with NWO Sting. Yeah. 
Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh, Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> who's like the greatest Simpsons character? Well, Homer wins all the polls, doesn't he? And... But who's your favourite? Oh, man. Who is my favourite Simpsons character? I don't mm. know. That's Do you Ross? I'm not a big fan. Smithers. Oh, you like really? Smithers? I don't know. I'm just plucking the oh, well, no, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I can't think of a favourite Simpsons character. Do you have one, Joel? Oh, he's getting the mic. Uh, Homer. Homer. Oh, okay, right, yeah. yeah. yeah I guess I'll take Wiggum. Wiggum. Yeah. I'll. Oh, it's hard to pick one character because it's all the. I know, right? The whole right. gang. Um, I'll say that Brett. Oh, Bret Hart. He was in The Simpsons. Bret Hart is the best. Yeah. Not only wrestler of all time, but he's the best Simpsons <laughs> but character he, of all time. Never Good luck, Simpsons. Jack. Yeah. P.S. If Ross does put this in the rainy day folder, I sent this on the second week of October 2023. Hey, sunny day. Like what Brett has seen. Mm. <laughs> ah, thank you very much for that lovely, lovely question. Have you put your name on it? Yes, you have Stuart from Bristol. It was at the top. Thank you very much, Stuart from Bristol, for your thank fantastic you from piece Bristol. of pieces. Did he put Brett last as well? He got, yes. I think we were meant to say Bret Hart because he was in The Simpsons. As like the punchline of the bit. But we ruined it. No, I got if it. If you'd like us to ruin your Reese's Pieces, please send them to mailbag at Oh, there's hilarity going on out there. They're listening to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cultaholics. The question. What a lovely 300 podcasts it's been. Yeah, man. So far. How many of you missed? Yeah, you're I've like... done VXV a few times, and I got COVID twice, I think. So I think it I've might be like in two. the single digits. Yeah. I think I've hosted two personally. All right. You've hosted I've few. hosted like maybe... Because oh, maybe... everyone sent me your impressions of me. <laughs> I think I've hosted maybe two as well. Yeah. So you've not missed a lot, like... What a trooper. Yeah, you're the workhorse. Thanks, yeah. Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Thank That's you, the moral Matthew, of the yeah. 300th podcast. Thank, thank you, Chris oh, no, Jericho. No, well, that, that, yeah, thanks to Jericho. Thank you, Chris Jericho, yeah. for allowing you to do this. I don't know if you know this. It was actually Jericho <laughs> who brought the three of us together first and <laughs> saw the potential in That's all right. of us. Jericho, yeah. Jericho yeah. said, three lads who've never stepped foot in a ring. Mm. Well, sorry, two lads who have, and one guy who probably should so he gets head kicked in. in a ring. Oh. We, we were all in expression. I realised I confused it the completely wrong way and bungled it. Which is why we have such great chemistry all these yeah. years. We were stood at the three points of the Jericho Triangle. That's how he brought <laughs> us together. And we all had special rings on and we went... <laughs> <laughs> laser beams came out. We went, lads, cool to holy. <laughs> <laughs> and the podcast was born. <laughs> That's how Joel was born, and he came out with all the rings. But who, who will edit it? Joel! <laughs> <laughs> well, Joel and Richard and everyone who's edited this are like Freemasons. They've been passed down, like it's a secret society of editors. Yeah, you know? can't just edit this. Just no. walk, walk up and say, "Can you? I'll do this for free, kind of way. They all like wear, you have to know someone to get it. They all wear robes and knock about it like a secret temple under the right. office. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Richard probably does have robes, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He walk, he wear, he, Where's it for his unspecial occasions? Because he's that type of dude. <laughs> anyway, the right? producers. And we only have the finest producers here in the lovely, lovely called the Hollywood. Got new podcast. ones as well. I know I'm going to need a thing of new gimmicks for them. Jason Goddard. Jason Goddard. He's God, God. Isn't he is God. <laughs> <laughs> he is the Lord. Damien Smith. He's the devil. Damien. God, Whoa. he's the bad version of the Davy Boy Smith. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got God and Damien he's here. He's the wow. devil. Yeah. Reno two two zero zero double digits. Huge pop for <laughs> Reno. Yeah. <laughs> and finally Noah Anderson. Uh, Anderson. Thank you very much for Thanks being our sexy producers. Ooh, scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. Oh, what a roster! Wow, what a rush! Mm. Our big question this week is: Who won the bloody war then? Who won the war? The Tuesday night war between AEW Dynamite Tuesday Night Delight versus NXT Business as Usual. <laughs> Was it the bald assholes or the bold B O L D asshole and Tony Khan? Now, like that word plate? No, you don't. That's fine. We've sat there and we we weren't as you were saying it. I was like, yeah, who did win? Because you started correctly saying the tone was all over the place in Dynamite and all that. But I'm still going to vote for AEW winning this week's war. Okay. Not when, obviously we're not talking about ratings. We're talking about which no, is the better cares. show. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think that AEW won it because they had the better wrestling on the show. And because mm. of the NXT, like, veterans, like, dunking on the regulars. I would agree. I think more mm. people got a rub. And we obviously love rubbing really the willy. got rub, but, really yeah. got the rub. And so I would say, yeah, because at least uh, Strickland against Dragon. Uh, that was it, really, wasn't it? Uh, oh, Hobbs. Oh, Hobbs, Jericho. Right. Jay. Hobbs, Jericho. Mm. Jay White. Yeah. Jay White, thank you. Actually, yeah, budget loads of people. Say. Two title changes on it. Whether yeah. or not you agree with them, they were still... Title changes on Timeless the Tony. 
Yep, times Tony as well, yeah. That's right. And... It wasn't the strongest week for either. Mm. Also, oh, we still got right. Adam Copeland's debut match for AEW. Oh, uh, yes, so, yeah. did, yeah. So there's loads of stuff there. And NXT, as much as we love the City Bollocks, and we love the City Bollocks here, hoo, hoo, hoo. but, yeah, it, you went, walked away going, all right, but next week, what are you going to do with NXT? Exactly. Mm-hmm. All of Cody Rhodes' mess will be cleaned up, that's for sure, but he won't be there, will he? To make another Robbie Williams reference, it'll be like the video for Come Undone, when Robbie comes down the stairs after a house party, and the place is just, oh. That, that is a good one, isn't it? Yeah. What a song. Come on down. They're selling razor blades, mirrors in the street. Never understood what that meant as a child. Come on, boom, what, right. what does it mean? What was Tom's ring name in Impact? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. Do unless I'm reading the word. I had to type it out just en- to read the word. Any knock. Any knock. Any cock. Aye. Any cock. Cocaine backwards. Yeah, yeah, It sounds like something else. So what was your highlight of NXT this week, Ross? Because you're the positive NXT person. And who are you voting for? I'm voting for AEW. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a clean the, sweep. The, the, the lads, the old lads came down and didn't give the young lads much, mm-hmm. if anything. Apart from John Cena, who is the highlight of the week. I forgot to say, move of the week as well, didn't oh. I? I guess the move of the week is John Cena aligning with Chase U inadvertently. I do believe, but he still did it nonetheless. So the Joel, hit, this, hit the thing <laughs> right now. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Um, but yeah, in terms of people who benefited from the old lads coming down, I say old lads, from the superstars coming mm. down to the shed. Jade for 10 seconds. Nobody, Undertaker yeah. did his pose with Carmelo, but that yeah. wasn't on the show. That was off air. Yeah. The only one that I'm like intrigued by is Trick, but I don't even know if that'll. Yeah. And that was a backstage segment. Like, it mm. wasn't a huge moment. Yeah, AEW wiped the floor of them. In terms yeah, of a TV yeah. product this mm. week, I thought. Yeah. yeah. But I think if the design was just a mess of AEW, that oh. NXT absolutely succeeded in that yeah, regard. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whether it'll last or not. Or whether it will be winners. I and enjoy Tony it... Khan on Twitter. I don't, I don't think that <laughs> statement Raj. that was given to Nick Hausman came true. The one that was like, they'll see. Well, that was such a pointless then. nothing statement until Tony Khan went. <laughs> well, maybe they were, maybe maybe they knew it would rattle him. Whoever yeah, said yeah it. that's it. It's yeah. just it, that's all X seems to be now. Who did say it? Here's the deliberately dumb thing I've said. Oh, let me yeah. tell you. So oh, it works on me. Works I'll on us. You know time. what? And people are going to click this to go. I think bloody NXT won, and you guys should go. Oh away. yeah, the engagement in the comments is going to be. You're all suckers. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. That's the 300 episode. Uh-huh. Yeah. It would have been. You think you'd learn by now, uh-huh. pal? It would have been so interesting to see how bog. St- I say bog standard. Wonderful NXT would have did, done against AEW without any of the the yeah. stars coming down. That yeah. is an interesting take. Yeah. You think that by now there's so many great talent on the show, the Willies, the Hayes, Ilias, uh, Bronze, Chase, Tiffs, Roxanne Perez, Dull. just, just as for Roxanne. Delightful. Um, yeah, all those people. We think, because we watch them every week, that, yeah, they're good enough. Mm. And they have been on NXT, sorry, um, Monday Night Raw, mm. making little cameo appearances. Yeah. Yeah. Because you yeah. think about the, the, mm. the, I don't pay much attention to the viewership, but NXT, it seems, gets around seven, eight hundred thousand on okay. those things. Mm. And this week it was nine hundred thousand. So it didn't get that much Against of a jump. Against AE Dub. Yeah. And it didn't get that much of a jump. So, yeah. Oh, next time, bollocks to these superstars. Give mm. us the bread and butter. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> which would have been better because everyone's eyes would have been open to how brilliant NXT is yeah. and not this watered down I know next, week's, next week there's going to be a lot of people going what the hell what's this mm. after last week anyway I mean when did you hide this crazy dream the Undertaker was there <laughs> John Cena well that never happened here would it <laughs> the Cowie girls walk in yeah <laughs> that's our fault that Wendy yeah. <laughs> we spiked you with our Cowies <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've been asleep there. for four months <laughs> <laughs> ah well we must be asleep for three, 300 episodes because it seems like a dream. Hey, it's a dream come true to be by, having this much fun doing Bloody podcast hell. blocks with you, Blocks. Lads. Here's to another 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No <laughs> Should more. We have a <laughs> no more, no less. <laughs> the next celebration is going to be 312. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Can't wait. Uh, Jack, what have you got for us until next week? Um, so hopefully Owen will be back next week because he was a little bit poorly, but he's feeling better now. Oh, uh, no. We missed this week's twitch.tv forward slash cultaholic stream. <gasps> Every Wednesday from 6 p.m. Next week we'll be back on it with cultaholic FC, the faves of the faves. Oh, the themes. Um Apart from that, uh, I don't really know. Everything I've done is out now. All the things I've written of now in video form. Enjoy. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Ross. Uh, football stuff for me at Hold and Give Football on YouTube. Two, four live streams coming up. Two England matches, live reactions, oh. and two EAFC 2-4 career mode episodes. EAFC. With well Luton done. Town. 
Luton. Thanks to Luton for sending me a shirt as well. Oh, oh did they? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Up the Luton. Um, but yeah, wrestling stuff. I've, I was on holiday last week. I was ill last week and the start of this week. So I've done, I've Where did done you nothing. go, by the way? Where did I go? Or did you go on holiday somewhere? No, I'm just off. Just off. Oh, fair enough. Right. days to take, so yeah, I took yeah, yeah. them. Nice. Fair. And, and then worked most days doing football stuff. Lovely. <laughs> I did that as well, which is why I had no answer either. We've got nothing going on, Matthew. Yeah, what about no, you? It's nice. After like, and then this, and then this, and then yeah. this. I had a new Botchmania come out, and it's still online. Yay! Hey! And makes them so are going to kill me. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Good. I can't wait. Great stuff. Ah, yeah, obviously, nice. me and Tom uh, doing the Cut Lawler Classic Smackdown review mm -hmm. on Smackdown. Ooh, isn't that nice? Yes, uh, it is. 2002, when everything's about to go really poo-shaped. Oh, the Steph when Stephanie took the NWO oh. here. Jericho's wearing chest trousers. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, all that and more to come right here. Callaholic, please like and subscribe. Uh, mailbag at callaholic.com for your thoughts and your fever dreams. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash callaholic for the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I just paused dramatically there. Didn't forget, honest. And this has been Joel behind the camera. Thank you, Joel. Not a diddler. I bet he's trying. He is. Joel, Cheers, Thank Say you. it, Joel. Say it. I'm not, I am not a diddler. Ah. <laughs> Louder in the microphone, please. Uh, this has been Jack. <laughs> but <laughs> bye. I lifted my hand. Oh, you legit hurt yourself. I lifted my hand thinking I would wave bye, forgetting oh. that I was under a table. I went, bye. Oh. I've been Jack. You've been table. Hey, <laughs> where was he this week? I don't know. This has been Bubba Jack. <laughs> and uh, I've been Matthew. This is the screen we'll point at, and the count of three, we'll just say 300. Right. One, two, three. This three, is three, There we go. I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.